Good morning, everyone. Good morning, you. Good morning, you. I've not seen you for weeks and weeks and weeks. I know. I'm sorry about last week. Oh, that's all right. One of Lindsay them. came in and we had a lovely morning. Oh, I lovely. did notice she that. Was I'm eight. glad you had our lovely yeah. Lindsay. No, did you have fun? And she had a amazing. challenge, didn't you? Well, that's a, that's a bit of a thing now. So we've worked together three times now. And you always do a challenge. So the first first challenge, we, I gave her a bit of memory wire, which she loved. Yeah. And then we did a bit of pearl knotting in the second show. And then on Tuesday last week was her first introduction to seed beading. And she did really well. Really? Really, really well. Fair yeah, play. yeah, no, it was really Love good. Lindsay. Yeah, so it's a bit of a thing now. So every time we work together, I give her a next little challenge, and they're getting harder and harder and harder. Love it, love it, love <laughs> we it. We missed you, though. I missed you all, yeah, too. Bless you. But we are back, we and are. my goodness me, have we got a wonderful Tuesday morning show. I cannot stop looking at this. It's absolutely I know. beautiful. I know. And I will, I will admit, oh, last wow. night's prep was quite a lengthy one because I, I I'll, and I'm going to show you the WhatsApp message. I had a conversation with Wayne, our gemstone buyer, as I came off air yesterday. I was like, OK, so you need to explain to me what this gemstone is and how it's come about. First question, is it natural? And he was like, yes. And I was going, OK, well, I can't piece together fossilised shell quartz. I can't piece it together. Um, and, and then I started thinking about the opal. I was like, okay, so Australian opal, for example, those of you that are opal mm. hunter fans, you know, opal formed from what was underwater, wasn't it? So yeah. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. now I'm kind of piecing this yeah. together. And it's all about the Pangaea. Wow. So, yes, so last night I had Millions big, and millions. That's millions. Not long after the Earth evolved, really. Yeah, is it? That's yeah, amazing. exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, multiple millions of years ago. Yeah. Wow this occurred um which is I, I don't know if we've done anything like this before but it is fascinating how gemstones evolve oh, obviously yeah. um and this is basically and i'm no I, i'm rubbish at, at geography I and i very much had to get my husband involved because he's got an a level in geography that. um it's all about the subcontinent divide yes that's right so yes. how yeah. amazing yeah. so this is your deal of the day it is fossilized oh. shell quartz We'll talk some more at length um, at 10 o'clock. And by the way, there are only four strands, four wow. lines. That's it. That's very difficult to get hold of. One set of rounds, and then you've got these lovely diamonds that you can see here. Um, you've got kind of... I'm going to be quite provocative shapes. now. I'm going to, I've been thinking about it, whether I should be provocative or not. But when I walked in Ooh. this morning and I saw it for the first time, we, we, have, we have this thing at home. If, if, something, if we're watching a movie... And something slightly risque happens, okay. or somebody features in it that's quite risque. We we look at each other and we say, "Oh, something for the dads." <laughs> and this is what I thought. We've got Father's Day coming up, haven't True. we, in June? Yes. And this is I would wear. There's a bracelet on here. I would yeah. wear that. Absolutely. But something for the dads. We thought something for the Definitely. gents. Definitely. Yeah, I love Do you know, it. And I, I yeah, love it. it's so lovely that you're saying that actually, because mm. Tom was really he was interested in this when I was wow. sort of prepping. I was like, I need your help. And he was like, how am I going to help? That's his first question. Mm. How am I going to help on gemstones? But I was like, oh, it's geography, subcontinents. Yeah. And then all of a sudden his ears that picked up. So, yeah. It's beautiful. Um, it is amazing. Beautiful so, yeah, this stone. is happening at 10 yeah. o'clock. Four lines. That's it. As you can see, ovals, rounds. We've got triangles and these really beautiful kind of Gorgeous. kite shapes. So, I they're lovely. Wait. But let's talk about, as well, Mark, your amazing kids. So, Nyla, I'm so excited about Nyla. I mean, I've, I've, I've shouted this from the rooftops. We've got a 11 -0 bundle showcase. Which is oh. amazing. So I've just brought in a little selection of some of the things that you can just a small selection. Just a little small selection oh, that you Mark. can use your eleven O's with. So we'll talk about we'll talk about that at uh, nine o'clock and then twelve o'clock. Wow. For the first time ever. ever. And I did something on our show on Sunday. It, we called it cross contamination. Ooh. Because I thought it was a bit rude of me to plug not only another show, but another show on the other shift side. So in the last two minutes of, of Carol and my show on Sunday, I plugged this show predominantly. We don't really mind. And to the point where I actually showed the viewers the bracelets that we've got coming up. Yeah, the no, show. they are so amazing because we have, you're right, we've never done no. these before. So they are silicon filled <laughs> gemstone slider bracelets. How cool are they? they are stunning. Amazing. And they come with a cord and we've got charms, we've got everything. Oh, it's oh beautiful. yes, there's the charms yeah, over on this beautiful. on this tea bar here. Mark, they're absolutely incredible. So these are your masterclass yes. um, at yeah. 12 o'clock today. And by the way, the prices on the kits, have you do you know what no, they no are? Idea. I'm gonna show you, no. Mark, because honestly, oh. <clears throat> just take a little look. Just down there. I know. Woo! 
Really? I know. Yeah. Probably some of the most affordable kits oh, no. that and we've ever done. Just to just just to give you another little um, a little bit of gossip, these have been made specifically for JM. You can't get these anywhere else. Oh, we love an exclusive. They're absolutely exclusive to us. How amazing! Yeah. And we've got big quantities. Yeah. So yeah, how amazing. fabulous is that? So yep. oh, I love it. Exclusive to Jewelry Maker. Yep. Yep. Um, okay. We also have Type A Jadeite coming your way. Um, now this is coming up at nine o'clock launched uh, okay uh, these are coming up with dave o'clock they're going to be brought to you at nine o'clock um now i'm going to show you this beautiful piece that was um oh. also at nine launched with dave in my absence yes oh look at that it's like an urn it's A lovely isn't urn. it uh, this is your early bird this is your early bird so i beg you are we doing no, this at no. nine yes um it's a beautiful good luck vase. It's wow. a wonderful charm stroke pendant. There are 175 available, type A grade. Look how beautiful that is. Brand new. Oh, look at that. Um, all that detailing. There's 15 carats in that hand carved beautiful piece. So that's coming up at nine o'clock, your early bird. You can't shop ahead and pre-order on this. You have to be with us. Because um, otherwise it could well sell out. Um, uh, these ones here are the aqua jadeite that Dave, uh, that Dave aqua launched. Aqua jadeite? Yeah. I've never heard of it's that. It's a water, a really strong water content, so you get really beautiful translucency. Um, and he did wow. some crazy deals, says Ross. M possibly the lowest priced jade strands that we've ever done. Oh, How exciting. Okay. How exciting. Plus, do you know what I was really, really excited about in preparation for today's show? We have the return of... Not the Mac. Faceted coins. Um, they are back in stock. Faceted coins, which we haven't seen in absolute age, it seems to me. It said on the on the on the um, on the jewelry maker Facebook page. It said something along the lines of, "Are you going to throw your coins in the fountain?" Huh? I wouldn't throw these coins in the fountain. I mean, uh, that's yeah. a bit, bit, bit bizarre, but yeah. okay. <laughs> I love that strand on the end. The, I know, is amazing, that aren't they? Yes, that's multicolored spinel, that's ruby, there and that's are. sapphire. Wow. So they're coming up today um, at 11 o'clock. So we really do have an amazing selection Act. for you, yeah. lovely jewelry makers. Right, should we get cracking? Let's, Let's get cracking. Ah. Let's show off your beautiful creations, your wonderful talents in the Wall of Fame. Starting us off this morning is Julia. Good morning, Julia. Well, this is very beautiful. Look at that. Amazing. And Julia says, uh, hello, everybody. Here's a necklace that I made for my son, Kian's lovely girlfriend, Lucy. I hope she likes it. Although she's, uh, although she's so kind, supportive and sweet, she wouldn't say otherwise. Oh, bless. Oh. How oh, wonderful oh. is that? Well, what a beautiful, beautiful piece. Lo she's going to love that, Julia. Yeah. I've got no yeah. doubt. I'm going to pass those over to you. Marvellous. Number 46 is from Linda. Oh, wonderful. Oh, look at that. <coughs> Good morning, all. My husband bought this strand of aquamarine for my 70th birthday, which is today oh, the 28th. Happy birthday! I put it with 11 Omoki crystals. I've made matching earrings and added a sterling silver magnetic clasp. Good luck, everyone, in the drawer. Well, happy birthday, Linda. Happy birthday, wow. lovely. There's jewellery Amazing. maker in the background, I can see. And number 47 is from Florence. Oh. oh that's beautiful. That's a lovely, beautiful name as well. Yeah. I love the name Florence. Hi all, here is my latest make. One for me and one for a friend. I like sea beading, but I'm having slight trouble with my aging eyes. Love to all. Oh, Florence. as well, aren't we? Our yeah, Florence. Eyes. Let's have a look, I've not seen these. Yeah. We're all oh, they're good. nice. Thank you. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Anything, they suit you. Anything arms distance. Oh, yeah, yeah, same as me. So I can see perfectly. You just need to stand further yeah, away from me, me, basically, yeah. and I'll see exactly you fine. Like me. Yeah, is it? Yeah. <laughs> if you get up close, I can't see. Yeah, I've got my eye test tomorrow. So. Have you? Have yeah. you? Yes. If, every, uh, if every, 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 I go for an eye test every year, and I always end up buying more spectacles. Yes, but then they start saying, I, I mean, I'm very new to glasses. Obviously, this is the first mm. time I've ever, re I've, 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 well, actually been for an eye test in years. Mm. Um, and they were like, oh, you need the anti-glare. Do I? What does that mean? 
So I had to have that's an that's an that's an additional thirty five pounds on top. Yeah. So it's like, oh. Anti-scratch. Yeah, yeah, all of all that. that. So yeah. it's not just the glasses, is it? But I realised as soon as I put these on and Tom was looking at me smiling and I was like, and I'm doing this. And I'm just like, I've just turned, yeah. I've just morphed into my dad. <laughs> That's what my dad used to do, yeah. literally. Yes, I don't mind it. It's all good. You'll be on very focals next. We don't, you won't have to tilt your head, you'll no, have to tilt your eyes instead. <laughs> yeah. Right then, shall we get cracking? Shall we? Um, have a little look on the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. You can shop ahead, lots of items already locked and loaded for you as well. Um, if you click watch live, scroll down just a little bit. Some items are going lower, some are priced accordingly. But if you remember yesterday, um, we had loads of sellouts. What was what was number one, Ross? Yeah, go on, go back. Oh, oh look, se selling there. out already. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Not just what it is, but what price he's put it. What have you done? Red jadeite, six mil for under a hundred pounds. Okay. Okie dokie, right, fine. Uh, mookite, by the way, that is one of your early birds this morning, those lovely mookite tumbles, which are completely and utterly natural. You've got some beautiful acamarine. Um, you've got some amazing wow. sterling silver pieces, jasper, chrysoprase, as you can see. There's a lovely selection on the website. Ooh, spiny oyster. Spiny oyster. That's, <laughs> that's very low at 19.99. Burmese ruby. So do take a little look and shop ahead. Um, let's get cracking, though, shall we? I'm going to start with a gemstone we very seldom see mark and that's beautiful eye light love eye light me too we don't see it very often do we no, no it's, it's it is one of those uh, uh one of those gemstones that pops up sort of i don't know maybe mm. four or five times a year i would suggest um totally natural it's a really distinctive blue isn't it eye light gorgeous more of an indigo mm. Mm. like the color of your jeans yeah yeah. But a beautiful gemstone yeah. that displays um, copious amounts of wonderful pleochrosum. So we're at £10, 9 99 only, but we're not stopping there. Come and say hello to Mark and I. We would love to see hear from you this morning. Um, oh, there's oh, one. Here we oh. go from Margaret in Cambridgeshire, beautiful Cambridgeshire. Good morning, the fossil. Oh, hang on. Our graphics are just having a moment. <laughs> It's all good. Uh, the fossil shell looks like a grey version of Mariam Jasper. Uh, we said exactly That's what the we same. Said this morning. Yeah. We said the same. Yeah. Um, also, Turi Teller. Is it? Was it Turi mm. Teller? Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah. little bit like Turi Teller. Um, hello to you, Angela. Good morning, all. Um, I picked up a large flat rock from uh, the Jurassic Coast last oh. year um, that has bits of fossil in like those gemstones. How cool is Mother mm. Nature? And I've so seen work. Cool. I've seen work top with this sort of design as well. Oh. Fossils in. I wonder how much yeah, that costs. Yeah. A lot, I should imagine. Yeah. Um, we're not stopping at 9.99. It's exciting, isn't it? And I'm really excited to talk about it. I will, I will confess, though, I am no um, expert on um, geography. So you'll have to excuse me for that. Uh, OK, right -o. Oh. We've just been talking about how amazing Mother Nature is. And then we throw some of her gorgeous oh gemstones on the screen for £1.99. You know what to do. Chips and nuggets, though, Mark, always a favourite, aren't they? No, I've not had chips and nuggets for such a long time. They're really expensive at the moment, apparently. Oh, are they? Is that yeah. the reason why? I asked the question right. to our okay. buying right. team and they said they're really expensive to buy. Right. So, I mean, not here, obviously, at 199. Yeah. What would you do with something like this? Because, you know, I get that they're not sort of your usual shapes. Some well, people might be a little bit nervous that. about them. So, one of the pieces that I'm going to be showing you <laughs> at nine o'clock is what you can do with 11 O's. Ah! <clears throat> so, for your oh. memory wire, is absolutely perfect. There you go, team it alongside your 11 yeah, bundles. Yeah. So a little inch of 11 O's and then an inch of your, 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 your gemstone and then an inch of seed bees. And they're really nice on How oh, beautiful. That's yeah. lovely. Those yeah. colourways yeah. are beautiful. Yeah. Um, you, could put, you could put a bit of your, uh, your eye light in there as Absolutely. well, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's do... Oh. We've got two sizes, yes. yeah. Let's do... Oh, look at this. Oh, Gorgeous meter jasper, metre long length, totally natural in its colour. It's crying out to be a Marla necklace, I Absolutely. feel. Yeah. How beautiful. And 520 carats. And of course, an early bird price point. Um, keep those lovely messages coming through. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you're well this Tuesday morning. I was out cutting the grass last night because it's going to rain all week, isn't it? Yes. All <laughs> week. Wonderful. Cut the grass. Yeah. Did you put it. your clocks forward at the weekend? I actually forgot. Oh, you did forget? Right. <laughs> I was very confused. Even though your phone does it already, um, it wasn't until about half past eight, nine o'clock at night, we realised we put Willow to bed at half past six. 
She went to sleep though, so it was all good. Um, we're going even lower. I mean, your classic knotting, Mark, which as you said, okay, you've shown on, on, yeah. on air. Yeah, it'd be fantastic. You can use them as your little, um, in between your stations on your kiss cross necklaces. That's well, quite nice. I was That'd also going to suggest how about yeah. alongside your masterclass yeah. at 12 o'clock today. I mean, yeah. we've got lots of different gemstone varieties. We've got mookite. There we go. That would look beautiful alongside. In 29 seconds, though, we're dropping it to your early bird price tag. Um, again, check out nice and early. How many have we got, Roscoe? 21. Okay, that's not going to be enough to go around. Nice. It's all natural. Yeah. I love red jasper because it is that warm, almost jadeite red, isn't it? I was just going to say, if, you know, if your budget won't... won't Stretch to red jadeite, yeah. this yeah. is a great alternative. Yeah, it's very similar to sort of the, the warm reds that you see in Taipei Red. Full metre, over 500 carats. I have got the six mils to bring you as well, so if you wanted to create that graduation... Oh, take advantage, oh, goodness no. me. You've got, what, how many minutes? This will make the beautiful marla. 44 minutes. What, so we, just want to see if we've got a marla behind here somewhere. Um, we used to. They get swapped around, don't they? Yeah, yeah but a nice long line marla. Amazing marla. Dan's yeah. been ultra efficient and, you know, shifting things around and making the set, mixing it up, absolutely. Um, love it. There he is, gorgeous Dan. Gorgeous Dan on camera this morning. <laughs> love it. He's so smooth. So smooth. Where did you say you were off to this weekend or was it last weekend you went? Uh, you went to London last yeah. weekend? Yes. You went to Cheltenham, didn't you, the week before? Yeah. Cheltenham the week before. He's very well travelled. Yeah. New York in July. <laughs> New York in July? What do you mean, yeah. Texas? <laughs> oh, is he going to Texas? Oh, no, you're taking the mickey. I mean, that would be nice, wouldn't it? That would be Somewhere nice. Um, on horseback, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the six mil rounds coming up as well. Oh. So again, if you wanted to create that graduation or yeah, a lovely yeah. marlin necklace, this would look lovely with your deal of the day. It would actually. Those beautiful warm colours. Shall we? Shall I put them on top? What do you reckon? I think twenty twenty three is going to be the year of the six mil. Do you? Yeah. Is that what you're really pitching? Do. Yeah, I'm going to pitch that. Yeah. I like that. And what makes yeah. you say that? It's just. It's just. I've noticed when we see the call screens, you start at maybe a twelve mil. Yeah. And then and every 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 size the bead goes down, the number of viewers bidding and buying oh, doubles. Oh, they absolutely. Doesn't it? Yeah. So, absolutely. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and that will happen with the jade as well because we've before. got six and four. I think they'll go really well together, actually. Oh, they this, would. Yeah, yeah. That would be beautiful. Oh no. Um, so there's 21 of the six mil. So um, oh. and on the back of what Marcus just said, they are much more. Uh, you know, the smaller sizes, your six and your fours, oh. um, always are very, very popular. I get, I get that. You know, they're very versatile, aren't they? You can use them even in stretchy bracelets. But that 21 quantity is not going to hang around. 9.99, completely oh, and utterly natural, beautiful, warm, terracotta red jasper. Um, there's a load of you there. Good morning. Hello, Lincolnshire, Valerie, Joanne, Lynn. Nice to see you all. I hope you're well. Tell us what you're up to as well this morning. Are you making? Are you off shopping? Or are you, well, I don't know, what are you doing? Coffee maybe? Off for a nice lunch? I had a lovely text conversation last night on Facebook with lovely Anne-Marie from Hunky Dory. Ah. So we were talking about cards and then we were talking about crochet and then we were talking about cross stitch and then we were talking about gardening. Cups in the same class you yeah, are. Yeah, and it was all, all the hobbies and things that we take up and we just wish we had more time. I know. Work gets in the way, doesn't it? Yes, yeah, does, it really yes, does, yeah. yeah. But we need to do that to fund the hobbies, don't <laughs> we? It's that, yeah. it's that rock and a hard place it scenario. Is. She's yeah. very sweet, isn't she? Yeah. Very, very sweet. Ah, oh, that's lovely. And yeah. you do love a bit of hunky-dory, don't I you? Do. Yeah, <laughs> too much. Um, Willow still has her beautiful card displayed oh. next to her bed, by the way. Nine ninety nine, everyone. Again, this would look beautiful with the aqua jade. It would look absolutely beautiful Certainly with your would. deal of the day. Yeah. You could use it with ac across every single hour that we're bringing you as well. You know, in the seed bead hour that's in uh, at nine o'clock, um, we had 21. There's a ton of you there. Um, do make sure you check out to avoid disappointment because we're down to single figure quantities. I've got seven left basically. So, wow. um, and if people multi buy, as you can imagine, that doesn't last very long. Fabulous. How about this alongside something like effects? Bit of Amazonite. Me too. Especially that strand, it's a beautiful quality strand, isn't it? Is that um, angelite on there? That, is that, that, that is a is green it? angelite. Should we do that next? Oh, Shall we? No. I love green angelite. Am I allowed favourites? Look at that. Green angelite's my favourite. I prefer the green to the blue. 
I like the blue. No, I think you're right, actually. I think yes. I prefer the green, though. Because yep. it's yep. almost got like um, um, a Larimar-esque beautiful. Mm. All that vivid green yeah. was amazing, too. Because yeah. it has almost like these, um, you know, like Larimar almost looks like, That's like, right. uh, yes. like the like ocean. That's right, um, like green Larimar, isn't it? It's so pretty. Um, totally natural, 49 pounds and 99 pence. I would put this with a ruby we've got coming out. Oh, what, what, the faceted coins? Yeah. Nice. It's a lovely combination. It's garnet and amazonite is one of my favourite combinations, and this is sort of that higher end. Yeah, yeah. That. That's lovely. That's beautiful. This is natural ruby that's coming up. How about we half that price point? Really? And then I tell you that we're not even stopping there. I know we haven't got many of these, even without asking wow. producer Ross. 16, yeah. I knew we wouldn't. It looks lovely with the aqua oh. jadeite as well that's coming up. We're not stopping at $24.99. I adore green angelite, and we don't see it very often. It is rarer. Um, and you think, this gemstone is actually younger than me. It's discovered in uh, 1987 in Peru. Sorry, what was that, Roscoe? Oh, okay. He says, I'm not even stopping at $19.99. He's feeling all, all brave right. today, aren't you, Ross? Feeling all brave. I'm really confused because Dan is yeah. behind camera. Yeah. I can hear Adam's voice and Ross, but I, I don't know who the it's other voice Ethan. is. That's Ethan. Ethan's oh, directing Ethan. for a little bit. Uh, yeah, Ethan's normally right. on camera. You're right, Ethan. Yeah, How, well, I'm not scaring you, am I? <laughs> is Adam scaring you? There he is. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> They're a good bunch, aren't they? They are. They're lovely. Very lucky. Yeah. Very, yeah. very lucky. We're not even stopping at 19.99. Yeah, Ethan's uh, directing. This hour. So how wow. good's that? How good? Um, make sure you dial in nice and early again. Limited quantity. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. You've got areas of translucency with this gemstone, and um, the same sort of connections um, as you, you know your more traditional blue wow. angelite. Yeah, That's for something ridiculous. that is rarer, you'd expect it to be a higher price point, wouldn't you? But um, not the case. Quite clearly, when Ross is in the hot seat, wow. fourteen pounds ninety nine. Simple knotting, maybe with a I don't know, like Wonderful. a powder pink would be pretty. I think. Shanghai red. Nice. So really, really. Love or um, really deep purple. Beautiful. Yeah, amethyst purple. Lovely. Um, oh, hello to you, Margaret, saying um, knitting this morning. Oh. It's my oldest hobby. 56 years and counting. Bonus, I can knit and watch TV at the same time. Bring on the bargains. Love it. I wish I could knit. Yeah. I can't. I always knit. used to remember because my mum was an avid knitter and I always remember getting home from school and she'd say, and I'd walk in the door and there'd be no hello, how was your day? She'd say, Mark, I need your arms. And I'd be sat there like this for an hour. <laughs> so she'd buy these big skeins of wool yeah. and I'd be going, she'd say, tilt to the left, tilt to the right. Yeah. So, oh, my mum used to knit as yeah, well. Yeah. My mum used to knit, even, even up until uh, probably about five years ago, my mum used to knit for charity all the little uh, knitted oh, characters and things. Yes. She, like, you'd go to mum's house and there'd be loads of knitted characters all over the floor. My mum used Very to, but cute. towards the end, my mum used to make um, baby clothes for special care, uh, baby units and oh, things like that. And adorable. And some lo I love knitting. And they need them as well, the yeah. little hats, don't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, if you knit, I bet you've done something <laughs> like that. Um, <laughs> well done, everybody. Oh, thank you, Margot. Hello, thank you, lovely. Al, you look pretty and studious with your glasses. Um, I like the look. Looking forward to Mark's <coughs> demos. Absolutely, thank you. Studious. 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 I like being. You have a look at a news reader about you. Do I? Your glasses. Do yeah. I? <laughs> if only I had the intelligence. <laughs> um, but thank you, Margot. Um, oh. oh. Yes, I love this. I can't believe this deal. It's every time, I, I'm amazed we've still got them available. Right, okay, there's oh. only three remaining. So you get not only this, which includes the most beautiful fireball pearl. Oh, look at that A one there. Twins. You've got some, uh, some pearl twins. Yes. These are half drilled. So you get all of this and you get the beautiful pochette. So you get that too. And, and these are totally natural oh by the way, word natural pearls in two different sizes i can't believe the deal on this it is ridiculous because these are oh. actually i mean you look at the recording they're naturally metallic aren't they this is a black friday deal Was i it? can't believe they're still available Gosh. 140 were originally available i'm right down to the final three because if you look those are natural colors can you see like the oil on water you get those wonderful Amazing. overtones um but they're metallic too would you all agree 
which right. is incredibly, incredibly rare. Um, so even here at £599, for the quality of the pearls that you're actually getting and the amount that you're getting, I think that's absolutely amazing. But wow. that's not your early bird price tag. The final three. Oh. For that small strand of pearls on its own. Exactly. Like yeah, a, a, any of those strands or that fireball pearl at 199 I think would be absolutely amazing. You know, oh, was that oh, no. not? Oh, no. We are already allocated if you all do check out. But four split pays as well. Yeah, four split pays. And apparently we didn't stop there. I don't oh, remember no. what we took this to. We're going to match the Black Friday deal. Final two, well done, Valerie. Everybody pays the final low, of course. Yeah, that... Amazing, That's absolutely incredible. amazing. The fireball pearl on its own should be yeah. that price yeah. tag because it's wow. not small, it's a big statement pendant, half drilled as well, or either one of those strands. These aren't dyed pearls, which in itself would be would still be a great deal. These are naturally colored pearls. Um, we are super over allocated though, 32 pounds and 25 pence on your split payment. There's Hampshire, there's Gloucestershire, there's Patricia and Middlesex, uh, there's London and there's Dorset. Out of the 140 that we originally had on Black Friday, I've got two left right now. I'm amazed we've even got those. Um, and furthermore, this deal will disappear in 33 minutes, remember, because you are on a lounge hour. I don't know where lounge came from. No. Why lounge hour? I don't understand no. it. But never mind. You know what it means, don't you? So make sure you check out your baskets, the final two. It's such an amazing deal because if you think about it, let's count those, let's count those three pearls as one component, shall we? So one, two, three, four. You do the maths. What's that? £32.25. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's the split payments. Yeah. How amazing. Yeah. And they're natural pearls. Such a great deal. Such a great deal. Plus the fact they're natural pearls with that natural metallic beauty as well. Um, the strand, I'm fairly sure we've done, you know, you mentioned this one here. Um, I'm fairly sure we've done a strand very similar to this at the price that's on your screen. So for me, you're buying that and you're getting everything else for free. Um, there's one left, I'll leave it with you. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Such a great deal, that one. Mm. Um, okay, let's let's dive from one level of luxury into another. I'm just gonna borrow I my- felt, um, slightly awkward with that one because I don't know, it was the way that um, Ross says the word pouch. It's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> just makes it go a bit wobbly, doesn't it? <laughs> Is it just me? <laughs> <sighs> Say it, you listen, listen, listen. Pouch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's be saying it all morning now, isn't he? Pouch. It's just one of those words, isn't it? Pouch. Oh. <clears throat> Pouch is a funny word. It isn't is. It? <laughs> it's a bit rude. <laughs> Pouch. Sorry, I've never thought of it oh. like that before. No, you will now. You will now. There you go. Yeah, there's a few. Yeah. There, there's a few words in the vocabulary that sound a bit questionable, don't they? Yes, yeah. that is one of them. I would agree. <laughs> um, <laughs> back to your beautiful Burmese ruby. Look at the cut. This is oh. natural. So, well, sorry, let me Look correct myself here. There's a, no, it's okay. There's a little bit of heat treatment to this. Now, let me just say, heat treatment, it's replicating what Mother Nature can already do. So many laboratories, gem laboratories, mm, don't yeah. even regard it as a treatment. Um, so it's just yeah. basically warming up the stone ever so slightly. You do it with tanzanite as well. Look at the size of these Burmese ruby. Remember wow. that we have, it's, it's um, I, I've been saying for um, over the recent years, actually, that there's, apparently what seven years left of mining the stone there are, there is wood on the grapevine that's stopped now altogether okay. um so yeah and when i spoke to jake thompson some years a couple of years ago i was like what gemstones are you purchasing right now within your not just for the business but you know for your family he said burmese ruby um so and i know what this deal is going to so make the most of it yeah 39.99 for burmese ruby that's like that's like columbia is to emerald um it's the best look considered the finest ruby in the the entire world. I'm putting the white background behind so you can actually see, appreciate wow. the quality. Um, you get three carrots. I mean, these are big stones, aren't they? 
big individual stones. We're not even stopping there. Look at that colour. Oh, oh no. my goodness me. Never in a million years would I have entertained owning this gemstone when I was It's a younger. real um, raspberry red, isn't it? Yeah, definite pinkish glow to it. <gasps> what? Yeah, it's ridiculous. And a clock. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. I remember, like I said, the lady, you know, the jewellers that I first worked at, mm. um, she was the owner of that, the owner of that jewellers, and they are very affluent, and she was, you know, quite an imposing woman. Terrifying. Mm. She was terrifying, and not the warmest of souls. Um, but she used to wear a Burmese ruby, um, sort of classic, you know, royal engagement ring with the oh, halo yeah. of diamonds yeah, all yeah. the way around. And I always used to admire it. And it would have been tens of thousands of pounds. You know, I can tell you, the colour is like what's on your screens right now. I can't believe we're going even lower. We saw our ge uh, gemstones in a very different way, of course. Um, well, yeah, when we launched this, Ross was just saying in my ear, we said this has to be one of the best deals we've ever done Incredible. in jewelry maker history. A Burmese ruby of this size, of this quality of colour. It's not dark, it's not included. It glows, which is what you want your ruby to do. It's not fissure filled either, which I would perhaps expect at this kind of price point, but not the case. It's just a little bit of heat treatment. And they're big, three carats. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. I don't know how we're doing it, to be honest. You know, um, for me, I look at this going, okay, even if I've got no idea what I'm going to do with this parcel, what an amazing Absolutely. acquisition. Absolutely, for your collection. That's incredible. Yeah. And if you're a July baby, it's a must. It's an absolute must for you. Are you a July baby? Dan, you need to buy some Burmese Ruby then. You definitely do, especially at twelve ninety nine. This is a gemstone, like I said, genuinely, I've never entertained um, being able to own because it would be way beyond my budget. Um, I can uh, bring it closer to sort of the jewelry maker family. Um, some time ago, I, I, I spoke to Steve Bennett. Said, "What's the most expensive gemstone you've ever bought?" Burmese ruby. That was wow. the answer. Um, and yet you're getting it for twelve ninety nine today. Amazing. Um, make That's sure you crazy. check out your basket. I know we haven't got many of these left. We've got single figure quantities, so this might well be the last time you see this beautiful parcel. Um, like I said, even if you, you don't do gem setting, which I know Claire uh, showed us yesterday, even um, if you don't do silver smithing or any of your or metal smithing full stop, just to have them, <laughs> you know, that's the thing. This is an ultimate acquisition. Make sure you're checking out because we are over allocated. And also time is against us. You've got 28 minutes um, before these items disappear from the website altogether. So good luck, Lorraine, Patricia, Cambridgeshire, Karen. Um, well done to you, Margaret, Kathy, Sharon. Sharon, Anne, multi-buying in Cardiff. Hello to you, Melanie in Suffolk, Derbyshire. Well done. Um, I've got Deborah getting involved. Anne in Hampshire, amazing. It could well be the last time we see this beautiful parcel. There's five left. Just you don't so you know, know what you don't know what shapes or sizes you're going to get. It's just a carrot weight you're going to get. Yes. Oh, I love that. Guaranteed love that. three carrots. You might get yeah. trillions. You might get hearts. You might yeah. get rounds. You are guaranteed Burmese ruby of this quality as well. And remember, you've got 30 day money back mm. guarantee. No questions asked. If they're not, you know, if you don't fall head over heels in love with them, which I know you will, um, then do send them back because I'll snaffle them up. <laughs> um, quite happily. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's dive oh. into a gemstone we rarely ever see. Uh, I love her tile. Oh, what? it's in loose stones. No. <gasps> I love her tile. These are like never salt it, and pepper we? diamonds. We never have it. Never, and never in calibrated I've stones. I've never seen it in cut stones like this before, ever. No. Oh my oh, goodness. No. Um, Ross said he scheduled this because he knew I'd get excited about it. And you're right, Ross. Oh my goodness me. Rutile quartz. You want eye clean quartz, firstly. Um, and then you have these wonderful dynamic rutilations that wow. grow uh, sort of vertically, horizontally, di uh, diagonally. Oh, look. look at that recording. Oh my goodness, it's really difficult to cut because the rutilations cause course, yes. natural weaknesses during the cutting process, not after it's been cut, I need to point out as well. But it's so fascinating because you get this wonderful, very contemporary, edgy gemstone um, that looks wow. like impressionist art. That's incredible. Oh, I love this parcel, Ross. How many have you got? Oh, oh really? So you mean to say you launched this without me? Oh, okay, fair enough. I think guest designer Debbie Kershaw had them on, on the launch Did she? last week. They're yeah. so cool. Yeah. What? 
So they're round wow. brilliant cuts as well, or oval cuts. You get a mixture. You've got, you've got some pears in there as well. It's so difficult to, to facet this gemstone. In 60 seconds, I'm going to say it out loud. I'm not going to make you wait for this. We're taking it under £10. <laughs> um, there's a reason why you don't see this gemstone very often on our screens. It's not because we don't love it, because believe me, we do. It's because it's difficult to get hold of, firstly, right. and it's very difficult to cut, even in the simple shapes like your, like your rounds and your ovals. This has got, you know, fifth, oops, 57 fro, uh, stroke, 58 facets in your, in your round brilliant cuts. How beautiful are they? The darker ones in the centre, it's not because they're included, it's because they've got more, more rutilations. Yeah, absolutely. So cool. So cool. Those rutilations can be tourmaline, by the way, that actually grow through the, uh, the, the, the sort of the centre of the gem stones just cool hello jean uh the rutile looks like nature's graffiti oh, love jean. it i love that that's poetic isn't it Aww. very poetic we love that jean Aww. it is na 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 nature's graffiti sorry i'll try and say it properly Aww. um these are flying out the door people aren't keeping them in their baskets that they're going straight out. yeah there's none yeah, there's amazing. none lingering around no, are they no. everybody has got their heart set on owning these i don't blame you 7.99 goodness what? me we brought mounts yesterday as well so there'll be calibrated sizes oh, in that's, here as well. That's ridiculous. How beautiful would that be? Or setting them into your Brock pearls. Or so I'm assuming like if they're being cut and polished, they're actually slicing through the rutiles, yeah. aren't you? That's where, it, yeah. that's where the risk actually lies. Yes. So yeah. it would be the finest uh, um, lapidus that would actually facet these. That's um, incredible. Not, uh, diamonds are far easier to cut than a black mm. retail quartz. Yeah, you can imagine, actually. Yeah, because, like I said, for obvious reasons. Seven ninety nine. Sorry, Ross, how many did you say that we actually have? Started with 26, I'm down oh to the no. final 12. Morag's got two, Antoinette, Cambridgeshire, Lavinia, hello to you, Kathy, Melanie, oh. Cheryl, Anne, Sharon, Deborah, Antoinette, Lorraine, Morag, Geraldine. Um, lots of multi-buyers, well done, Morag. Can you put the ruby next to them? Yes. I think together, that is just amazing. Can you imagine? Oh, look at that, in a piece of, in a bracelet, a tennis bracelet, oh. and those in mounts on the wrists would be incredible. Uh, hello, Deborah, saying these oh. black rutiles are really lovely in real life. So you've got these already. They're beautiful, aren't they? I bet. You know, when you get them home and you can get sort of up close and personal with them, like the recording just wow. here, you really appreciate how fascinating this gemstone actually is. Appreciate that message, Deborah. Thank you, lovely. Um, so that speaks volumes, doesn't Does, it, when absolutely. customers actually yeah, message yeah. live into yeah. the studio. It's all very well and good, us, us getting excited about them, Mark. But when customers uh. go... Yeah, no, they are special. That That's speaks incredible. volumes. Um, down to single figure quantities, though. Kate, you've got yours. Claire and Warwickshire, amazing. Uh, Deborah, Sharon. Uh, Antoinette's decided to get two. Well done. Lynn, you're there as well. Derbyshire, I'll leave the final few with you. Congratulations. There's literally wow. five left. Wow. Um, just five. Um, now, just before we go into your first early bird, I want to show you the most amazing jade. Which ones, the rounds or the carving? Yeah, okay. Um, so I want to show you your early bird. It is brand new, type oh, A grade in this beautiful good luck vase. You can't shop ahead on this just yet. Look, there is a bale at the top. Can you see that? Um, amazing intricacy. I love the detail on the side. Um, there's 175 available opportunities. Like I said, this is a good luck symbol. So it can be worn as a charm or a pendant. Um, urns or vases, yeah, uh, are, are symbolic of good fortune and yes, prosperity, yeah. etc. cetera. Um, but just a lovely, lovely, lovely piece that you can imagine on just a simple chain, can't you? It's never been on our screens before. We're launching it um, in about 20 minutes time. Wow. Um, okay, straight into your first early bird though, shall we? Um, this is a gemstone that has always been a firm favorite of of ours here at Jewelry right. Maker. We're going right the way across to the western coast of Australia. Um, or, well, the other way of the world, literally, the other way of the world, <laughs> the other side of the world, <laughs> um, the other side of the world, oh, to um, the only location that unearths this beautiful gemstones. But um, I've made this suggestion before and I'm going to say it again. You know, if you are a one locational gemstone, and then all of a sudden, licenses, you need a license to mine gemstones. Mm. Um, licenses are down to the final two. 
there should be a, um, a cause for concern. So the reality is, and it dawned on me, I was like, hang on a second, so that means Mookite could run out. Ocean Jasper oh, run God. out. Yeah, um, yeah. I'll be, you know, it'd be such a shame when this gem does actually deplete because it's so visually striking. It's so unique. There's no other gemstone quite that you can mistake for Mukai. So what is this gemstone? Like I said, it's one of our firm fav favorites and always has been here at Jewelry Maker, but it's actually a variety of Jasper. It's named after the creek where uh, this Jasper is found um, in Western Australia, Muka Creek. Um, even that sounds Australian, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> Mukai is fast becoming a well-recognized Australian semi-precious stone. Now, this PowerPoint's a bit dated, to be honest. I should update it, but we don't use the terminology semi-precious anymore. Um, the amazing colors reflect the Australian outback in its ochre hues. Due to the flint-like structure, Mukai is tricky to cut and polish um, as it will easily splinter. However, when successful, cabochons look picturesque and can be made into uh, a spectacular jewelry. Mukai is mined in the Kennedy Range is about 100 miles inland from the coastal town of Carnarvon. Sorry, I can't say that without sounding really Welsh um, in Western Australia. Um, the creek uh, has many underground springs, making mining a wet and messy job, but the results are so worth it. Um, Tom Capitani and uh, Joanne Pass were very fortunate to be the last miners to attain wow. a mining license in the area situated on Mooka Station, which is now controlled by the Department of Conservation um, and Environment. The area can be accessed by crossing the Gascoigne River, which can be quite a challenge, um, with four or six wheel drive vehicles only. Two existing mining licenses uh, exist in the area as well. So that's it. That's amazing. So just two. There are only two. These these two leases are confined to the riverbeds um, where mukai is exposed and easily mined. The last 20 years of mining have uh, depleted the reserves of high quality colored mukite. Um, though brightly colored mukite can be seen strewn throughout the riverbeds from these mining activities, which is where they're sourcing this gemstone wow. now, from the riverbed itself. I can show you a photograph. There's Tom Capitani himself. Um, with his Mukai, yeah, absolutely. Um, he's the one that actually owns the mine, as you can see there. It's a very group affair as well. I love these photographs because uh, a little bit further on, you'll see uh, mining is a team effort in this remote wilderness country. Um, and you can imagine, you know, extremely hot. I've been to Australia many years ago and it is super, super, super hot. Um, there they were on the, barbie, uh, uh, on the barbie as well. The bush does not release the treasures readily, bogging a vehicle is frequent as you can oh, see God. they're well and truly stuck yeah, yeah. aren't they but like <laughs> I said a gemstone that absolutely is worth all these beautiful <laughs> efforts it's amazing and it's super distinctive isn't it um, there they are sort of washing the uh, the rough down prior to it actually being um, being faceted and it is a gemstone that absolutely can fetch high price points I think I found one sculpture that was actually uh, um, what's that What's that? It's a monkey. It's the Nazca lines. Nazca lines, yeah. What? How's that in? How's that in a? Oh, a, a mukite uh, looks like that. Okay, uh, I was a bit curious how that's. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You get these lovely markings with it. Wow. Um, but there's that carving I was just referencing. Sold at Bonhams in 2014 for forty thousand pounds. But it is the perfect colours, isn't incredible, it? Incredible, isn't it? He's beautiful, isn't he? Right then. So totally natural. Um, and this is a premiere. Never been on your screens previously before. Every single one of your mukites will be unique. They're little works of art, aren't they? Australian works of art. And you know we're not stopping anywhere near that. Love this gemstone. It's distinctive, it's warm. For, there's certain gems, and we referenced it yesterday, Chrysocola, Malachite, Mookite, really distinctive. And you'll never misinterpret no, them no, for another, would no, you? absolutely not. They've got their own unique individuality. On the third bracelet on this stand here. Nick, this one? Yep, yeah, that's Mookite, but I've used rounds. Mm -hmm. If you bought this, we've got the Mookite slider coming up in the 12 o'clock. Perfect. So, this would be, so if you didn't want to use round beads, you could just pop maybe three and these, of those. And these would lay against the wrist would, as well. So perfect. you get the cord, did you say, as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, we're bringing it all, all the items individually. So yeah. you could make a version of Mark's amazing bracelet with this. With that. Instead, oh. instead of using the rounds. Use the How slides. beautiful. Yeah. Mark, we're at 19.99. <laughs> just the geography of Mukite. Exactly, yeah. And we're not stopping there. How many do we have for Roscoe? 80 available, 
again, once upon a time, we used to have mukai in abundance. We don't have mukai in abundance anymore. You have 15 minutes to make your confirmations. And because of the time restraints, in 60 seconds, we're going to go even lower. And uh, we are going to break through that, 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 that price point barrier that you are expecting. Only, though, because of the time. Only because you have 15 minutes to, uh, minutes to make your confirmations of this quality. To get the warm colours, the selection of colours. Let's take it under £10 for you this morning. You know, you have these really beautiful sort of mocha latte tones. You've got some really beautiful mauves, some crimson reds, your ochre shades. Absolutely adore this gemstone. What's the matter? You showed me earlier the price of the, um, the Mukite slider kit, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so you're working out how much that bracelet would cost. Mm. Yeah, not a lot. No, not a huge amount at all. And you consider, yeah, shop ahead, um, <coughs> yeah, on, on the midday kits because they will fly. And you're but we're about, to, just, we're about to save some money, aren't we? Um, yes. Oh, yes, yeah. we are. I see, yeah. 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 You, could, you could get that Mookite bracelet for... Mm. Mm, not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> Oh, my word. Here it is, under £10, lovely jewellery makers, for beautiful Mookite. Just two mining licences remain of this amazing gemstone. So who knows? I will try and research it, see if I can find out, you know, the predicted length of mining of this gemstone. So I, I shouldn't imagine it's going to be for... Um, it's not always going to be available. They've said they're hafting to source it now from the riverbeds themselves. So this is a gemstone. We may well see deplete before you, the likes of your tans tonight. You don't know, do you? Don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm not Tom Capitani. He sounds like the mayor of New York, doesn't yes. he? Tom Capitani. Yeah. yeah. But as you as you saw, it's a it's 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 a it's a group affair. After mining, they also get the Barbie mm, firing. Yeah. I love that. It's such an Australian way. Love it. Absolutely. And love you like it. the mustard tones, don't you? Yeah, and you're a crimson. I'm a crimson. Yeah. Yeah. So if we had this strand and we were divvying it out between us, I'd go for all the ochres. You'd go for yeah. all the crimson ones. The uh, there we go. But every, every stone has got a seam, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at that one. It's got, <coughs> it's got lemons in this one here. As you, as you said recently, of all the gemstones that we sell, you can tell straight away that this is going to be from somewhere like Australia. Warm. Or somewhere warm, like yeah. Marrakesh or... Yeah. Oh, yes, that's another one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but they're absolutely flying out the door, everyone. Make sure you do check out those baskets. Um, and remember, that goes for everything as well. We'll be closing the hour um, at nine o'clock um, where we'll be launching that amazing Good Luck Vase. Um, update. I have one remaining hinged bangle. That's it. Um, it's my favourite um, of the combinations. It's absolutely beautiful. It I've comes not seen this in the flesh. Haven't you? Oh, no. Mark. Well, do you know what? I'm going to let you open it first because... It's unbelievable. The quality and, and the reason behind, I know it's unbelievable. The reason behind the hinge bangle was because we, um, uh, feedback from our audience, some people were saying we want the jade bangles, but um, struggle to get them over the top of the hands. I get that. I ha some of them are really small and I, uh, the one I have, I have to kind of yeah. use a bit of force. Um, so, or, or, and you might have uh, painful joints, so you don't want to be pushing things over. Um, a hinge bangle changes all of that, obviously, because you open and close like it. This is the, 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 the yin and yang, so yeah. I love that. This is type A grade, pure white, and then, of course, your piano black jadeite as well. Let me show you, all sterling silver, by the way, let me show you the oh quality of the word. fastening. But wait, 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 ready? Oh. Yeah, the quality, hang on, do it again. You can feel the quality. You can hear the quality of this. That beautiful lattice sterling <coughs> silver. Um, again, the meaning between that sort of monochrome beauty as well, whether you go for the yin and yang or you're thinking about, you know what, I just like black and white. Um, they are both type A grade. You are looking at probably the most luxurious of the, um, of the color combinations because white jade was exclusively reserved for the emperors of China thousands of years ago. And black jade is the oldest. It takes three times as long to form black jade above um, any other color. Now, there are four of you with it in your baskets already. They're 
there is only one. That's it, that's the, the one. This is the one that you're going to be getting, yeah. It comes boxed as you would expect. You know, this is, we are as close to being Sotheby's right now as we will ever be. You know, the fact that we're literally auctioning one, one in the world. But instead of having like an escalating auction where people outbid one another, mm. we take it as low as we possibly that's can. We can't go any lower than this. We launched it at £699. Um, we only ever commissioned 14 of them. So you've got to remember that's how exclusive these are globally as well. Um, you're one of 14 people to own this piece. There are four big collectors getting involved. I mean, this is truly legacy jewellery. This is the kind of jewellery that we absolutely will, well, I will be um, incredibly proud to be able to hand something of this rarity, of this uh, uh, value. Because whilst I get that 699 is a considered price point, it's not considered in comparison to what you're actually purchasing because this is the kind of piece of jewelry that could absolutely have thousands upon thousands of pounds um, a price tag I'll leave that with you because like I said I get it's a wow. considered purchase but remember you've got 10 minutes to make your confirmations you've still got 30 days so if you want to get a, a second opinion you absolutely can of course yeah. you can wow. um, let's dive into uh, I can't see that Hang on, I'll show you this. Um, show you this in the meantime. So coming up, launching at nine o'clock today, you're really, ah, oh, Mark. Even I, I've never worn a jade bangle before. This is the first one I've been able to wear. That I, could be a lovely piece. Yeah. A chap would wear that, wouldn't they? Look at that, I've never been, a, yeah. Four of you, five of you now have that in your basket. That's amazing. Yeah, that looks lovely on you, Mark. As you said, I've never been able to wear one before. Because, no. Because of the size, so this is perfect. And there's wiggle room as well. Yeah, is it comfortable? It's lovely. It does make you feel really yeah. amazing. Yeah, oh, they're, they're, so, they're, they're unbelievable. Yeah. Probably one of the most luxurious pieces of jewellery yeah. um, that we've ever done. Um, wow. I'll keep you updated. We think that might have sold. So well done, well done. Um, so your beautiful vase is launching in a few moments' time. Right now for the red jade rondelles. They're in the middle. Go on, you have to pass them because I can't see them. Gorgeous dance here, don't worry. Where? What's happened to them? I don't know, oh, I can't. Oh, did they? Oh. There we go. Sorry. Cowboy Dan, that's his new name now. <laughs> They'd slipped down so I couldn't see them. Um, here's the rarest colour of jade. I, um, it's never been stockpiled. We've referenced, we spoke at, um, you know, at length yesterday about red jade. I, the fact that this is the, this natural colour, and it is natural, it's not dyed. Um, because it's the area of the boulder that has oxidised, literally the exterior skin. That's why you get so little red jade. Um, we are running out of time, so I need to be quite quick on this one. Um, again, uber rare. Take a little look at Mason and Kay, which um, I've said this so many times before. Mason and Kay, if they include red jade, it's minuscule amounts. Um, minuscule amounts within uh, their pieces of jewellery, and of course, they're not double-figure prices. They're definitely not double-figure prices. Um, there are 11 of these left you can get the final 11 quantity oh no That's not at 99.99 only because we're running out of time we're pushing these boundaries oh ross adam feel what we we're talking about father's day earlier weren't we this would be amazing oh, for your lovely. dad's day oh well done the Hinge Bangle sold. Congratulations to the collector that managed That's to get hold of that. $49.99 for the rarest colour of jade in the world. And it's natural. It's not dyed, as most people would expect when we're talking about this beautiful wow. gemstone. We would, uh, there are so many of you there. You need to check this out. You recognise how good this deal is. That. The only reason Ross has taken it as low as he, ha he has is because he says time's running out, Al, so I need to squeeze, you know, we can, we can accelerate auctions, but basically by pushing those boundaries. That's how shopping TV works. We're not the same as a retail establishment. We're not the same. We've got, you know, whilst they might have the overheads, we've got different restraints, time being one of them. Um, 49.99, goodness me. Teresa, Sharon, Gloucestershire, Brenda, well done. I've got oh, six left. God. Karen, Irene, well done. You can How get many it, left? How you get it home for less than seventeen pounds? That's just crazy, mad, isn't it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh. Um, 
Oh, but, no. Okay. <laughs> Number one, the red jadeite. There's one left, by the way. Um, that is their price point. We have, we, we locked it. Gosh. We loaded it, yeah, and, and Ross loaded it wrong. Um, amazing, congratulations. That's on the verge of selling out. Also, like I said, wow. we are moments away from launching that absolutely beautiful type A jadeite vase. We've got one more auction. Um, if you've got any items in your basket, I would suggest maybe making your way towards um, uh, towards okay. checking them out, but maybe not before I show you some of the most luxurious pearls. Um, I'm just going to borrow one of these for a second. I like the fact that we have the ultra luxurious. Yeah, we pilfered them this morning. David Harry. We, we made the executive decision to bring them in. Uh, yeah, we needed yeah. to steal the David Harry busts. Yeah. Now, um, <clears throat> but I'm very glad that we've got this bust here because we are about to bring you a location of pearls, which is quite the success story, not just this, uh, in terms of the quality of the pearls that are produced. This literally comes from a location in China called the Pearl River. Um, <clears throat> and we've got, I can, t I can show you the location. So, Suzhang, the Suzhang River, known as the Pearl River, shines again in clear waters. Um, and this river is basically like a gateway to China, so oh, much industry right. will travel down this river. As you can see, it's very built up. That's what this article talks about, you know, um, the largest water system throwing into, uh, flowing into South China Sea. Um, formed by, by the branch-like convergence um, of the um, Suzhang rivers, uh, the Beijing rivers and the Dongzhang rivers. At the Pearl River Delta of a dense network of cities forms an alluvial sedimentation um, as the three cities enter the sea. is one of the most economically advanced and modernized regions in China uh, and is considered the south gate of China. Um, but in the past decade, with the process of urbanization and industrialization in the Pearl River Delta, some rivers have been seriously polluted due to domestic sewage and factory discharges, with impacts, uh, which impacts the lives of residents along the banks. Bes uh, besides the severe destruction of the marine eco ecological system and biodiversity decline, um, is attributed to uh, human-induced activities such as over-exploitation of coastal and offshore waters. And you might be thinking, oh gosh, why are you telling me all this, Al? Um, basically... It, well, it's sad, and it's a realization, isn't it? That um, you know, uh, uh, the fact they recognized though that this was an, uh, an issue. They recognized the decline in the waters and the uh, uh, ecological systems, and basically they invested hugely back mm. into that location. As uh, you know, the title of that article talks about how that Pearl River now shines once again. It is believed to now be uh, um, restored, for want of a better description, to a better state than it was previously. And now again, you're thinking, why are you telling me this, and how is it related? to pearls because they actually um, farm pearls on this river as well. Does that impact the quality of pearls? Yeah, absolutely. The, you know, the healthier the water is, the healthier those mollusks can exist, um, the, the better pearl quality that you get. So, and here is that pearl quality. Now, these are completely and utterly natural. Yeah. I love th stories like that, you know, wearing these beautiful legacy gemstones, um, but wearing them with the, with, you know, with that story in my mind as well you know these are from the Pearl River the Suzhang pearls which are regarded widely as one of the finest locations in the world um, now what you're looking at now in terms of the recording is one single light source here in the studio um, you'll see the colors become a little bit softer and that is purely purely because we have floodlights above us um, look wow, how beautiful they are and they are natural in their color this is the type of pearls that I would absolutely suggest um, the difference in the size by the way is the graduation so they are rounds um, but you've got a graduation from eight millimeters right the way to 10 millimeters it's a long strand you've got 40 centimeters these are the types of pearls that I can only speak personally. I would always, uh, personally, I would knot them. I would put them with an 18 karat gold clasp and I would at some point get them valued and get them insured because this is legacy opportunity. Um, we're going to go straight to the price point again, just because of the time restraints that we have this morning. Um, look at that. They're metallic. You've got peaches, purples. You've got pistachio wow. colors. You've got the most dusky pinks, which is so beautiful. 
and that is oh. such a great deal. I saw Su Zhang pearls. There was one booth, and I'm kicking myself. Last year when I was over in Tucson, um, there was one booth of Su Zhang pearls, and they were astronomically expensive. Really? But because we didn't sell them, I didn't see the point in actually having a conversation no, no, with them. No. Um, but we do now, so I am kind of regretting not uh, not actually taking uh, uh, taking that information down. But again, it's it, it, the story behind it, the prestige that Su Zhang pearls get internationally not just here at jewelry maker how many did we have roscoe eight available wow. already an anonymous maker's got theirs well done i've got brenda in essex jennifer in county tyrone there as well amazing know that these are completely and utterly natural they are not bleached dyed in any way shape or form you can see the quality of them um, in their colors now we're going to put a 60 second clock on your screen in a few moments time and that will signify not just the closure of this auction but the closure of the entire hour your early bird is coming up just after the break. Okay, okay, oh. sorry, uh, sorry. Um, no break. One minute clock till everything disappears off, off the web, and then we're going to dive immediately into your early bird. Okay, fabulous. Um, so good luck. Uh, remember, look, it might almost seem that we're kind of rushing you a little bit during this purchase. You know, you can get hold of legacy pearls for 74 75 on split payment. Right. But please know that you get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. I don't know of any other jeweler in the world, bearing in mind that I've worked in them, that will say, yeah, you take some of our lovely pearls, our luxury pearls home, and if you change your mind, just pop them back. You know, they, do, they, they, they don't do that. It's not how, how high-end jewellery works. Um, yeah, if you find a better deal or, or you suddenly decide that you want a different location of pearls, whatever it might be, then you can return them to us. Um, so that really is quite unique. In 14 seconds, though, we are closing not just this auction, but the entire hour. So anything that's in your baskets will also disappear. We're going to dive straight into your beautiful early bird, a premier opportunity of your lucky vase. <laughs> True story. Really? Yeah. It was he the one with the big jaw? He was. Yeah, that's what. And the dandy. Desperate Dan. Yeah. Yeah. My uh, my brother used to call me Desperate Dan. Because he used to say because he used to say I had a big jaw. Oh. <laughs> Siblings, eh? Siblings. Um, absolutely adore this piece. The intricacy, it blows my mind when we're talking about carving a gemstone as hard as Jadeite. As, as strong as jade. I, and, you know, uh, Confucius wrote uh, about the strength of this gemstone. Yeah. You know, we're going back thousands upon thousands of years and the fact that it is still, to this day, um, carved in the same manner that it was thousands of years ago in an abrasive manner. It blows my mind, though, to consider something of this scale. Because surely, and I may well be wrong, like I said, I'm no master carver, but surely when you scale things down, to get that level of intricacy mm. becomes that much more apparent, that much more challenging. Um, I'm going to, uh, Ross, yeah, let's show this, Ross. Yeah. What is the vase all about? Because I think also in, uh, um, we see the vase in paintings, don't we? In Chinese paintings, mm. you can see it on their beautiful silk paintings. You see it, you can get these wonderful uh, Chinese urns. Um, and there is a meaning behind the actual vase or the, or, or the symbol of the vase itself. A vase in Chinese sim, uh, symbology, um, is that a rebus? Rebus, yeah. Rebus is a rebus for peace or safety because the words for vase or ping um, and for peace, ping an, excuse my pronunciation, are pronounced the same. And the vase, uh, which holds flowers from all seasons, symbolizes peace oh. throughout the year. A treasure vase is also one of the eight auspicious symbols of Bud Buddhism. Wow. Gourd-shaped vases take on further meaning. Although they were literally used to contain me uh, medicines, in Chinese belief, the word itself holds meaning. The word for gourd, uh, hulu, and I'm, again, I apologise if I'm pronouncing it wrong, seems to uh, have relationships with the word of protection. Yes, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, yeah. Um, and blessings. So he, it's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. So what we've covered, peace, safety, 
protection, protection blessing. blessing. Oh, that's amazing. So it is one yeah. of the most auspicious symbols um, in Chinese history. And then you think about it, you know, those, Mark and I are fans mm. of Antique Roadshow. We love mm. a bit of Antiques Roadshow. Yeah, yeah. How many yeah. times have you seen a Chinese vase Absolutely. on Antiques yes. Roadshow? Yeah. You know, I remember my mum, um, when she came, she went to China traveling uh, on one of her wonderful adventures, she came back with a jade carving and she also came back with some Chinese oh, vases. Yeah. They weren't huge though, I have to say. But she wouldn't have known that, you know, the, the meanings no, behind no. it. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. You know, to be able to wear something that on your body, peace, protection, blessings, and then to actually have it in jade with all the meanings behind jade, I, you know, heavens, remember it translates yeah. to heavens above. This is a gemstone of protection, very much like the actual carving itself. Just beautiful. And if you're thinking about sort of gifts, etc., you know, there could be no, no more meaningful gift than the actual vase itself. As I said a few moments ago, um, Confucius himself, who was like the very first teacher, um, they believe that Confucius started the teaching profession. Um, it's been written about for, right the way back to the second century. Um, Chinese dictionaries wrote about the definition of this beautiful gemstone. Jade is the fairest of stone. It is endowed with five virtues. Charity is typified by its luster, bright oh. yet warm. Rectitude by its translucency, revealing the color and markings within. Wisdom by the purity and penetrating quality of its note when the stone is struck. Courage in that it may be broken, but it cannot be bent. Equity in that it has sharp angles, which yet endure none. You mix all of that beautiful sentiment yeah. alongside the auspicious sentiment of the vase carving itself. Like I said, I think this is probably one of the most meaningful pieces um, and to, relatable I'd, um, pieces. I'd love to know what rectitude means. Rectitude. Yeah, because someone can someone look that up. That's the only word I'm. Rectitude I'm not by its translucency. Rectitude. Yeah, I've not heard of that before. I've heard it, but you're right. Courage. It's one of those. Charity. Uh, revealing the colour and markings within, <coughs> rectitude, morally correct. Oh, that worked in a sense, does it? Righteousness. Righteousness. Yeah, I thought it was ah, like so yeah. that, I'm glad you did that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and apparently within the Oxford Dictionary, underneath it says, producer Ross is the very definition of rectitude. Um, oh. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And, and on this same article, doesn't Confucius write about this stone as well? Um, importance of jade in Chinese culture. Chinese people love jade not only because of its aesthetic beauty, but also because of what it represents regarding uh, social value. Uh, in the uh, Li Ji, the Book of Rites, Confucius said that there are 11 virtues represented in jade, benevolence, justice, propriety, truth, uh, credibility, music, loyalty, heaven, earth, morality, and intelligence. Wow. The wise have likened jade to virtue. For them, its polish and brilliancy represents the whole of purity. Its perfect compactness and extreme hardness represents the sureness of intelligence. Its angles, which do not cut, although they seem sharp, represent justice. The pure and prolonged sound which it gives forth when one strikes it represents music. It's oh, just lovely. gorgeous. It is, yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. Are you ready for the launch? This has never been on your screens previously before. It can be worn as a charm, a pair of earrings, mm. um, or even on a bracelet. I agree with you there, Ross. Ross is saying, I think this is probably one of the most sentimental carvings that we've actually brought. And it's something that's international as well. It's not, you know, we bring you a lot of sort of uh, um, auspicious carvings into sort of Chinese culture, of course, because it is, you know, that, this is the, that's the location that they are actually master carved. But I think this is auspicious all around the world, no, isn't completely. it? I think one of the main things that have surprised me about ever since we've been bringing jade out is the fact that it is hard stone. It's a very you, hard. You do, we mentioned Antiques Roadshow. You see antique statues and little um, Netsky yeah. pieces on Antiques Roadshow, but it just looks so soft. Yeah. That's really, really surprised me about it. About Where the, whereas strength. this is, yeah. you, you know, it is as hard as steel. Amazing. And they, 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 yeah. they carve this <laughs> in that abrasive kind of rubbing down manner. Um, that it's just absolutely mind blowing to consider that that's how this is, yeah. this level of skill and detail is actually achieved. Now we have a quantity of these. 
Um, but we do envisage that this is going to be an incredibly popular piece. 175 are actually launching today. I love the fact that this is a smaller scale uh, piece. What you can see, I say smaller, um, 22 millimeters in its size. You know, not everybody wants the massive master carvings. You know, for example, if I'm, you know, day to day business, I can't be wearing a big carving yeah, um, because, you know, it's, it, it's going to get in the way. If you're going out, that's a different matter, I suppose. But you still want to be wearing this beautiful, auspicious gemstone. Um, well, here's your opportunity. It is. Can you see? Yeah, can you see there is a little drill hole? You've got a little bale at the top there so you can easily feed this directly onto a cord. Um, I think a great idea. You said my Father's Day earlier yeah. on. Or, or for your gents yeah. jewellery and because you know you think of all of the meanings that this actual carving and this gemstone includes um, 107 blessings yet yeah, rectitude all those lovely things protection really lovely sentiments alongside it good luck everyone the graphics are live and already you are shopping ahead now you might think given the all that meaning all that uh, connection um, behind this beautiful gemstone of such rarity that this is going to come at a considered price tag. Well, actually, actually, this may well be one of the most affordable master carvings that you've ever seen on our screens, which is so exciting to be able to say. You know, I, I, I get it. Jade is a considered stone, even with us. You know, we can't avoid that. We'll, bring, we'll always endeavour to bring it to you at the best possible price tag. You know, we will. However, not usually what you're about to see. I got really excited when I was prepping for this morning's show and I saw the price point that Ross is going to launch this beautiful vase uh, pendant for. Already collectors getting involved, amazing. We've got multi-buyers getting involved as well. It is type A, completely natural, apple blossom green, beautiful jade eye in this wonderful vase charm with all that story and meaning behind. Here would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Where's he going with this? Mm. <clears throat> no way near. Mega deal. Mega deal. Genuinely, I was really surprised at how low this is going. Gosh. I had twenty nine ninety nine in my head. That, that. So I thought, I saw 49 and thought, oh, I'm glad I didn't say £30, but... I'll tell you what then. <clears throat> we'll match your twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, okay. Amazing. And then we'll raise it. <sighs> Ooh. Everybody that has already shopped ahead and secured their vase, well done. You're not paying $29.99. I, I would imagine, look, you've got to remember, the bigger the quantity that we have, generally speaking, the lower that we can go. That's just the nature of it. We're not, if you pop along to somewhere like, like Pillar and Stone or Mason and Kay, they're not going to have 175 No, minutes. absolutely not. So they have to charge a higher price point. Whereas if we, we work directly with some of these amazing master carvers and we will buy the entire quantity of them, which is great for them and it's fantastic for us as collectors as well. So $29.99 is not going to be a price point that you're going to see of type A jade elsewhere. This quantity means that we can push those boundaries even further. There is a reason why we are suggesting that this may well be one of the most affordable type A jadeite auspicious carvings that we've ever launched and it is the original launch because we're not stopping at 29.99 neil and linda geraldine antoinette cumbria fiona multi-buying joyce cardiff cleopatra hello to you cheryl patricia uh, um, antoinette um i can't keep up with you now let's half the original price crash of 49.99 how did you two know you were going to do that at the same time? Was that a bit of ESP yeah, or something? Yeah, just in sync. You were on the same wavelength? Yeah, on, on that oh. same Wi-Fi, yeah, absolutely. Oh. We've worked together for... <laughs> it is over a year. Um, he's not stopping there, though. Oh, we're still not stopping? No, no. Going even lower. I would say two-thirds of the people that have purchased so far have bought at least two, three we've got there. Because, I, 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 mm. yeah. And those I amazing get, earrings, I think. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't they? Do you know, yeah. I'm thinking about Mark, not just from a selfish point of view, because obviously I would like to get this, but my husband 
I'm thinking about my yes. two girls. Yes. I'm thinking about my, <clears throat> you know, my closest of friends. You know, if I want to give a gift, I want it to have meaning mm. behind it. So if I said to them, look, this is type A jadeite. This is one of the world's rarest gemstones in the world. But it's also that carving is hugely auspicious and it means yes. this, 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 this and this and this. I'm giving them something that is, has got sentiment, such amazing historic sentiment behind it as well. So I imagine that the, uh, the people that are multi-buying might be thinking the same. Yeah, I don't absolutely. know. How yeah. lovely would it be able to be to gift a gemstone with that wonderful story behind? In 55 seconds, we are going lower. We had 175, but there are a lot of multi-buyers getting involved, and we're not just talking about ones and twos. We've got uh, um, people getting uh, threes, fours, and sixes. Well done to you. Wow. I can see you there, Cumbria Collector, getting six of them. What lovely gifts. <laughs> You know, maybe you know, maybe you know somebody that is, I don't know, moving, uh, moving house or moving away or starting a new job or just because I don't know, it's gone through a particularly difficult mm. time, and you're thinking about gifting them with something, protection. What did we say? Blessings. Blessings. Rectitude. All those auspicious meanings behind it. Not stopping at £24.99. When I see this just coming around, it looks like a friendly diplodocus. Can you see? A friendly diplodocus. Diplodocus, when he came round just then. Oh. Yeah, can you see? So you've got his two eyes, and you've got his bridge of his nose, and then you've got his big round mouth. Look, can oh. you see? <laughs> Beautiful. That's gorgeous. It is amazing. Absolutely stunning. Under twenty pounds. The time that goes into carving just one of these yes. pieces, the, the 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 investment of time, and the fact that we are bringing you fifteen carats of the one of the world's rarest, most valuable, most considered gemstones internationally, not just in the east, internationally, um, wow. with all that sentiment and meaning behind it as well. There was one hundred and seventy-five available. They are absolutely flying out the door. Half the stock has already gone. Um, I mean, you could quite literally oh. just pop this onto a lark's head knot and wear it as is. Um, again, I'm thinking about sort of all different generations. You know, it's a unisex gemstone mm. as well, absolutely. And we're not even stopping at nineteen ninety-nine. Um, we've squeezed it under twenty pounds. This is why we were super excited about your uh, your early bird this morning because I get it. I get that some master carvings are more of a considered price point. Here at Jewelry Maker, they're absolutely amazing. Don't get me wrong, but to actually have um, to. Or they're too big, maybe. They yeah, might be too big yeah. for you. Um, if you're looking for something that's a little bit more petite, but you still want to have that amazing intricacy and sentiment, then this early bird is, is, is right up your street. We're not stopping at £19.99. pence. They'd be beautiful earrings, as you just they said, would. Mark. They'd be amazing, wouldn't they? They'd be a lovely yeah. charm on a yeah. bracelet. Yeah. Half the stock is already gone. Whether you got involved, uh, you were the first person to check out or whether you're the very last, everybody pays that final low price tag, £17.99. Absolutely amazing. Can you imagine it? I'm, Mark, I'm just going to put it maybe alongside some of your beautiful oh, yes. bracelets that yeah. are coming up in the 12 o'clock hour. Can you imagine one of these maybe on a, um, just on the cord, just yeah, you know, yeah. on a lovely little charm? Because there's nothing stopping you using the holes in the handle. No, yeah, you it can have it that way. Absolutely. No. You could also <laughs> lark's head knot it, where it's, it's a pendant. Yeah. Yeah. It could be the most beautiful pair of earrings. 17 pounds and 99 pence only. Ross, now this wasn't agreed. What are you doing? <clears throat> You know, we said we're on the same Wi-Fi. We're not anymore. You're not anymore. Not anymore. He's using his rectitude. He is, yes. Yes. <laughs> Ross, you, you're going out on a whim here, aren't you? Okay. He said a mega deal for oh, a did. reason. He did. He yeah. did say that. Okay. We're already at a mega deal in my eyes, but this is fantastic. The vase meaning. It's beautiful too, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Even if you're thinking, oh, I don't care about that. I don't care about the meaning behind it. It's a pretty pendant. Absolutely. It is. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. But there is meaning behind it. No matter whether you got involved at the first um first at the start of the auction or at the very very end 175 of these were available but we are going even lower as i said 
We're going to we're going to make the, one of the world's most valuable materials, one of the most valuable gemstones in existence out of 6,000 different minerals that form on our planet. Jadeite, type A jadeite, which it, it is is in the top 10 rarest and you can get hold of it today for 14 pounds and 99 pence purely right. because of how we manage to source our gemstones like i said we don't just buy one or two maybe that some retailers will get hold of we've got fantastic relationships that we've formed particularly over the past sort of few years if you like with um sort of uh, jadeite dealers but in particular your master carvers we visit those amazing remember dave said he's going to be filming documentaries yeah. Yeah. um actually in um in uh, uh the, the the master carvers um own workshop if that's what they actually Actually describe it um, I mean look at that oh my goodness wow. me I, I know this is obviously large and it does say a large uh, green jadeite vase um, sold for 321 21,000 pounds in 2015 wow. heaven knows what that's gonna be worth now yeah, um, because absolutely. of the yeah you know, the price increase and by the way that's very opaque you can see the fault lines you mm. can actually see the fault lines within that still beautiful don't get me wrong 31,000 pounds um, I mean that's right. not within my my budget at all but I can stretch to 14.99 well you could, done. Do, you could use this on your Marla instead of a tassel oh that's a lovely to, idea you, just to finish off your Marla that would be lovely that's a really beautiful idea. I like yeah, that yeah. because you've got that. Yeah, the meaning of the mala there as well. Mm, yep. Um, and yeah, just putting the vase in, in amongst in amongst the tassel, I think would be really beautiful. They're flying out the door though. Our core screen's gone all funny, Mark. Look, we're you looking at the bottom. We're looking yeah. at the bottom of the yeah. screen again. It keeps doing this, doesn't it, Ethan? Did that yesterday. Well, I'm just looking at the bottom of the screen. Um, <laughs> um, but we can see fives, oh we word. can see uh, sixes, we can see fours, we can see twos, threes. Jacqueline, Brenda, Heather, hello to you. Patricia Middlesex has just got three amazing. Bark, she's got two. Uh, Joyce, you've just got two, well done. Uh, Linda Ayrshire, Sterling, she's got three. Zara, new customer, Patricia. Anne in Cardiff's got two. Cleopatra, Joyce, Geraldine's got two. June in Hampshire's got two. Fiona's got four. Dawson, that has got two. Maureen's got two. Mary Claire, you've got two. Heather, you've got two. You get the idea. There's a lot of multi buying. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't know about. I, I don't know how you're thinking of actually, or, or or if you're purchasing this as a gift. But I'm thinking about gifts, and I think it would mm. be just really lovely because ultimately, our nearest and dearest, we want to protect them, don't we? Yeah, that's we want amazing. to give you uh, give all those sentiments alongside it, and just do a little write up. You can definitely sort of use the article that we uh, that we actually just showed. Wow. Do a little write-up when you actually yeah. um, offer this gemstone. Look at the quantity, though. We've gone from 175 down to 18 remaining within the vault. Wow. Once they are gone, they are gone. The reality is, whenever there's multi-buyers getting involved, that quantity will d Disappear dwindle very, very yeah, rapidly. Yeah. On um, Changing the subject completely, on Sunday, you see the, the basketeers, mm. the top three names. I can't remember what the item was. We had Victoria, Emma, and Melanie. <clears throat> top of each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. am I missing yeah. something here? One, two, three. The only one we didn't have was Jerry at the end. We would have had the whole set of Spice Girls. <sighs> all next to one another. All on that top row, all in baskets. It's amazing. Going to the left, you're having a good time. Yeah. Shake it to the right. International, Spice weren't Girls. they? Yeah. Yeah, they were amazing. 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 Uh, one of them yeah. lives back in, um, in my hometown. Which one? Sporty Spice. Oh, yeah. yeah she lives Melanie in C. Yeah, she lives in Monmouthshire. Or oh, she certainly did. I don't right. know if she still does. No, she's right. moved. Um, the final yeah. 12 of these. Well <laughs> done, everybody. Make sure you check out those baskets um, because this is looking like it could That's be amazing. an on-screen well sellout. I'm not surprised. Yeah. You've got the most beautiful kits coming up with lovely Mark as well. And if we have to roll over, we'll roll over. Roll, roll, roll. I like a good roll over. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Who yeah. says we have to We absolutely. have to duck out at the end of yeah. the hour? No, Who absolutely. says? Yeah. Um, Ross makes the rules. Um, that's worrying, isn't it? Actually, that is worrying if Ross is making the road. Um, so, um, beautiful kits coming up. Mark, once again, for those people that have just tuned in, what's, um, what are your kits about? So, uh, when we come back from the break, it's all about 11.0 clearance bundles. So, all you see beaters out there, this is the perfect time to watch. We've got one, two, we've got four, we've got nine bundles. And may, I already know which one's going to be the fastest seller straight away. Mm. And I just bought on my left just some of the different pieces just of jewellery you can make using your 11 O's. Yeah. When you say so some. This is probably about 
two hundredth of my CB pieces. It's really crazy. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. So we've we've got bracelets, necklaces, earrings, everything. You should do a craft store. I know. You really know. should. Well, don't go anywhere because we're going to bring you amazing deals on these beautiful kits. Join Mark and I after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa and there are already rumours that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material and you're not going to want to miss these opportunities. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here, just giving you the heads up of what's coming up this Thursday. We've only got a universal bench top work holder. This will do any shapes, sizes. We've got all sorts of things we can use it for. Don't miss it, it's an incredible tool. Don't miss out, please don't miss out. We've also got, you've all seen the, the ring holders. I've never seen a bangle one. We've only got some in the show. Don't miss us this Thursday. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Are you ready for the wonderful world of sea beads? <laughs> Do you remember when we first started doing sea beading? I was trying to think the other day. It must be about seven years ago. Got to be about seven that, or eight years because we we launched Swarovski first, didn't we? Yeah. And then um, then Mayuki and yeah took over the world then. And then, Fine, then it was the, then and it was yeah Preciosa the yeah. Czech fire glass. Mm. Yeah. Are you on this week with Hannah? 
Uh, Do you know? Uh, she, she, yeah, she's on the weekend. With Friday, you? Friday, Friday, yes, Friday. With you? Yes. Do you know what you've got on Friday? No. For the first time ever in jewellery maker history, we are relaunching Wildfire and Fireline not in 50 yard reels, but 125 Ooh, metre reels. That's I'm, not sure if I, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to tell you that, but I've done it now. So, so Friday morning, make sure you tune and if you like. And we haven't had it in no, ages. But we've got it for the first time in 125 in big, yard reels. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So there you go. Thank you for telling me that. Pleasure. Thank you. Um, wow. Okay. Well, your dealer day is coming up. It might be a little bit after after 10 o'clock, but we'll go with it. Um, right now, it's all about your beautiful 11-0s. 11-0s, am I right in saying, and I don't mind you correcting me, mm -hmm. are they the most, are they the go-to shape? Yes, I think yes? so, I think so. So you tend to, you tend to learn a technique with your 8-0s, which mm. is what I'm going to be doing my demo with, just because of the, it will all show up better on camera. But 11-0s are your more intricate designs, your more um, delicate patterns. Does that necessarily make them harder because they are a bit smaller? No, no absolutely oh. not. All the techniques are exactly the same, but you just you just go down a size, okay. that's all. No, it's amazing. And, and just to sort of cover something that if you're new to sea beading, one, that might be, I don't know, um, a stumbling block mm -hmm. or maybe a decision breaker yep. you might be thinking okay well maybe i struggle um with dexterity they actually they actually thread really easily really easy they got really big far they got, easier they than got gemstones. far bigger holes in gemstones for a start yeah without a doubt and we we deal with mayuki on the channel here and um they are the the best in the world for as far as seed beading goes and you'll find that the inner tube you might get one or two anomalies but other than that they're all exactly the same size mm -hmm. exactly the same drill holes they're just, they're just perfection. Yeah. And you want that if you're going to be doing repetitive patterns. Yes. Because if you had different sizes in a, in a tube, you'd get all these sticking outs and it just, it just wouldn't look at undulations. Which so, would not, not yeah, ideal. No, absolutely not. Absolutely so they not. are regarded really as like the uh, Ferraris, aren't they, of, they are. of seed beads, they the are. best in the world. Um, yeah, undoubtedly. And uh, again, I know you've said before, but these mm. tubes usually are about, what, seven ninety nine? Yeah. Here? Yeah, well, when we put them in kits, you tend to get an amazing yeah. saving. Now, Mark, which would you like me to start with? Right. Should we go for the one that I think is going to be the most popular, or should we leave that till last? No, do what that first. What do you want first. me to do? Let's do that first. The black, gold, and silver. Why do you think this one's going to be the most popular? Well, silver, I, I, it's probably my most used colour. You've got yeah. the black, which you can use in everything, and you've got the gold. You've got those three metallic qualities in there. It's lovely. And I think the gold is, is lined. Yes, it's uh, that, silver, that's lined. silver lined as well. It's like, a beautiful I'm, colour combination as well, isn't just it? See, you can just see all three of them working together, can't you? I did have a... I mean, I've got it on if here. you like silver in your jewellery, you've got that. If you prefer the gold, you've got that. And we rarely ever get the black as well. Yeah. Oh, Mark, that's stunning. Something like that. And then we've got... I'm going to be passing just to yeah, no, pop, them, pop, pop them to the side of you and then... Oh, so look at that. That's Absolutely Murano glass. When did we last do Murano? A long time ago. A long, yeah. long time ago. Can yeah. you see that down there? Hang on, let me drop it over the back of my hand. So look this, at this, how is, this is peyote, which is, which is one of the, uh, the fundamental <sighs> techniques that you do with 11 O's. There's a definite yeah. opulence to this trio, yeah, there isn't is. there? That's the, that's the word, actually. It's very opulent. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, amazing luxury. And, and I always think that, Mark, when you see things like the peyote uh, um, technique, it's it, it, it's, it looks like it's precious metal, you know, Does. rather than yes. no, a right. bead, effectively. It looks like it's precious metal. Um, and anyone can do it. You don't need a huge investment of equipment. All you need is that stunning. Um, all you need is your, is your wildfire and a and beading a needle. needle. That's it. Yeah. And away you go. Look how beautiful yeah. that like is. Like you said, it's like, it's like metallic material, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fabric, an absolutely yeah. beautiful yeah. fabric. So you're getting three tubes of your uh, Mayuki 11 O's. Um, so they've got the black, the silver, and then they've yeah. got the silver lined gold as well. And you get, on well. average, 110 beads in a gram. So you've got, about, you've got about 2,300 beads in each of those tubes. 2,300 yeah. beads in each tube. It's crazy, isn't it's it? It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, Goodness it's crazy. me. Goodness me. Um, and, and they last, don't they? Forever. Like I said, you look yeah. at these kind of tubes yeah. and you think, oh, okay, that, maybe that's, yeah, that's not going to last me very long. But they really do. They do. No, absolutely. I've seen some of the amazing yeah. pieces yeah. That, uh, that you've made on show. And Mark, you've used barely a third of the tubes. Um, already loads of you getting involved. How many have we got, Roscoe? A hundred. Mark believes this is going to be the most popular kit. I can see why. 
Yeah. Use them together, mix and match, literally add them to your stash if you wish. A third of the stock is already gone, I'm not surprised. Well, I know the price these are going to and I would get every single one without a doubt, even if you're going to sell them on, on eBay. <laughs> really? <laughs> you're going to be mercenary. Hang on, yeah, you, yeah, know yeah. Something that, crazy. you know something that I don't. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Is that right? Yeah, I know. It's right, it is so wrong. Right, but so wrong. Yeah. What? Lot, lot, yeah, lots of people are multi-buying. So we said so usually here, here at Jewelry Maker, it's about 7 99 6 95 7 95 yeah. Okay, okay, but if you put them in a kit... Mm -hmm. And I'm surprised these aren't in kits, to be fair. I'm not sure how we've managed to get them as a standalone bundle. Mm. So we should have been about 24 yes. 99 that would be That would be our price point. Yeah. Five pounds per tube, four, 14 99 Yeah. How amazing Mad. is that? And these are some of the most popular colours, aren't Without they? Without a doubt. Well, those three are. Yeah, your gold, your silver and your black. Wow. Without a doubt. Wow. Yeah. It covers all bases, doesn't it? Because mm. you, can, you can team this with coloured Manuki if you wanted to. This might be one of those essential. Absolutely. Um, I, think, I think they are. This is your, your essential bundle. Because how often do you, you know, if you wanted to create, I don't know, if you've got maybe, can you pass me that really beautiful turquoise necklace, <coughs> uh, bracelet, sorry, on the top? On this one here? Yeah, because, you know, you can use, my point is that if you want to go for colour, then you're yeah. still going to go for a gold, aren't you? Mm. Or a silver. Yeah. I think this whole bundle we've got, I'm looking at them now, we've, we've got your metallic tones, we've got your reds, we've got your hot colours, we've got all of your pinks and your silvers, we've got your blacks, we've got the blues, we've got the lavenders, we've got... Pretty much everything. Yeah, we have. Bundle. We've got some yeah. neutrals as that, well, haven't that's we? That's intrigued to me, this bundle. Oh, lovely. Yeah, absolutely. Stay tuned. Ideal mm. um, hour for you to stock up on your essential, beautiful Mayuki beads. And any questions that you have for lovely Mark, then do feel free to text us. Remember that we only had, um, I say only, we had a hundred of them. Look at the quantity now. We're down to the final 17 Amazing. remaining. Well Amazing. done, everybody. There's still a lot of you with it in your basket. I can see why, Mark, you thought this is going to be... Yep. Um, the most popular because also you don't have to be a seed beader to work with seed beads i'm not a seed beader no, um not. but i use them as spacers yeah well this um where am i what am i looking at let me find so for this one for example i love yeah. this piece i this love that is too just, oh, that's beautiful. this is just your colored banded agates with seed beads in between to make Look a really nice barrier, long line necklace yeah so if you, if you didn't want to do seed bead techniques just use them as spacer beads that's what I do. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because I'm not great at following patterns. You were talking about knitting earlier on, Margaret, weren't we? Um, I, I'm not great at following patterns, but yeah, just using them. Yeah, absolutely. And you know they're not going to tarnish as well. No, absolutely. So, That's right. so gemstones yeah. maybe that you can't polish or something like that, then they'd yeah. be a great alternative. Yeah. Okay, let's let's bring another. Um, there's only five left. Of well, that. should we do? Because yeah, let's do this one next. That's beautiful. Because the or eleven O's. I probably, I've probably used millions and millions and millions of 11 O's oh. over the years, but this is what you can, this is 11 O kiss cross using, oh using shell pearls. Oh my pearl. goodness me. So you could replicate that with this if you've got any shell pearls at home. And this is using six mil. I'm gonna do it Shell right pearl, now. yeah. Um, oh my goodness me. Uh, hi, Jennifer, saying, hello both. Um, I would like to ask Mark, what colour 11 o and 15 o seed beads I can put with a four millimetre tiger's eye to do a kiss cross? Well, I would go silver. Would you? Yeah, I, I, would go, I would go black as your 11 o, yeah. which is your kiss in the centre of your crosses, and then I'd go silver. Tiger's eye and silver looks beautiful together. Lovely. That's what I would do. I like that idea, because the yeah. immediate yeah. choice would actually be gold, I would have thought. Yeah, you'd have think so, but you'd have but think it, so. You'd have, <laughs> you'd have thought so, but no, silver, <laughs> silver it? tiger's eye. There you go, there you go, Jennifer. Yeah, so beautiful. thank you for texting in. Um, this is stunning, Mark. That necklace. Absolutely yeah. stunning. And this is using your shell pearl and this wonderful colour palette. Yep. yep. Um, so you've got your galvanised silver. So galvanised is, is probably my favourite texture that they add. And galvanised never, as you mentioned earlier, never tarnishes. No. Nope. Anything, anything galvanised, I always snaffle whatever the price. Galvanised rose. Wow. That's amazing. And you've got that pure white. Yep. You which saw... Again is, which again is a staple. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You saw what we just did on the first kit, bundle, whatever way you want to call it. 
Um, I think Ross has something else up his sleeve today as well. How many have we got of this? It's such a pretty palette, yeah. isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. I love this one. Yeah. Really pretty. It really reminds me of kind of like your quintessential gardens, pretty flower beds, yeah, rose lovely. beds. Yeah. It's got this lovely femininity to it. If you can't kiss cross, you could, like, as we just showed you with that beautiful necklace earlier on, you know, use it in amongst other gemstones, like your pearls. It would look lovely with some beautiful pearls or use it, um, use them as spaces if you wanted to. Just simple stretchies or looming that's another potential looming's amazing yeah, looming's be. really good in nine seconds though we are taking it lower we're bringing you some of the best possible deals and again any questions that you have for our uh, for mark then do feel free to text in oh that's beautiful there's that fabric again it's lovely isn't it and you'd only get this with my uki yeah without a doubt it wouldn't have that movement with other <coughs> with other brands no. <gasps> That's amazing. Fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence, yeah. and these are galvanized, so they are going to last. And I yeah, guess the yeah. hours that you spend, my, uh, mm. um, I, I was almost said my yuki, my yuki <laughs> seed beading, you want it to actually last, Absolutely. don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jennifer's saying yeah. thank you, Mark. I'll give that a go. Uh, just ah. for the uh, for uh, what's that? Just got the first kit. Amazing. Oh, well, there we go. That would be perfect, perfect, wouldn't it? Perfect. And we've got another message coming through. Hello to you, Elizabeth, saying, Morning, Alan and Mark and Jewelrymaker crew. Love all your designs, Mark. I'm going to try sea beading. Looking forward to your demo. And that's from Liz. So the, the technique I'm going to show you is one of my favourites. It's called chenille. And if I hadn't discovered Kiss Cross, I think chenille would have been my go-to yeah. technique. It's incredibly simple, but beautifully effective. It's, it's, it's a gorgeous And technique. is it something that we can pick up? Easy. Really? Really, really, really. Chenille. Simple. Why did yeah. I have in my head that chenille was one of the more advanced? So this this is this is chenille. So this is chenille in eleven O's, and I'm I'm going to demo it in eight O's just so you can see on camera. Okay. So you can just scale up, can't yeah, you? Absolutely. With it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Isn't that's that so beautiful. Oh, look at that. Babe. So again, it's it's a type of netting. Amazing. Well, I tell you what, let's dive into the demonstrations. And Mark, if you want, just cue me as and my name right, okay. in the next colourways. Okay. Again, keep those messages coming through to the studio if you want to ask any uh, Mark anything advice about uh, all Marvellous. your seed beading needs. Marvellous. So, as I mentioned, I'm going to demo in eight O's purely because it's easier to see yes. on, on camera. camera. Okay. So, because you're, you're going to be making a rope design, you don't have to go mad with your bead length. You just need to add to your design as, okay. you're, as, you're, as you're beading. So what you will need are two colours. So if I put that up here, can you see? Yeah, if I pop that there. Okay, so this is chenille. This is the design using 11 O's. Mm -hmm. But as I said, I'm gonna show in eight O's. So you'll need two colours. So I've gone for turquoise and gold. So the biggest decision you're gonna have to make is which colour do you want more of, gold or turquoise? And in the two, I think turquoise is going to be my go-to. Okay. Okay, so on your needle, you, the minimum number of bees that you can pick up are six, but I always gave it eight with chenille because I like, I like the uniformity of it. So you're going to pick up eight of your first colour. There it is. That's how easy they jump on the needle. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be my, my base colour. Okay, so you've got two, four, six, eight on your needle. Slide that down, and we're going to and we're going to make a little loop with a single knot, and I'm just going to go in and tie a second knot. So with chenille, we've got two colours, and you're going to alternate between turquoise and then gold, turquoise and gold. You're never going now. You're never going to add the two colours in one row, so okay. we're going to alternate, okay? So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get away from the knot, so I'm just going to sew through three of my turquoise beads, like so, okay? So you've got your little circle of beads. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, we're going to add our gold beads. So we're going to pick up one of our second color, and we're going to sew through two, okay? So we're going to go, we're going to go through two. And then we're going to pick up another 8 and go through two. And then we're going to pick up our second color, go through two. And I'm using a size 10 needle, and you can use a size 10 with 11 O's. It's just when you go down to 15, you'll need to drop down to a size 12. And then we're going to pick up our fourth 
8.0, and we're going to sew through the 2. So at this point, you now have, it makes a little square. Can you see? So we've got the 4 gold, and then we've got the 8 turquoise. So we're going to do our first step up. So we need to get onto the gold, because the gold was the last row we added. So I'm just going to step up. And then what we're going to do is when you put when you had your gold bees, you're always going to add two of your turquoise colour in this case. So we're going to pick up two, going to jump the gap into the next gold, going to turn. And eventually we're going to make a cup, we're going to start our rope, but at this point you don't need to do anything yet. I'm going to pick up two turquoise, jump the gap into the gold. We're just popping some needles on screen, Mark, just oh, okay. in case anybody needs to stock up their stashes. Yeah. Okay. Then we're going to pick up two again. So, as I said, we pick up the turquoise, then the golds, then the turquoise, then the golds. You don't add both colours together. And then we're going to sew through the gold. Now, at this point, you can now pull really tight and bring up the four corners, and it starts to make a little cup. So now we need to add our gold round. And in the first round, remember, we put the gold bead in between groups of two of our turquoise. So we're going to do the same now. So I'm going to step up, up in between the two turquoise beads. And we're going to add a gold. And we're only going to add a gold in between two turquoise beads. Now, can you see there's a gap between these two turquoise? OK, so what we're going to do is pick up a gold in between the two, jump the gap in between the next two. Can you see what I've done? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then when you pull nice and tight, it sits in the middle of your... I can see why you're demoing with the large yes. size. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to repeat again. So, so in between the first two turquoise, jump the gap through the first of the next group of two. Pull the gap. Then we're going to pick up a gold. In between the first two turquoise, jump the gap through the first of the next set. Then we're going to pick up a gold. In between the two turquoise, jump the gap into the turquoise. And can you see now that there's a gold immediately afterwards? So we're going to do our step up. So through the gold, through the turquoise, and then the gold. And you'll find once you've done a few rows, that needle will automatically pop up into the gold. So you can now see already, look, I've got that starting to form our little cup pattern. So we've done the gold round, now we're going to do the turquoise round, and you'll find that the turquoise round is easier because all we're doing is filling in the gap, mirroring, okay, so it kind of mirroring. Fit. It's like yeah, a puzzle. Absolutely. Perfect. So two turquoise, jump the gap. Two turquoise, jump the gap. two turquoise, jump the gap. So you're doing lots of gap jumping in this technique. And then two turquoise, jump the gap, straight stepping up in between the next two turquoise. Okay, so we've just added our turquoise round, so now we know we're picking up our gold. Okay, so we're putting a gold in between the first two turquoise, jumping the gap, so we're going over the gold into the first turquoise. So when you finish the show today, if you look back on YouTube and just watch it a couple of times and do it alongside me and then it'll, it'll soon, you'll pick it up really quickly and you can already see the little netting starting oh, to so beautiful. take place. So we're just going to continue. So it reminds me of Fabergé. Yes, I think that's the golden turquoise, isn't yeah. it? And then we're going to add another gold. We're going to jump the gap into the other turquoise. And because there's a gold, immediately afterwards, we step up into the, into the gold. So I'll carry on and do a few more rows, and I'll show you how we finish. So if we want to pop on, oh, you let's, let's do the bronze and the silver. Oh, the, I like this one. Yeah. I like this colourway. That'll work with the two kits we've bought. Already, oh, so. beautiful. Again, you know, if you're looking at them collectively, but also individually as well, 
um, because this, uh, whilst right. they're described as silver, they're silver-lined crystal, aren't they? Yes, so that's right. That's they, right. Um, well, crystal, they look, they, they kind of look like that, don't they? They've got this beautiful translucency. Yes. Um, then you've got the matte metallic dark bronze. That's beautiful. Amazing. And then galvanised yellow. These kits, I mean, to be honest, if I bring this one back as well, they're going to look yep. so beautiful together, aren't they? Yep. And then you've got the silver with the with the white on that side as well. So, as I said, they all work together beautifully. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, again, you've seen how, how, how great the deals are today. Mm. Like I said, you weren't joking when you said you know what they're going to and they're fabulous price points. Um, have we got quantity? Yes, um, we've got quantity. I don't know where they found all these. No, I unless don't either. Unless they're a new order that's coming, but I don't know why they've not saved them for kits. Well, they kind of are worrying. kits, though, aren't oh, yeah, they? Yeah. We're just. I've noticed, though, Mark, <coughs> over the last week in particular, we've been bringing components rather than mm, kits. That's good. I like that. Um, yeah, 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 me too. So you can kind of, yeah, you can mix and match them. You can that's sort of get what you need, effectively. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a continuous thing or not, I'm just saying. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, shop ahead. Beautiful colours. This has that wonderful, like, aged antique mm, gold look about look, it vintage look about it but again yeah. you can mix it up you could put this with i'm going to show you one of your more um sort of earthy tone kits that's still to come can you see that there yeah see they work don't oh, they nice. yeah beautiful that's five pound per tube and you get over 2,000 individual beads right, in each yeah. tube which is mind-blowing really isn't it and is it is it the kit my yuki are all you know, the whole process itself, they're all checked, aren't they? Mm, absolutely, yeah, by hand most of the time. How yeah. amazing is and, that, and that level of... So any, any beads that you see that are, that are silver lined, the whole bead is coated in silver and then they're jet washed. So all of the silver gets taken away from the outside of the bead, leaving the interior. But obviously then that needs to be poked using machines to poked. make sure the holes are, are nice and clean. And that's literally what they do. They For every poke, single silver they poke, lined. They poke the centre of them. <laughs> amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That's a good word, isn't it? Yeah. Poked. Poked. Yeah. Poked. Yeah. How amazing. Um, it's not technical, but I guess it is quite like, time consuming. Mm, very. Well, you yeah. know what to do? We've got a hundred of these, and again, there are so many of you there. Back to you, Mark. Okay. You know. So, what I've done here is I've just made a few more rows. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, as you can see, you can start to see the netting build up quite clearly now. So, all we're going to do is do you remember at the beginning, we started with eight turquoise beads mm. to start and then we added our gold etc so you need to finish with your eight turquoise and then all we're going to do is we're just simply going to sew all around the turquoise beads and this just cinches it all together so as i said this is one of the easiest little techniques it's very addictive though chenille so can I do like, you know, you do the long continuous con uh, yeah. um, kiss cross. Yeah. Could you do a continuous absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. chenille? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can do a 360 where you join them all together. Because so, you can see it, it just brings it all nicely together. So now what you can do, you see, you can make, as I've done with the, with the necklace, you can make little stations. And you can pop them onto memory wire. You can, put, you can rosary link the little sections. Because I, what I've, I think I've told you a couple of times on previous seed beading shows, I don't knot anymore when I get to the end. All I do is I sew round and round and round, and there'll be a point, especially with the lever nose, that you won't be able to get the needle through. Okay. And then I just cut the thread off. I imagine that's more secure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I, I'm finding it quite tough already. So I've probably gone round two times all the way round, and that's already starting to get a bit tough. So then all I'm going to do is just cut off my tail, which I know is secure because I knotted it and then just cut off the coil at the end. So if I pass that across to you, that's the ah. little station. And then these, these two bracelets that you've not seen yet, this is exactly the same technique using 11 O's. Continuous. Yep, yeah, using 11 O's. Oh, wow. So you can see it in the, in, in the size of the kits. Yeah. And it's still very fluid. You've still got movement. And if you wanted to, you could, um, you could do this technique onto paracord if you wanted oh, something a bit more rigid going through the Because centre. there's a core. Because there's what the about core. memory wire? Yeah. Memory wire would be perfect. So you could feed it onto something yeah. like your memory yeah. wire. Mark, these yeah. are absolutely beautiful. So with a necklace that you just saw, I've done it in varying lengths. And then I've also I've put um, little bugle beads. I've made little stations and then put bugles in between just to oh, separate yeah. them and alternated the colours. So you can see that they're exactly the same colourways, but because I've changed the, the colour of the main 
body of it, it looks completely different. Yeah, that one's stunning. Mm. I love that one there. That's my favourite. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous, Lovely Mark. Photo. Thank you Lovely so photo. much. Again, any questions, do message us in the studio um, and we can put them to Mark. Make sure you check out because 100 does sound like a, a big quantity, and I guess it is, you know, um, relative to the amount of sea mm. beads that we've had in of lately. Um, but they are absolutely flying out the door already. Um, okay. Let's do, do the, the, the last long tubes and the pinks. The pinks. Yep. This and is memory. pretty. Yeah, yeah. Um, really pretty. And again, if it's too pink for you, you can always you can always separate the colours out. Absolutely. You, yeah, you yeah. don't have to use them all together. So that's using the bronze. The I was pink, going to ask you which ones sort of to pick up. Color. Yeah. So oh, that's lovely. lovely. Gorgeous. This would also work really particularly well, I think, with this kit. Don't you think? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. That's like Italian yeah. ice yep. cream. Absolutely. Amazing, yeah. 26 pounds and 99 pence. You know we're not stopping there. So in terms of the colors, let me see if it says on the tubes. Um, you've got silver lined mauve. Very oh, nice. That sounds nice, doesn't it? Can you see that? So you've got the silver line core and then this really beautiful, in fact, it's on here, isn't it? Is that, I think it is. I yeah. think they're the yes, silver line yes, mauve. Yeah. Um, and then you have your ballerina. That's lovely, isn't it? Pretty ballerina pink. And then this one, eh. Uh, is your uh, bright pink. There we go. So really well, beautiful. Colours, aren't they? they are Lovely. stunning. And I think especially with the sort of spring and summer months on the way, um, $26.99 would be a great price. It'd be an absolutely amazing deal. But you know we're not stopping there. You've got over 20 grams um, in the larger tubes. Um, these still, don't be fooled by these sizes, though. They've still There's got over 1,000 in that little half tube. Still over 1,000 in the little yeah. half tube. Yeah. 12.99 <laughs> only. So uh, uh, just to give a, get an idea be a, ear of perspective, I mm. can't talk today. Mm. Um, how many do you reckon of these bracelets I could actually make? Out of that little bundle there? Yeah. You probably need to, maybe if it was a full-size tube, you could probably get eight or nine. Eight or nine? Yeah. So they really do they last. They do go a long, long way. Yeah. Because yeah. most, uh, like, certainly I would go, okay, well, that's lovely. That will make me one bracelet. No, no, no. It'll make you possibly no, eight or lot. nine. Amazing. No, no, no. Really pretty yeah. pinks. And these are the, uh, this is the only kind of pinkish. Yes, yeah kit that we've got available for you today um well done everybody lots of you checking out and again you can always mix these lovely colors up for example we've still got your blues, blues. to bring yeah, you how popular so the blues are yeah that would be really pretty together wouldn't it really pretty together amazing um baby pink and baby blue absolutely um stunning yeah we've got reds to bring you as yes. well so again you can mix all these up or maybe you do like your seed bead figures <coughs> it'd be quite nice with seed bead figures the little faces or the nutcrackers and the nutcrackers um amazing check out your baskets everybody to make sure you guarantee your success um on the pink uh, on the pink kits so i've got jeanette there and they're in kent and they're in county wicklow shirley hertfordshire Tynanware, Catherine, Barry, Aishi, hello to you, Joy, uh, June, Maker in Northampshire, Helen, congratulations. Okay, let's move on, just because I've still got so many to bring you. Well, let's, um, let's go the blues. I'm glad you said that. I was really rooting for the blues. Yes. Um, it's always the way, Mark, isn't it, that blues are the most popular? No, without a doubt. Not just in seed beads. What's I... the colour on the left? I'm intrigued. What, this this is one. The, is it like a... Um, Something that it says... Ooh transparent cobalt can we get close to that can that's you see beautiful, isn't it that's really oh bright. that's nice and i'll lie them down so you can see the colors is that like a pewter that silver one it looks like pewter doesn't this it? this one's uh um lined sky blue ab oh <gasps> that's oh. pretty and this one is nickel plated how beautiful i love this colorway mark so these are the smaller tubes but you're still getting, as you said, about a thousand mm. of them. You're, yeah, these would be lovely ra uh, um, yeah. additions to say your labradite, which I think is It'd what you're amazing, handing me it? now. Yes. Oh, Mark. So again, it's a, it's a long line lariat with just CB spaces. Under 10. Oh, he is as well. He is as well. He is as well. He's only gone and done it, isn't he? That's £3.33 per tube. Amazing. Crazy. I love this colour. Oh, we've egged him on now. <coughs> Doesn't like three pound thirty three. Says doesn't like the sound of that. Doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> How about three pound per tube? <laughs> well, actually, it does roll off the tongue, doesn't it? Actually, it rolls off the tongue pretty perfectly. But I guess three pound. Yeah, it's all good. 
Let's take it even lower. That's such a beautiful colour. Love that one. The transparent cobalt. Then you've got your uh, um, lined sky blue AB, which is a little bit, I don't know, a bit Frozen-esque. Mm. That's sort of pewterish, pewter. isn't it? Yes. Do you see yeah. pewter very often? No, no. So it's not gunmetal, it's ever. more silvery, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's more of an aged antique. Beautiful. Yeah. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. Have I got quantity of these though, Roscoe? We had 90. Oh, they're flying. Absolutely flying. All of these CP bundles have yeah. done, to be honest. Um, blues are always the most popular, but we say blues. You know, it's bluey silvers, mm. aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, we've still got some of your earthy tones. We've still got the red. We've still got a, a, a very exciting popular. bundle. That's going to be my favourite next. Yeah, that's Some nice. Amazing. Do you want to do that one next? Okay. Okay. It's got a sort of gunmetal look about yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool, Lovely. isn't it? Yeah. Very metallic in its appearance. 90 of these were available, but it's so busy today, as always. As always. And I, I, I guess, you know, something that we need to overlook is the fact that sea beads are not exclusively just to these patterns. You can use them in normal oh, beading jewellery. Absolutely. You just, just use them as spaces in between your gemstones. I mean, one technique that I really love is, I, I, it's not very descriptive, but it's the hot air balloon, where you make little bands around oh your gemstones. Oh, my goodness. I'm really ruining your display, that's right, by no, the way. No, no. That's oh, really Mark, nice. that's, that's nice amazing. Up your, your 11 O's. It's perfect. Is that a simple technique? Really simple. So all you're doing is you're taking the needle up through the shell pearl. Yeah. Popping on 11, 12, 13 seed bees, going back up through. So like, like you would do a pico. Yeah. So you, and you're going to do it as many times as you can just until you laps. can't get the needle through. And then you just do on to the next next one. How amazing is that? Yeah. Um, hello, Cece. So Mark just oh tuned in. 4 a.m. <laughs> here. Um, are the 11 O's the ones that make the kiss yes, cross in your they designs? They are. They are absolutely. Yes. I've go. started going down to 15 O's, which is really delicate, intricate work. But most, I would say 90% of my Kiss Cross designs are using the 11 O's, like the, like the pink one that you showed there earlier. Yeah. Hello, um, hello um, CC. Bless your heart. You are an early bird, my lovely. Um, amazing, all, amazing, yeah. amazing. Oh, there and we that's, go. And that's Russian Spiral, which again uses 11 O's with your gemstones. Oh, look at so this. So they're, they're probably the most versatile of all the sizes, the 11 O, without a yeah. doubt. Yeah, we, did, we spoke about that, didn't yeah. we, earlier on? Yeah. We were saying that, is it like the go-to normally? Yeah. Um, your 11 O's, what an amazing selection. Keep on dialing through all around the world, getting involved, as you can see. We've just heard from America. Yeah. We've got yeah. Holland on the phone lines, UK, of course. Um, amazing. On to the next. Now, Mark is particularly excited about this bundle, Ross. Yes. Oh, you'll it's, know it as soon yeah. as you see it. Um, I'm going to tip them Beautiful. that way so you yeah. can see. Oh, look at that. And I'll describe them. What does CL stand for? In? Copper-lined. It could be. Light bronze, that would make sense. Yeah, copper-lined, copper yeah. Copper-lined, light bronze. Never seen that. This one is gunmetal. Right. And this one is? Dead black. That's, oh. that's descriptive, isn't it? Yeah. This is gorgeous. It's lovely. I love gunmetal. Is metal. it a favourite? Gunmetal is my favourite colour ever. With seen the copper lined? I've not no. seen copper lined ever. That I've never seen a new. single copper lined before. Do you it's new? Could be. I've never seen it before. Um, have we got quantity of this? Oh, <gasps> there's almost 200. Why is that in a kit? Um, oh, no. I don't know. I don't know entirely but oh, no. you know we're not good just because we've got a bigger quantity that doesn't mean we elevate the price tag it's the opposite we're going to bring this to you at under 10 pounds is it possibly the introduction of the copper lined i don't know i don't want to say be, definitively i'm not sure well but be. i've not, i don't recall ever doing copper lined oh no we're pushing it just because we've got 200 of these and these are delicas as well, so these should be more. These should be. Oh yeah, expensive. I hadn't clocked that they're yeah. delicas. So would yeah. the could you do the same technique exactly as what you same. demonstrated with yeah. delicas? Yeah, exactly. Does it same. transform it? Does no, it look no, different? No, no, no. Ever so slightly more angular, but other than that, the difference. So, so um, a delica is if you can imagine a long tube that's cut with straight edges. We can see that looking at the tubes there. Yeah. Whereas seed bees have more of a rounded. Yeah. Edge to them. So your your peyote, so your peyote on the end there. I didn't think they had. You were right, El. So, they are so new. something like the peyote is delicate come into their own. They really do. If I bring they, 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 they do create that fabric that we were yeah. talking about earlier on, don't yeah. they? So you've got the sort of zebra oh, print there using your black and white. That. 
So these are delicas. These are these aren't delicas. These are seed beans. Oh yes, but, I can but, see but, if, you, but if you wanted to use delicas, you, it'd be more of a of a flat. A flat. Yeah, rather than the re you won't be able to see spaces in between. Oh, look at the call screens, Mark. There's that so copper many. Copper is stunning. It is beautiful, and it is you. <coughs> we can confirm that copper has never been on screen before. Eight pounds and ninety nine pence only. Um, it, it might, like I said, I, I don't know if it's maybe something that new, uh, Mayuki have new well launched, be. maybe. Well be, yeah. um, so copper line, bronze, you've got your gun metal, which is always incredibly popular, yeah, and yeah, you've yeah. got your dead black. So, yeah, beautiful. Um, 8 99 only. We had 200 of these, but there are people multi-buying. I'm not surprised. Over 100 have already gone. Beautiful, ridiculous. absolutely beautiful. And they're delicas rather than your um, traditional sea beads. So yeah, they, 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 they're, they're flatter on the surface, if you like. So still a tube, but with straight sides. That's right, yes. Um, yeah, and, and normally more expensive. Yes, considerably <laughs> more expensive. I wonder why that is. Yeah. I wonder, again, I wonder if they're more involved. That's amazing. That's their sea beads. But again, if you imagine that with delicas, it would be more structured. That was a labour of love, that was. You can tell. <laughs> Mark, that's absolutely beautiful. Do you know what this reminds me of? Mm. Do you remember that bookmark you made for oh, them? Oh, yes, yes. Still has it. It's I'm so pleased these are popular. That <sighs> yeah. I need to have this bundle after the show. You'll have to take this one, I think. Yeah. Take the studio sample. Well, let's, let's hit the reds. Should we go into the reds? Let's do it. I'm running out of space, you know. No, I'll take them back. No, don't, don't take them all. Or we can okay. do we can shop them, uh, swap them around, couldn't we? I guess mix up everything. Yeah. Let's do the reds. Why? Why we? Uh... So, what I've, oh, red and white. Red us. and white. Yeah. Let's go red and white. So, um, I was lucky enough uh, five years, I think four or five years ago, to actually go to the Czech Republic to visit Preziosa factory, and we had a guided tour, and we were told there by not only Preziosa but also Mayuki that red is the most expensive pigment to produce in glass beads. And I think that's generically mm. as generic, well. Yeah. I think that's yeah. in clothing also. Absolutely. So you'll probably notice that we don't actually do very many red sea mm. beads at all. And this is a little fact that we sell, not just us, worldwide, more red sea beads are sold in October than any other month because people get them in to do their Christmas, Christmas. baubles and their Christmas crackers and their that Christmas... Makes sense. And we always say, whenever you see red, get them whatever time of year and keep them in your stash because you will need them for Valentine's Day, you'll need them for birthdays, you'll need them for, as we, for Halloween. Do you remember we do a yes. lot of Halloween and Christmas? So we always say whenever you see red, snaffle them because when it comes to needing them in the end of the year, we can't, we can't provide well, them. Yeah, we never have them at Christmas, no. do we? Um, no. You're actually getting different varieties of red here. So this is the matte opaque red. Wow. Um, and this one is After the... After everything I've just said. Yeah, I know. It's like he doesn't listen. He doesn't listen, Mark. You. See, he didn't. He did, wasn't listening to a word. <laughs> I know. Oh, no. And then which one's this? Sorry. Oh, this quantity he says. What colour's this one? Pearlized white. It looks pearlized. Yeah, that's amazing. So you've got the matte red and the uh, and the um, usual red, and then you've got this lovely pearlized oh. white. Six ninety nine. Russ. He says it's the biggest quantity of the show. But he wants to sell them all out. Just, said. just totally ignored you, didn't he? Did he? completely. I know. Complete lack of respect. Don't take it personal because he ignores me on a daily basis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. He has. He has. I know. <laughs> I know, I know. So, do you know what? This is one of those must-have purchases. Um, and, and again, I know I keep harping on about this. Not e even if you're not a sea beater, you'll use red. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. That's ridiculous. So I would put that tube of gunmetal we just yeah, had. Yeah, nice. And the silver. Oh, nice. That's just, I love that combination. That's oh, beautiful. These, look. Call screens have gone nuts. I can't believe we're going even You'd lower. pay that for a tube of those on other websites. Would you? Yeah. And it's not even stopping at 6 99 No. You are I, getting I, I can name. I can name at least five CB, because I've done my research with CB suppliers that charge at least that for a tube that size. And we have to go on the same waiting list, don't we? Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't get bumped to the front of the queue. We go right to the end. Even though we buy the Three and a half to four month waiting list for our CBs when we place the order. So, you know, are you listening, Ross? Um, three months waiting list for these, you know? 
it's really mercenary, and I really shouldn't say things like this, but I would get five or six of these and sell them on eBay. Yeah. Make some money out of them. Why not? That's that's stupid. Two pound for red. Honestly, <laughs> I've never I've never said stupid on air before, but that is that is stupid. <laughs> look, look, doesn't that tell you? Honestly. 79 chances remain, um, but we are over allocated. Yeah, the, 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 call, uh, the call screens have absolutely lit up. Lots of people are taking you up on the multi buying opportunity. Maybe you are going to go and sell them directly online without making a single piece of jewellery. You Honestly. know what? Why not? Why not? Times are hard and all that. Yeah. You know, yeah, a bit of business yeah, acumen and all. Yeah. Yeah, hundred oh, well. percent. It's the world. It's globally the most popular colour and the most expensive yeah. colour. The most expensive to produce. <laughs> Crazy. Um, so just so you know, I'm not confusing yeah. anyone. You're getting those three. We just wanted to put those colour choices alongside it just to uh, demonstrate how beautiful they are. Um, this was the biggest quantity, not just of Mark C B kits, but of the entire show, which is th th that's a, as unusual as hen's teeth. And you've got whitey, a pearlized white in there, which you'll use with everything. Mm. You know, it's one of your staple, your stash staples. Yeah. Hi, Vera. Oh, uh, morning, Alan Mark. Remember, it's neatly... Um, Absolutely. Sorry, nearly. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. you can tell I need glasses. Yeah. Don't um, it's nearly red, white and blue. Coronation in May. We've had the That's blue. That's true. We've had the blue. We've got the red. We had the cobalt, the, the perfect cobalt blue. Yeah. <gasps> Yes, Vera, that's amazing. Yeah. Right, hang on. Good there you point. are. There we go. Vera, perfect. Yeah, Absolutely perfect. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? CB I'm looking bunting. forward to the coronation. Nice little, but it's, it's history. It's history. Mm. It's historic, isn't it? Yeah. I know it's a bit sad as well. It is a bit sad. Mm. But yeah, exciting. Yeah. It's historic. Um, so you're going to be, Vera, are you going to be making some of your really lovely uh, um, sort of coronation jewellery? You're going to have the, um, the flags flying. Look at the call screens. I'm not sure how to gauge Mark's reaction right now. If you're, are you, mm. are you disappointed? No, no, I'm, I'm happy for the viewers. That's what I'm. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, but, but you're disappointed in Ross. Mm, Go and say you are. Slightly. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ross. He's not angry, but he is slightly disappointed. In so we've got you. two bundles left, haven't we? So let's go <laughs> earthy next, because these, these are beautiful. Love this. I this think, is... is this matte champagne or something? I think Ooh. it's got a name like matte champagne. Let's or... have a little look. Canary yellow matte. Oh, that's new as well. I've not seen that before. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's not. I've never seen look this at before. Do you know what it reminds me of? Bumblebee Jasper. Yes. Oh, yes. It's kind of got that. Colour patterning. And then this one here is... Root beer. Oh, I don't know what this is. Let's have a look. Um, these are Delicas, though, again. I these are say. Delicas again. So these are Red AB. I've never seen Red AB red in a. B. my life before. They are Ethan's nice and close. Oh, they're like, they're like berries, aren't they? These would be perfect little berries for your yeah. holly, holly bushes and things. So what's this And one? this one... Oh, pumpkins. This is your pumpkins. Burnt orange. No, these are new. These three. I've not seen All any three of, of them are new. So wait, you've got... Oh, I think you've got Halloween and Christmas in this kit. It just says cinnamon and ginger and spices. Oh, yumminess. And... Just yummy, yummy, Can yumminess. Can check whether these have been on before? Because I don't recognise any of these. No, AB, AB Red. I've never seen AB Red before. No. Burnt orange, which just, oh, that even looks Matt's delicious. Matt's canary yellow. I would have remembered that. Yellow. I would have remembered that. It does look a little bit bumblebee jasper, doesn't it? They're all they brand, are brand new. new. And you're still doing what you're doing? Still taking it under 10 pounds, yeah. Still doing <laughs> it. Honestly. I love, um, that, I love that Matt canary yellow. That's stunning. I think this one's my favourite. Gorgeous. I like the pumpkin -y one. How beautiful. Nine ninety nine. They are all premiering today. Never been on your screens. Oh, and the delicas. And the delicas. So you can see the flat sides, can't you? That's why we, I kind of hold it this way, so you can actually see the colours. I didn't realise we were having delicas as well. I would have bought some delica jewellery in. <laughs> to be fair, you brought you brought a lot. It's all good, wow. and it works in the same way, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly the same techniques. Yeah. There we go. Nine ninety nine. How many have you oh. got of these then? <coughs> 
just over 100. So they might be premiering. That's, a, uh, that's as much as we could get. And, and again, we, we, we do go to the back of the list. There's no special treatment. Um, hello, Lorraine. Say, morning, my sister isn't very Lovely good at idea. knotting pearls. So she always uses seed beads in yep. between. Yep. Um, and it adds a pop of color. Great. So, uh, so do I, yeah. by the way, Lorraine. Yep. I do that too. Yeah. I've done that on the show before as well. Yeah. Without that, because sometimes you find if you, especially if you're using silk with the needle, mm. when you've tied the knot, the knot is too small and it, it pops into pops the pearl. In. And mm. if that happens, you're a bit scuppered. So that's when I instead I use seed beads in between instead of knot. And, I mean, they're not going to they're not going to damage the no, pearl either, are they? Because no, they're no, nice no. and soft. They're soft glass and they're coated. So yeah. They're they're they're, they're amazing. Love it. Yeah, no, I do as well. And yeah. and you, like I said, when you t I use my wildfire yeah. through my pearls yes. and seed beads. I do that all the time. Yeah. Um, amazing. Yeah. Well done. Oh, the finale gonna, this bundle. Oh, it's this so cute. It's like wisteria. It's the only purple we've got, isn't it? Proper purple, lavender purple. Yeah. Have you got wisteria? No, I'm not. I'm too impatient. Is it true that with wisteria you need a? Someone told me this, and I was like, I didn't realise there was such a thing. Mm. I don't think this is right. But apparently you need a male and a female. No. <laughs> I don't no. think so. You need a self-facing hot wall is what you need, and we don't have one. Oh. And, and some varieties take up to 25 years to flower. 25 and I'm, I'm, years? I haven't got the patience for that. No, yeah. normally. I do know one fact about wisteria. If you do have one in your garden, if it spirals clockwise, it's Japanese. If it spirals anti-clockwise, it's Chinese. Oh. Yeah. So... They are beautiful. They're aren't incredible they? and they smell stunning. Yeah. But I'm, I'm too impatient for yeah. wisteria. Yeah, no, they are beautiful. They are gorgeous, though. They had, we, we, we had one in my old house, Did you? wisteria, yeah. Mm. Um, um, it actually grew along a fence. Mm. Uh, yeah, didn't flower hugely yet. No. <laughs> it needs to be on, an old, on a wall in baked. Baked. Look how pretty. <sighs> so the pretty. On here? That one's so we've got silver lined lavender. Right, hang on. So you've got your white mm. salon. Gold dust. Like gold dust. Gold dust. Then yeah. you've got, oh, lilac silver lined alabaster. Wow. This one is. I love this colour. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, typically it doesn't say. What's this one, Ross? Do you know? It doesn't That's say beautiful. on the tube. Look how pretty that is. It's like, it's got to be an AB. Yeah. I love this. AB pink, something like that. Look at how beautiful oh. this six ninety nine. Yes. You get you've got three thousand approximately beads here. Oh, this is a good one to show you. Three thousand. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh Mark, that's beautiful. That's perfect colour. Rose, Rose Salon. Salon. I've never seen that before either. Oh, that would be perfect to, to replicate yeah. that. Beautiful. Are they all new as well? Are they? All oh, brand new. Oh. <laughs> that's pretty. Mm. Really pretty. Really lovely and feminine, this one. Yeah. Um, amazing. Again, we ha had a quantity of 75. Very exclusive. Actually, the most exclusive of all of these uh, amazing beautiful. bundles. And they're actually on the verge of selling out already. I love that combination. Amazing. Please don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. We've still got so much to bring you. I'm excited about your deal of the day. It's a yes. bit different. Yes. Um, oh, OK. Got a oh. message. Um, hello, Sandy. I had um, my wisteria oh, no. in for 20 years, and it's still not flowered. It does take Bless a long, you. long time. But when Bless it does... Yeah, we amazing. reckon this year is going to be the year for yeah. your wisteria. I think last year that it was too hot with that 40-degree yeah. heat we had. And, uh, yeah... Yeah, it takes a long time. Do they need a lot of watering then? I don't think so. I don't think so. But they just need a lot of heat. And what the TV right series does Wisteria remind you of? Uh, Desperate Housewives. Yeah, exactly. I loved it. Isn't that, should I admit that live on TV? No, I like Desperate Housewives. I've got the box set and everything. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> love it. Love it. Are you, it. Really? Is that right, Ross? <coughs> Uh, yeah, Ross. Brie Van Der Kamp is my favourite. I love her. Ross's girlfriend's rewatching yeah. uh, Desperate Housewives as well. Yeah, so. amazing. Um, okay, don't go anywhere. Your deal of the day is very exciting. Uh, um, and I said at the beginning of the show, this was actually probably one of the deal of the days that I had to research the most. Because it was something I, uh, initially I was like, I can't get my head around it. I need to know the backstory of it. So much so, I'm literally going to share with you part of the conversation that I had with our, um, our sales manager. Um, but, you know, when you think about gemstones don't just arrive, do they? They take mm. years, sometimes multiple yes, millions yes. of years to form. And our Earth didn't look like it does 
today. It's ever-evolving. Then we can start piece the, uh, piecing the puzzle together. Don't go anywhere because we are launching for the first time an amazing gemstone that is fossilised shell quartz. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hi all, Alison Terry here, just giving you the heads up of what's coming up this Thursday. We've only got a universal bench top work holder. This will do any shapes, sizes, we've got all sorts of things we can use it for. Don't miss it, it's an incredible tool. Don't miss out, please don't miss out. We've also got, you've all seen the, the ring holders. I've never seen a bangle one. We've only got some in the show. Don't miss us this Thursday. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. This is exciting. Oh, look. Why 
do we love gemstones? Um, me personally, yeah. I like the fact that, that it's something that Mother Nature has produced. Yes. I like the fact that every single piece that we work with on the show is unique. There's yeah. not going to be another piece like it in the world. I love the fact that some of these pieces are millions and millions and millions of years old. Yeah. There's so many different reasons, and uh, I'm just fascinated. And, and I would, lots of people ask me how I came about getting the, the guest designer role on Jewelry yeah. Maker. And it was purely down to being a customer. And I tend to find that I would start a hobby. Six months later, I'd get bored, start another hobby, get bored, start another hobby. And I've got so many boxes of, of started hobbies at home. Jewelry making is the only one that I've progressed for years and years and years. And ultimately, it's become be, 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 your career. Yeah, it's become my career because you see something different every show. Yeah, it's true. It's and you true. Work, and you work with just the most, I think for me, gemstones are romantic. Yes. They've got such a history and Absolutely. I adore them. And I do generally think, you know, I think we'll all have individual stories, but I do generally think it, you know, it is, we become... It becomes literally a love affair, doesn't yes, it? I mean, completely. I think the love affair for me started from a very young age when I, with my mum's yeah. jewellery. Yeah, and, and, and like you said, every day is exciting and you're and learning you something things new. on a daily basis. I mean, I've never seen anything like this in my no. life. It's incredible. So, <laughs> in, in accordance to the GIA, and this is one of the questions actually on your uh, Gemological Institute of America accreditation is, um, what makes a gemstone? So, what qualifies a gemstone as a gemstone? Isn't it something like something that looks beautiful? Is it beautiful? It's something that's beautiful. I remember I yeah. read that. Yes. Yeah. Rare. Yes. Yeah. And durable. Doesn't actually say natural. Your man-made stones can be classed as a, a, mm. as a, as a gemstone. Um, so that's a qualification. But firstly, can I say, is this beautiful? Absolutely, it's stunningly beautiful. Gorgeous. Love this. Is it rare? One hundred percent. It's very rare. You know, you can't replicate something that has quite literally taken hundreds of millions of years to form. Um, well, you can, but we ain't going to see it. Um, and is it durable? Yes, absolutely. It's seven point five on the most scale. What we are looking wow. at today. Sorry, that's bothering me that it's on the skew if. Um, is something that I don't believe, and it does look a little bit like, a, uh, and we had message mm. earlier on, I don't know if it's the same thing. It is reminiscent of your Turi Teller that we had once upon a time, I believe, um, because it has fossilised oh. shell. I think it was like Marium. Marion Jasper. Calligraphy stone yeah, Marion, yeah. yeah. So, um, so, yeah, when, when uh, Wayne told me that we had this on today's show, I'll be honest, I'll be really honest, I was a little bit, oh, oh okay. Um, because I didn't, I, don't, I, I didn't feel confident enough, I didn't know enough about it. Mm. But obviously, that's my job, to do the research. Um, and I'm going to show you, this is, um, I, I dropped Wayne a message, I was like, look, Wayne, you're going to have to help me out on this, because I can't connect the dots between the fact that this is shell fossil and quartz oh, oh, is yes. it reconstituted um with the, which i can fig i can figure that out and he was like no it's all completely natural i was like you're gonna need to go to the supplier and 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 tell you know get the wheels in motion so i know what i'm researching and this is the supplier's words back this was literally wow. yesterday 25 to 4 yesterday afternoon um that gemstone comes from fossilized shells which orig originally are from a rare variety of gastropod that lived between 50 and 100 million oh years word. ago when the indian subcontinent was submerged under the ocean recovered from a hill which was located but uh, uh sorry in um excuse my pronunciation is that madhya mm -hmm. uh pradesh state in central india usually found as a complete shell or merged with other minerals like quartz and calcite so i was like Right, I get it. So that's when we made me then think about opal. Australian opal was formed. You think if you've ever flown over Australia, it is completely desolate and mm. cold, uh, hot. Sorry, so very dry and arid. Um, where was the water to form opal? Well, that was once under sea. And I spoke to my husband because my uh, my husband he did uh, um, a geography he did ge geography both as an A level but also um, in university. So I was like, this is something he can definitely help yeah, me out. And he was like, Al, it goes back to um, the Pangaea. I was like, okay, I've heard of that, but you're going to need to explain to me again what that is. I'm useless at geography. Once upon a time, and this blows my mind. So we're yeah, very much learning this yeah. together. Okay, um, once upon a time. Our world didn't look like it does today 
it looked, and this is what they predict anyway, it looked like this. Crazy. So all the countries and the continents that we know today were all together. Yes. That's mind-blowing. But with the movements of tectonic plates, volcanic eruptions, etc., they separated. So when dinosaurs roamed the Earth, it didn't look like we know it today. Um, so, some of it did, yeah, some of it, not all of it. But let's move on. So that's what our, they believe. And this is a more um, scaled in photograph because what you're seeing here um, is areas like Madagascar and India, again, very close, yeah, Australia as yeah, well, yeah. Um, very close together. But what is the Pangaea? <clears throat> because the Pangaea is a direct result of this gemstone effectively, isn't it? Mm. Um, if you're talking about subcontinent. Yeah, yeah. So we'll flick on. Well, about 200 million years ago, all continents on Earth were actually one huge supercontinent. Amazing. Surrounded by one enormous ocean, this gigantic continent called the Pangaea slowly broke apart and spread out um, to form the continents that we know today. Sounds amazing. Yes, it does. It had me, literally, this article. Believe it or not, the continents have come together and spread apart at least three times before. Crazy, isn't it, it is crazy. Yeah, yeah. After all, our planet is 4.5 billion years old. On that time scale, 200 million years um, yeah, isn't true, such actually. a long time. No, no. It just blows my mind. The fact mm. that our yeah our countries, if you like, those continents have mm. moved, separated moved together as well um, and of course that means that land masses which weren't necessarily undersea previously would have been mm. undersea and vice versa that's amazing scientists have found many kinds of evidence that support this idea and here are just a few the shapes of continents fit together like a puzzle just look at the east coast of south a america yep, yes. and the west coast of south africa it's almost a perfect fit Identical rocks have been found on different continents. These rocks were formed millions of years ago before the continents separated. They formed from the same minerals and under the same conditions. And that's why you find that seams have the same gemstone in different countries, but it's part of the same. Yeah. It's, like the, you said, it's difficult to the, get your head around, isn't it? Is, it? it is. It yeah. is the um, gem-rich Mozambique belt. Yes. Just yeah. amazing. Yeah. Fossils of the same kind of dinosaur. Uh, the Mesosaurus have been found in South America and Africa. These dinosaurs roamed Earth before the two continents Incredible. broke apart. That's amazing. Just mind-blowing. So then, after moments like this, I was thinking, OK, I get it now. So this gemstone was actually found in central India. And you can see it there, um, actually photographed. So not only were these, because this is the other thing I was like, okay, so hang on. It's not just countries that are separating at their borders. It literally could have, India might have been separated entirely. Yes, completely. Um, but then if you actually look at the photographs of this location, which I'll lead into, you get, it's, it, it, there's lots of beautiful rivers. Um, so this is where this gemstone was actually formed. So these fossilized shells, of gastropods that existed 50 to 100 million years ago wow. have over that time frame become uh, um, have actually had sort of uh, your, your quartz and your calcites this is quartz obviously mm, in this yeah. case surrounding it and preserving those beautiful fossils uh, have been discovered in central India it's not on a coast where we might expect no, literally no. in central India so let's go back to the original question as a gemstone, is it rare? Yes, incredibly rare. This is a gem that, oh, these gastropods, which look something like mm. this, existed millions of years ago, between 50 and 100 million years ago. Plus then, you've got the added rarity of them um, being preserved, encased it, for want of a better description, with your quartz which has kept as well. it safe, I would assume. Exactly, yes, which yes. is then ultimately fossilised. Mm. This is quite literally National History Museum. Mm. Completely, completely. Worthy, yeah, yep. I should say. The coolest jet deal of the day ever. That's amazing. But it, incredible. It, I'll be Brilliant. honest, it took me hours to research today's deal of the day because I couldn't get yeah. my head around it. I am no good at geography whatsoever. So, But it's cool. And you said earlier yeah. on uh, at the beginning of the show... My husband has zero interest in gemstones whatsoever, but he could get behind this. Yeah, yeah. Because of the story. 
because of that connection. Oh, now, this is uber limited. There are literally four strands. Beautiful jewellery created by our lovely Anne and Sue. We've got it in rounds. We've got it in coins. We've got it in these lovely triangles. And we've got it in these uh, um, kite wow. shapes. I'm going to start with the rounds. They're beautiful. I would wear this. Every wear single them. one. They are reminiscent of your Mariam they Jasper. Are. Absolutely. Or your Turi Teller <laughs> Jasper. They're not reconstituted, which was my first question um, when uh, uh, Wayne spoke to Ross and I. Just fascinating. Those beautiful fossilised shells existed on this planet between 50 and 100 million years ago. But even beyond that, they have your beautiful quartz gemstone surrounding it, preserving it mm. perfectly. Incredible. This is the only strand of rounds that we have. It's just cool, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Kids are going to love it as well. My daughter last week went on a trip to uh, some dinosaur show in uh, um, in Birmingham. I wish I'd had this to give to her. Yeah, and they could have had that conversation, couldn't they? In 15 seconds, we are launching this for the first time. I don't believe we've had anything like this before. I might be, I might be incorrect, and if I am, I apologise. But I've never brought anything like this to air previously. It's just cool. It's really exciting, and it's totally and utterly natural. Not reconstituted, as I originally thought. How many do we have, Ross? A hundred wow. in existence. The rounds always are the most popular. There is a graduation to this as well. So if you just simply wanted to restrand it, you absolutely can. Fascinating, isn't it? Fascinating. And that's you said earlier on, that's why I asked the question, Mark, is, you know, why do we love gemstones? Mm. First thing you said was because Mother Nature produced it. It's incredible. You know, it's his, you've, got, you've got our planet's history in one strand. This is beautiful. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Subcontinent divides. And after everything you've just said. Yeah, we went under silly 50. Little prices. Do you know, James Cameron was so fascinated with the world, the world as it was when it was known as Pangaea, that the planet is called Pangaea in the Avatar film. He named, yes. he named the planet Pangaea after, after the history of what happened. It is amazing, isn't yeah, it? Incredible. And it's ever changing. I always, I, always look at the, I always look at the British Isles, and you can imagine Ireland stuck onto. Yeah, the, the, connected. The north, can't you? And you look Space at the White Cliffs of Dover. Yeah, yeah. You can imagine that I was connected to something, can't Incredible, you? Isn't it? Just amazing. We're starting at forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. That's not where we are closing, though. Not where we are closing. In fact, remind me, Ross, where are we closing? Oh, that's what? unbelievable. Yeah, it is unbelievable. You, we always talk about the story with gemstones. Should they, are they beautiful? Absolutely. <coughs> um, but the story behind your gemstones, you know, no diamond has the same story as, as, as no, most of your coloured stones. Not. I think no. that's why we love them so much here at Gemporia. Every single one is unique, has been found in this one location in central India. Half the stock is already allocated. The, we knew they would be popular. It's, it's beautiful. You know, so we've had we've had dinosaur bone, haven't we? Yes. And we've we've had Tiarella, well, the, the calligraphy stone. I prefer this hand stone, without Me a doubt. Me too, because you've actually yeah. got multiple gems in one, haven't you? And creatures, and and the whole story behind it. I think I think it's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. What you know, when I was over in Tucson, I bought uh, there was this tiny piece of amazing rock i don't know what rock it was it looks like uh, almost like cotswold stone right um and it's probably i don't know maybe six inches by four inches like a slab and it's got a fossilized little um fish skeleton on it it was just really really cool really really cool um it's a conversation starter yeah, absolutely yes, and i yeah. framed it and it's up in our house it's only tiny but it's perfect you can see the little fossilization oh. of this tiny little fish and it didn't cost me a fortune but so many people comment on it. Yeah. But imagine wearing Great. it in your jewellery. We're at twenty nine ninety nine. But in one minute, we're going to take oh, it no. to your deal of the day price point. That isn't it. We've got four strands to bring you. That's yeah. all. The only rounds that we have, there are only four strands of your fossilised shell quartz. Uh, and this, this is... That's why I said this is like the National History Museum in a gemstone strand, isn't it? Mm, without a doubt. This is the kind of gemstone that I think, yeah, you, you said Father's Day earlier on. I think it'd be a lovely idea. Well, I think us, 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 us blokes, I mean, I think we get quite left out with, gem, with uh, gemstone totally. jewellery and things. We get spoiled. We do. Yeah, we I mean, do. there's nothing stopping us wearing what we like, no. but it's so lovely to have 
something that, you know, neutral tones and uh, earthy and something a bit more masculine. But at the same Lovely. time, Mark, I would put one of yeah. those with a strand of pearls. I think they look absolutely idea. gorgeous. Yep, absolutely. Because you've got the, the immediate connection. Mm. Be quick, though, lovely jewellery makers, because we had, did you say 100? We had 100. This is the only round strand that we have available. In three seconds, we're taking it even lower. Steeped in history, not just, though, in terms of... Uh, uh, you know, one location, it's actually the, the, the whole planet's history. Today, it's exciting, isn't it? It's so exciting. I would get four of these and make a mala. Oh. A gents mala. I think that would look amazing. It's so cool. Yeah. So, so cool. And, and like I said, I, pro I spent <coughs> hours, probably about two and a half, three hours researching this last night because I am not very... You know, I'm no David Attenborough. I don't, I, I you know, and I, I'm, <laughs> I take it pretty, di I, I can't retain information like that. And I can't also get my head around, I can't get my head around the fact that the planet looks so different. But, well, I can, I can, but it took me a while to appreciate that. Does that make sense? That literally the only reason this formed is because central India, not this coast, central India was once underwater. underwater. Under sea. Under sea. Under sea yeah. yeah. And these little gastropods were on our were, were on our planet between fifty and hundred million years ago. Can we For look, example, um, amylite is the gastropod. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we start one end of the strand to the other? Sure. Just, just to because I'm just sat Let's here. Let's do it. They look so. This is probably one of the most unique gemstones we've ever brought to air, isn't it? it, it yeah, it really is. And every oh, single beautiful. one. I love yeah, just imagine we're holding something here. Like you said, dinosaur bone earlier on. Yeah. These were on our planet, the same sort of time frames. How yeah. amazing is that? They look like planets, don't they? Yes. They look like planets. Just cool. So, so, so cool. And by the way, aqua jadeite. Oh, look at that one. Aqua jadeite is on pre-order. This would look lovely with aqua jadeite. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So these tiny little gastropod shells, fossilised and with natural quartz, not reconstituted. How amazing. I'll leave that with you because, again, they are limited. There's loads of you with it in your basket. It's amazing. OK, which one next? I don't actually have the strands. Do you have the strands? Oh, here we go. Oh, gorgeous, Dan. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, that's beautiful. Please tell me this quantity. Oh. Uh, let's work our way across. Should we get? Should we get up close? Oh yeah, my cool. goodness! Even the range of colours are stunning, aren't they? They work together beautifully. I like a living room. These colours, the sage yeah. and, the, and the blonde, blonde colours, and this gorgeous bit of mushroom, bit of taupe. Oh, that's, that's gorgeous. So cool, isn't it? That's fascinating. So you've got the fact that, it, that it's millions of years old, which we mentioned about in the introduction, but then all these little creatures or remnants of creatures. So you are wearing fossils in a way, yes. aren't you? Yeah. Is it just me that look, look, it looks at that and it looks like a skeleton, doesn't it? Which is effectively yes. what it is. Yes, yes. Effectively. How amazing are these? Look at that. Really? I mean, we absolutely shouldn't be doing this, but give... How cool is that? It's like an archaeological dig. It is. Oh, completely. Yeah, yeah. How cool. I tell you what, even though we've got a smaller quantity, we are going to take this under £20 or so. These are bigger in size. Oh, if you can. Oh, They're look gorgeous. At just cool. So cool. I don't think you're ever going to stop looking at these. Little stories in, in, in every single one. But how many different varieties of creature you've got in each stone? Yeah, because well. they're not, not all going to be the same gastropod, the same are they? Lot, That's no. a funny word yeah. too, isn't it? Gastropod. I think it's something to do with the fact they've got their stomachs on the outside. If that, Is I'm it? I'm sure that sure something to do with it. Yeah. They're snail-like creatures, aren't they? Yeah. And, and they grow yeah. their shell as like they get that. bigger. Yeah. So look, look, there's lots of different gastropods yeah. right there. I won't go into all the names of them, but... Oh, yeah. You've got different varieties of there, yeah. You've got, <laughs> yeah. You've got Bob. 
You've got uh, you've got Dan there. There's Mark. <laughs> there's L. All the gastropods under twenty pounds only. Just unbelievable. Uh, just probably one of the most exciting um, deal of the days. Like I said, it's one of them that. Uh, we love gemstones because they're pretty, of course, but I love gemstones because they've got the most amazing story behind them as well. And it's well. not very often we bring items like this to air, is it? No. And you get quite blasé and complacent sometimes, and then something like this pops up, and it, and it just reinvigorates your energy about it gemstones does. again, doesn't it? Yeah. It's fascinating. Our planet is amazing. Yep. Absolutely amazing. And um, this was more limited and looking like it could be a sellout imminently. In fact, it's very close to being a sellout. I've only got two more strands to bring you um, of your deal of the day. Super exciting. Can you understand why I was a little bit confused initially? Because, uh, um, yeah, Ross was like, so you've got fossilized shell quartz. Eh? <laughs> but if it, but if it hadn't if it hadn't embedded itself in quartz or quartz hadn't have surrounded it, we may have lost all this forever. We might not have seen those perfect no, preservations of not. history. It's like amber, isn't it? Encasing yeah. your insects. Yeah. The quartz has done this yeah. with the shell. I it love is. It. I think it's amazing. Quartz does it again. This is one of my favourite stones we've ever brought to air. I think. It's cool, Just isn't love it? it. And yeah. it's it's yeah. for me, it's more visual than your dinosaur bone. Yeah. I'm not saying it's the same as dinosaur. Well, dinosaur bone. The reason why. Uh, that that organic matter, the bone ultimately, mm. is that patterned, I guess, is because it has, it's quartz again. That's right. That's preserved the yeah. organism, yes. if you like, the yeah. structure. Which one next, Mark? Should we do the diamonds or should we Let's do... Let's do the diamonds, yeah. These are beautiful too. They're gorgeous. I again, love getting just, up just close to these. Just one on a piece of cord, bit of eslon. Oh, just, just so cool. So Tom hadn't seen these. No. Or photographs of them at all. No. Wow, I think you'd be amazed to actually see and, them. And, and like I said, he's he's far cleverer than I am, Tom. Um, I don't mind saying that, it's true. He is, he's much more academic than I am. Um, and so I was saying, okay, he's going, oh, I can't help you on gemstones. I was like, no, but you can, because this is, mm. this is geological as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Historical and, and geological. Part, and that comes part of geography, doesn't it? The whole yeah. geology of the planet as well. Yeah. Oh, perfect. 100%. <coughs> so, um, but even then when we were discussing it, it was like, hang on a minute, central India was once under... Crazy, isn't it? Under sea. Amazing. Uh, just amazing. Um, okay, let's bring you these beautiful diamond shapes. So obviously, again, much, much bigger in their size. You know, not only are they all completely unique and individual, also, you could, you know, you could flip the strands over, have a look at them individually because they are unique. Every single one will be unique. You've probably got different varieties of gastropod yeah. shells in here. I think it's the, it's the background colour. It's like a sage, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. A dark sage. I love that. It's very grown up colour, I, I think. I think these look lovely with pearls. Yeah, yeah. I think they look really beautiful Ooh. with pearls. Is that with... Is that oh, what Alan Sewer's done? Yeah, look at this, look. Oh, yeah, perfect. perfect. You are right, you're right. How elegant does that look? It's just beautiful. I and mean, it is that conversation yeah. starter. You know, oh. when you're wearing something like this, people are going to ask the question, aren't they? Celebrating our planet's history, these beautiful natural gemstones oh. found in central India. £19.99. pence. Ross, how many do we have? 40 again, so uh, uh, look, 40 people are going to be, or less maybe, um, are going to be yeah, successful in three already, this. look. Yeah, yeah, Devin's got three. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's one of those, isn't it? You think there's not going to be abundance of something like this. There are diamond mines all around the world, whereas something like this, you know, uh, uh, and... It was movements of tectonic plates that created Mount Kilimanjaro and ultimately um, Tanzanite. It was the Pangaea and the subcontinent division that created this amazing gemstone. What's that all about? No, no. Oh no. my goodness me! I was so, in I was in the supermarket yesterday and I was looking at some uh, Easter eggs because I always get Andrew an Easter egg. Yeah. And you want a really nice posh, you know, yeah, green and black, one. something like that Easter egg. You're looking at twenty twenty five pounds, mm. and you can get something like this that is millions of years old yeah it just doesn't compute does it it just doesn't compute at all you can probably get them in a nice easter card as well mm. because we're going even lower than 1999 um, oh, even uh, though we have only 40 of these in existence i mean that's it that's all we have we don't have any more i've never oh. I, i've never presented anything like this before i launched dinosaur bone when we were back at mm. ivy house 
Um, I'm trying to think of other gems that Mariam, Mariam Jasper is yeah, it's quite similar. I think a different location. Um, Turi Teller, I think, it, again, has got shell within there. But again, I don't know what location that would have been. Um, but this, again, it's the fact as soon as they said subcontinents, I was like, oh, oh, my goodness me, I've got so much research to do on this one. But it's been exciting, hasn't it? Bit, I love it. I think it's amazing. I think it's stunning. Do you reckon you could pop into the National History Museum and say, see that fossil there? That's millions of years old. Can I buy it? And furthermore, can I? I don't know. I don't know. Can I buy it for under 20 quid? I don't know. Can you? I need to go to the National History Museum. We need to, should, we go, should we go on a day I'd trip, Mark? I'd love that. Do you reckon we could pick up some, some souvenirs for 20 pounds? <laughs> In the lovely so, gift shop. You, yeah. might get, you might get a bouncy ball and a postcard for, <laughs> for 16 quid. Yeah, a bouncy ball. <laughs> 16 pounds and 99 pence only. And that's 75 <coughs> carats. Again, cool. Um, if you work with your silversmithing, I think like your gallery wire and your uh, um, bezel strips, amazing. You could literally just feed this directly onto a chain, do some simple beading like Anne and Sue have done here. I'll leave that with you because I've got one more strand to do. And that's it. That's all we were able to acquire. Um, this one's all about the triangles. I'm, I, I like this one a lot. It's lovely, isn't it? Um, I think it's the markings in this. And I know they'll all be different, but they'll all be of that same quality. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can see the cavities in the shell swirl, can't you? As we've got that picture on the TV screen there of the swirls, you can actually see the swirls in the shell. Just cool. Oh, Mark. I like this one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? What would you do with these? I think it'd just be single pieces. Yeah. Maybe if you had a stall, you had these laid out separately and you know, you choose one and you pop it on a piece of cord while you wait. So you can actually uniquely choose which yeah. one you want. It is the kind of piece that yeah. could be standalone. Absolutely. It could just be, yeah. uh, you know, one of those standalone pieces yeah. and you could do the little write up, you know, cause that's the thing. People will get um, excited need, by the story of it. About it. Yeah. You need people to see that. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just, OK, it's clearly Mother Nature, but it's just another stone, isn't it? Mm. But in the same way that, you know, people come from all around the world to see things like, I don't know, Stonehenge oh, yeah. or something like that. It's the history of this. What did you say? You don't want to know. £14.99 pence only. Just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Good luck, everyone. Um, so again, wow. let's go back to it. Let's, let's just flick through the Pangaea. The Pangaea, that's what, you know, it's it's that occurrence. Oh, it's right can you in see the, right, right in, in the centre? We were right next to Greenland. Can you yeah. see? Yeah. We'll show you there. That's, yeah. that's there we are. There's there Britain. Yeah. And Ireland, you said it, is Ireland attached. is attached. The yellow, is that tiny piece of yellow. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Iceland's yeah. attached to the uh, top. Yeah. Greenland. Look how much it's changed. And then you've got what, sorry? Norway. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we attached, it looks like we're attached to France, look. Yeah, where the Dover and Calais meet. That makes yeah, sense, that makes doesn't sense, it? That makes sense. Yeah. Hang on a minute. I can't figure this out. Antarctica was attached to Australia. I know. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy it? how much it's changed. So, yeah, we were pretty much in the centre of it all, weren't yeah, we? Yeah. Um, in the centre of it all. But then again, over, as, the, as the planet evolved over the 4.5 billion years, um, obviously the con uh, countries and the continents have divided. And it's meant that things like uh, Ethiopian, yeah. uh, um, not Ethiopian, sorry, Australian opal um, is a result of it once yeah. upon a time being under sea, as, the, as is this gemstone. Just cool. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets. Well done. Um, we've still got so much to bring you today, this Tuesday morning. Marks, don't forget your masterclass um, because Mark is launching. Let's show you these, actually, because we haven't mentioned them um, over the past hour. They've never been on it before. They are exclusive to a Yes, you can't get them. Any, look at the size of the drill hole they've had to make in these stones oh. to get the silicon in. What are we looking yeah. at, Mark? <laughs> Do you want to show that beautiful jewellery again? I tell you what, I'll move these. I'll show you because this. Across to the we've done the deal of the day now, haven't we? So let's, yeah. So we've got eight 
I think seven or eight. Might be One, two, three, seven? four, five, six, seven. Seven. So we've got seven little kits. We've got all the cords to make the bracelets and we've got the little connectors also on here. So we've got four connectors. We've got the star, the heart, the leopard, tiger, and then we've got the bumblebee. We've got all the cords, but the star of the show, you are going to get da, these da, amazing da, 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 da. silicone embedded sliders. It's a slider mechanism. Pop one on. See how but gorgeous they are. But a genuine gemstone. <laughs> we've oh, got my. amethyst, we've got tiger's eye. We've got fluorite, which is one of my favourites. And then we've also got, so you can either use the charms or as I've done here, I've added bees. So we've got Mamukite on here with the game. With the I slider love these, and Mark. The bees. So you get, you get the slider and you get the two dongle beads as well. We've got a Labradorite. And then we've also got Rose Quartz. Love the this. So we've got Coming up at 12, 12 o'clock. And the price is just scandalous. It is scandalous. Yeah. But a good scandal, yeah. Yeah. need to say. Um, here we go. They feel comfortable, don't they? They're so easy. Yeah. The mechanism is, and they're so soft and just gorgeous. So, and some people can't wear precious metal. No. So if you don't do wire work, this this is perfect. So I'm going to show you how to do this technique as well. That, that the braids made out of it is so easy. Amazing. These are coming up at twelve o'clock today. Um, okay. Right now, it is time. Four strands Ooh. of. Aqua jadeite. Um, this is certified aqua jadeite. And it references two things really. It references the colour. So this is um, so a very beautiful, cool, pure colour. But it, it most importantly references the translucency. Jadeite has a certain water content and that water content adds its translucency. Remember how many times we've said before that jadeite should look like melting ice? That's the water content that we're referencing here. Not physically look like ice, of course, but it should have that same luster and it should have a beautiful translucency. These were launched with Dave. I need to stress, I don't know how Dave, and this was in my absence, I don't know how Dave took these to the price that they did. He, um, oh... Oh, okay, so Ross has just confirmed. He said, look, he got such an amazing deal and Dave just wanted to get past that deal on. It was a one-off. Um, it was one of those... Uh, this is the thing. This is what happens in the gemstone world. Opportunities occur, um, you know, where you might have a, tr a gem trader. Ida Oberstein, for example. We got hold of Ida Oberstein purely because they were deciding to sell some of their parcels and we were in the right place at the right time. So this might have been one of those opportunities. I need to stress, though, that these are limited. Are you ready? Back to back for aqua type A jadeites in 10, 8, 6 and 4 millimetres up next. Okay. I'm going to put them all on the back of my hand just because, you know, we can, can't we? So when did Dave launch these things? I've, ne I've never seen them. Oh, Wednesday last week? Yeah. I've not seen them. They're absolutely um, amazing. Um, we, the price that he took these to, um, Wayne was not impressed. But the conversation was... Uh, look, this is a this was a one-time deal, one that um, we purchased as much as we he could. This is Dave talking now, um, but Wayne was very strict about. He was actually saying you need to emphasise that this is a once-only opportunity. Yeah, I love this. aqua jade, which has got the purest colour. It's so pure, it's almost blue. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like freshly fallen snow. Mm. You know, when, you know before untouched snowfall. It has a bluish it appearance, does, it does. doesn't it? Yeah. That's what I see when I'm looking at these. Um, are they bleached? No. Are they dyed? No. Are they pollen impregnated? Absolutely not. Um, but they also have an amazing water content um, that, uh, and I'm going to ask Gorgeous Dan for his phone if I can, um, because that will highlight the beautiful translucency. So I'm bringing you all of these sizes in separate auctions, but I need to emphasize they are limited quite possibly the best we have ever and quite possibly the best we will 
ever bring you in terms of your um, of your jade out rounds. I'm talking about the deal today. And I don't even know what they're going to, but I've heard the rumours on the grapevine just how special they were, uh, the, the, wow. the, the, the Wednesday deals were. So are we doing this in ascending order? So we'll start with the large, the 10, then we'll dive into the 8, then we'll move into the 6, and then obviously into the 4 millimetre. When you're talking quantities, Ross, oh, less no. than 20 of the 10. Okay. They're all available on pre-order, though, so you can shop ahead on these. Look at that glow. They absolutely light up. Hang on, have I got too many? Hang on. Look at that. That's the water content. Gosh. That's the translucency that I was referencing. <coughs> they light up like individual wow. light bulbs. That's the water content and that fine crystal that has created, oh, hang on, I'm moving away. Um, this grade of aqua jadeite. It's certified completely and utterly natural. And you can get hold of it today, like I said, at one of the lowest prices we've ever brought any color, any variety, any quality of jadeite on our screens. But there are only 20 available um, of the large sizes. 330 carats. I don't know how many times I've said this, um, but I, I absolutely should keep saying this. this d when I look at our jade, immediately th I think, okay, is that any different to many of the strands that I have seen, jadeite strands that I have seen in Sotheby's or in Bonham's or in Christie's? No. The only difference is, all right, they might have some history with them, and I'm not talking about the carvings. They definitely have. But some of the knotted type A jadeite strands that I've shown you sold at auctions for thousands upon thousands, thousands of pounds are from this exact same location and more than likely of the exact same quality as well. So to be starting at 499 is absolutely unbelievable. We're so limited, we're going to go straight down to it. I would have liked to have seen Cross, uh, Cross Wayne. Really? I wasn't here on Wednesday, so I missed that show, unfortunately. But um, apparently Wayne was fuming. Hiya, Susan. Oh. <laughs> uh, bought these on the launch. Very pleased with the quality, um, with an even subtle colour, hoping to buy more. Well, you probably know the deal then, Susan, that we took this to. I've got no idea. I've got no idea no, what no. they're going to today. Remember, this is the largest. So, as with all gemstones, really, the larger the carat weight, the, more, the higher the price point. That's beautiful. Oh, my word. What? I, know, I get it now. I actually sympathise oh. with Wayne. I was quite happy to be all smug about that, but I do actually sympathise with mil. him. That's the 10 mil. That's the 10 mil. 20, did you say? 17. Oh my, look at that. It's, it's borderline blue. And I know that blue, remember we always say it, don't we? GIA spoke about blue jadeite forms from Guatemala, uh, start again now, forms in Guatemala. But this actually has got that almost glacial blue glow to it. 79 pounds and 99 pence. Are they split payments? I'm not surprised our Wayne was fuming. I can imagine him stomping around the place. I can. And this is the largest size, Mark, as you said. The final six, Margaret, Marion, Susan, Anne in Cardiff, Victoria and Kent. Susan, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, you've just got yours. Well done. Um, oh, no, there's another Susan. Yeah, make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. The final five, Christine, Fiona, you're there as well. This is the largest, and we're doing it in the ascending order. Um, this is a deal that we said it's probably the best we have ever done and will ever do. So, and, and that's the wonderful thing about gemstone buying. It's not the usual price for jade, particularly of this quality. Um, so that's what happens. You know, gemstone traders, they might, we might be um, approached, which they, our buyers do get approached. I saw it firsthand actually over in Tucson. You know, okay, I've got this much. You can have it all because they know that we will buy it all. Um, and I'll, you know, they'll negotiate for an amazing deal. The trader's excited. We're excited because we can pass on those lovely savings to our audience. The final two, who's going to get it? 
I'm bringing you each of these sizes in a few moments' time. <coughs> oh, it is. It's like fresh snowfall, isn't it's it? It's beautiful. I'd use this, actually, with something like, like you know that, um, like an aquamarine, I think. Ooh. I think that'd be lovely. I think kind of a kunzite to keep with that nice. sort of, um, pastel tone. Yeah, because actually it's picking, yeah. matching beautifully yeah. with my nails, isn't oh, it? Yeah. There is one left. <gasps> I'll leave it there. <sighs> oh, you've shopped ahead on the eight mils. I'm not surprised. What, but but what? why? Sorry, Ross has just said, so So you said the, you've seen the 10 mil was 79. So you'd expect maybe 69. No, I wouldn't, because the reality is they're both wrong. That would be, that, that, none of those prices seem right to me. I know that Dave got a great deal, but there's a great deal, and this is giveaway, isn't it, for, for Aqua Jade? Apparently, there's a big price drop in the eight mils. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I wasn't here on Wednesday. Unfortunately, I had to, um, we had our lovely Ruth step in for me last minute. Okay, I'm, intri I'm intrigued. I'm excited. Ross, how many do we have, though? 27 in existence. So this will probably be the last day, the last opportunity that there is to get hold of this uh, um, this amazing parcel. Can you imagine this beautifully knotted in a graduated necklace with the 10 mil or smaller, whichever you wish? That is a piece of jewelry and probably one of my first ever jade PowerPoint shows two beautiful jade knotted necklaces, not a single ounce of precious metal um, on that piece of jewelry. No other gemstones, exclusively jadeite, and they sold for what, two, I think it was £2,000 at auction. You know, that's it. You, plus you've got aqua jade here, so it's actually rarer than the photograph and the, and the one that Sotheby sold all those years ago. That's it. Christie's, not Sotheby's. Ford. Oh, it's 30 pounds. Still got six mil and the four mil to come as well. 12 pound 49. Oh, there were 27. There isn't 27 anymore. Margaret, Susan in Essex has got two amazing. Uh, Margaret in Sussex, Maker in Meath, Victoria in Kent, Tracy in Norfolk, uh, Susan in Hertfordshire. Oh, lots of Susans getting involved today. Amazing. I had 27. Like I said, multi-buying means that this quantity is flying rapidly. Hello, Yi Mei. Hello to you, Fiona. Hello to you, North Lincolnshire. Uh, Sharon, Ellen, Alexis, Christine. Amazing. So, yeah, this is it. Let me, can I show that, Roscoe? And I know this is 2014 in Christie's, knotted, We've taught that technique, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Granted, there's two. Granted, they might be bigger still. Two jade, I, you've got a better colour than those. Yours is better. And they sold back in two, th almost 10 years ago, after the closure of the Burmese mine. So the price has skyrocketed since then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sold for over yeah. £2,250. Or at £2,250, right. beg your pardon. So, yeah, to be able to bring it to you at under 50 is just astonishing, isn't it? Absolutely astonishing. Um, they are better, well, from what I can see anyway, they look like to be, yours are a rarer colour as well. Um, amazing, make sure you do check out, 27 were there. Victoria's got four, um, well done to you. Fiona, you've got yours as well. I can't, who was that? The call screen's just jumped dramatically. Um, there's nine of them left now. Once they're gone, they're gone. This is a parcel look. We'll be able to bring you more, more jade, maybe even aqua jade. I, I'm not sure, I'm not one of the buyers. Um, but what we can't guarantee is this kind of price point. Um, hello, Susan, saying, I agree, borderline blue. Yeah, yeah. No green tinge in my strands. I was surprised at the quality given the price tag. Amazing. And you know, you're, you've shopped again, haven't you, Susan? I think I can see you again. <coughs> so that speaks volumes. Thank you for messaging in, my lovely. Um, hi, Asuja. I, re I received my jadeite strands, and they are really mm. unique, lovely shade. It's beautiful, isn't it's gorgeous. it? gorgeous. Yeah, and I think it would work with every other colour of your jade in your stash as well. Whether yeah. it's green, your red, your black. Would look oh, black would be stunning. Because they, the, like, I keep referencing it to uh, snowfall, you know, when it's completely un, uh, um, uninterrupted. Powder snow. The Powder color, snow, yeah. yeah. And it is so white, it is borderline blue, isn't it? It's like hanging out your sheets yes. in the wind. In the sunshine. Yeah. They just glow, don't they? Yeah. That's how pure this quality of colour is. The final one. 
Well done. Now we're stepping into the six Here mils. We Here we go. Here we go. What did you say earlier on, Mark? We've noticed over the past couple of years that the smaller the bead, twice roughly as many purchases are yeah. made as it gets smaller. Well, let's hope there's twice yeah. the quantity then, is there? Oh. Oh, actually. Not too bad. 39. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I was expecting. Well, it depends what he goes to, doesn't it? I was expecting him to say the opposite. <coughs> just because that's Ross. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting to say, no, we've only got a single figure quantity, Al, sorry. But we've actually got 39. Graphics alive, amazing. You know that we are going to be lower than 49.99, which is utter madness, isn't it, really? Absolute madness. Because of the limitations, we're going to go straight down to it. Six millimetres, as Mark said, is that desert island that's our um, ideal size um in your rounds because you can do so much with it they're not intrusive in terms of your jewelry wear i love the idea that you've just come up with them mark using it with your monochrome black jade i, I think that would be simply stunning um yeah you know it's going to be less than 50 pounds a strand like this never mind comparing to christie's or sotheby's or any of those other amazing um jadeite traders out there you know comparing with ourselves we know that's not a price tag that even we bring for type a jade particularly of this quality of color and you know it's great quality because you've had customers message in during the live show it's all very well and good me getting excited about it but when our customers do with the money I've saved on these, I'd buy that ruby to go with them. Oh, that's a great coin. Yeah, I love that combination. That's beautiful. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, amazing. Oh, gorgeous. The coin selection is coming up very soon. Really excited about the relaunch of your faceted coin. <laughs> so, so. No. I, 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 oh, my I've goodness me. I've never seen a for this sort of price, of any shape. No. no. No, no, no. Gosh, go back to when we first launched Jadeite here at Jewellery Maker, which was how long ago? Eight years? Nine years, Is maybe? Really? Wow. The first ever strand of Jadeite. Gosh. We were in the old studio behind yeah, us. Yeah. It was like 80, 90 pounds. How on earth are we now bringing six millimeter? And it's a better quality. It's better quality, not only in the color, but absolutely in the translucency. That's why, you know, it's certified as Aqua Jade, um, because you've got that wonderful translucency of uh, translucency and, and fine crystal structure. I can't believe we've done that, to be honest. I do, I do get it, I get it. Um, does Ross know how much the four mil are going to? It's not going to be 39.99, is it, though? Mm, it's going to have to be lower. Can we just do a bit of a tally, Ross? Ross? So I can buy all, at the moment, the three strands that we've brought you thus far, £170. Yeah. Which is crazy. You'd happy paying that for the large strand, wouldn't that, you? Yeah, I'd pay more yeah. than that, way, way more than yeah. that for that one. Amazing. This is all about the six mils. We had 39. It's not a massive quantity. Um, down to the final few. Okay. It's all about the four mils. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We don't see four mils of any oh, colour, do we? No. I'd micro kiss cross this oh, with your, with your nose. But would, would you go gold or silver? Gunmetal. I think they look amazing with gunmetal. That hematite colour. Mm, lovely. I think that'd be lovely. What about though? a salon? Yeah. That yeah. would be pretty too, yeah. wouldn't it? Go quite bridal with it. £34.99. <laughs> so hang on a minute. I'm going to answer a question that we all know the answer to because it's in black and white on our screens right now. Is this all of a sudden polymer impregnated? No. It's type A grade. Is it dyed? Mm. No. Look it's, it's type from. A grade. Is it? Oh, no. It's still, it's still Burmese. You can get this entire parcel. Oh, okay, we can't. I, I can't finish that sentence. He said because you, we were at, he, uh, Dave did a tally. Did he do a tally as and when throughout the course of the show? And he realised that this whole parcel would have been just over two hundred pounds. He was like, "No, nah, I'd rather have it just under two hundred pounds." So we actually took it lower than thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. And um, this is the last of your beautiful aqua jade. I, how many do we have? Okay, fifty-eight of these. 
still think they're going to sell out <laughs> um, because immediately we've got multi buyers. So you can, I don't know if they've sold out already, but take a little look at the website or speak <coughs> to our call centre. We've got single figures of every single one, every single one. In fact, less than five of each of those. Um, so if you're one of the many that have this in your basket, I would check out sooner rather than later. You can dial now for the four mil. I love four millimeter jadeite. I always put it with seed pearls and just, you know, we said Girl earlier on, nice, yeah. just restrand it. Really delicate. Yeah. yeah. Restrand it, really nice, long line necklace. I wear it all the time. I think four millimeter jade I think it's just super pretty, especially with the petite pearls as well. In five seconds, we're taking it lowest, meaning that you can get this entire bundle of certified aqua jadeite, natural. Oh, with that little vase, that's oh, yeah. a great call. How lovely that is. Twenty nine ninety nine. You get the whole bundle. Okay, minus the vase for a second for under two hundred pounds. But even if I added in the vase, it's still what two hundred and twenty pounds. No, it wasn't. Two hundred and fifteen pounds for all of that amazing type A jade. How incredible is that? The vase shouldn't be two hundred pounds in my eyes. Um, in terms of carrot weight, by the way, across the whole uh, selection, wow. seven hundred carrots of Taipei Aqua Jadeite um, for £200. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Gail, hello to you, Janine, Margaret, Cheryl, Margaret, Judith, Victoria, getting four, well done. Meese, West Midlands, Valerie, Susan, Caroline. Hi, Caroline, lovely. Uh, Sussex, Julie, Devon. Uh, Kamarthenshire, hi, Carol. Hi to you, Sean, in Pembrokeshire as well. Make sure you do check out your baskets, otherwise you might well miss out. Um, uh, just beautiful, it's such a unique colour. I think you hit the nail on the proverbial head when you said yeah. unique colour. You know, we've brought greens, we've brought your Guatemalan Olmec, we've brought your reds, we've brought your blacks, we've brought you the yellows, haven't we? But this is so unique, isn't it? It, it, it is. It's lovely with the Olmec, I think. Oh yeah, lovely. It's, yeah. it's positively glacial, you know, like an iceberg that glows. Yeah. It's got that appearance to it. Final 12. Good luck, everybody. Do make sure you check out. You've got uh, check out. You've got um, your faceted coins. The relaunch of your faceted Ooh. coins coming up. And remember, your masterclass today um, is uh, um, is very exciting. They are exclusive to us here at Jewelry Maker. Beautiful gemstone silicone slider bracelets. I've got the bracelet here as well. I'm actually wearing one of them. It looks very comfortable. It is. Mm. If you weren't watching at nine o'clock and you were thinking, yes, that's a good point. If you yes, had to nip yes. out somewhere, um, then uh, you might well have missed out on the amazing early bird. So this was brand new. It's premiering today. We took a type A 15 carat oh. type A uh, jadeite, vase carving, hugely auspicious. Um, we spoke about all that sentiment and meaning alongside the actual vase itself. In fact, we can read it again, can't we? Um, a vase in Chinese uh, symbology um, uh, is, is robust for peace or safety uh, because the words vase, ping, or and for peace, sorry, ping an, are pronounced the same. And the vase, which holds flowers for all seasons, symbolizes peace throughout the year. A treasure vase is also one of the eight auspicious symbols of Buddhism. Gourd-shaped vases take on further meaning, although they were literally used to contain medicine. In Chinese belief, the word itself holds meaning. The word for gourd, uh, hulu, seems to be um, a, a relationship with the word for protection and blessing. But then what other words did we read on about this? We actually said about rectitude. Yes. I think that's on here as well. I think it was up here. No. We spoke about rectitude, good fortunes, blessings, didn't we? All those different things. So there's loads and loads and loads of amazing meanings alongside it. $14.99. We're just doing a quick recap on this one, though, because we played it earlier on this morning. Loads of people, um, loads of people uh, have already secured their, theirs. Um, we only had 100, oh, I say only, we had 175. It's one of the world's rarest gemstones. If you check out, it might well be um, a one-show wonder. Don't go anywhere, though, because like I said, the relaunch of your amazing mm. faceted coins are coming up. And we've got Mark's amazing masterclass, plus so much more. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi all, Alison Terry here, just giving you the heads up of what's coming up this Thursday. We've only got a universal bench top work holder. This will do any shapes, sizes, we've got all sorts of things we can use it for. Don't miss it, it's an incredible tool. Don't miss out, please don't miss out. We've also got, you've all seen the, the ring holders, I've never seen a bangle one. We've only got some in the show. Don't miss us this Thursday. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Not long until we launch world exclusive. I'll make you feel a bit special, Mark. <laughs> um, 
brand new gemstone slider bracelets. And we're not just talking about gemstone encrusted. No. The no. gemstone is the slider. Yeah, massive drill hole. And then we've had the silicon added. The silicon is yeah. inside. Even the, two, um, even the two dongle beads have had an extra large drill hole so you can pop your cord or your wire or everything through. How cool are they? And we've got them in different gems as well. We have all your favourites. Yeah, so what have we got? We've got Labradorite, Fluorite, Tiger's Eye, Amethyst, Mukite. Which one's this rose one? Quartz, Amethyst. That's so beautiful, Lovely, the Amethyst. It? Yeah, yeah. Um, Tiger's so Eye. So we've got Gents as well, which is really nice. Amazing. And you get the coordinating, um, you call, what do you call them? Dongle beads. I've always called them dongles. I don't know if that's a technical term. I like term. it. Your little dangly bits. Your dong dingle dongles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're back to that, aren't we? we back are. to pouch. <laughs> 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 right yeah. then. Okay, but what are we excited about this hour? It is oh. the, I don't know if to call it the relaunch, but it does seem like absolutely ages since we've brought you faceted coins. And back, I don't know what year it was, they were one of our most they popular were. cuts, weren't they? I love it. Um, it was like faceted coins, and then we kind of went into your satellites and your star Pips. cut beads. Pips. Pips, they are, they're so beautiful. Mm. But this is a cut and a shape that is everywhere at the moment um and i so i showed you sort of rondelles we discussed rondelles mm. back was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday we spoke about rondelles didn't we during the deal of the day um but it was bringing it to maybe a slightly more affordable line of jeweler jewelry jewelry that um today rather than going to all sort of the auction house pieces and your louis vuitton and all those brands that we were discussing you know your high street jewellers, your still designer jewellers are definitely working with your faceted beads as well. And in fact, they can be some of the most successful lines. Mm. Let's look at Ashley Clark, for example. Ashley Clark, Monica Veneda That's are in glass, that. glass, isn't it? Uh, Looks like glass. I don't know. I don't think they are. I do, in fairness, I do think they are gemstones because they oh, do okay. lapis lazuli and right, they do right. um, carnelian. So I think you've got sunstone, carnelian, agate. Right. Uh, I don't know what the white one is, but you look like turquoise. Um, that could be, a, uh, I don't know, a topaz, topaz maybe, a lapis yeah, lazuli, right. hematite, uh, pyrite, and then a smoky quartz. quartz. That's what I right. think it is. Right. Don't quote me on that. Mm. But you're talking about what? £145 for that bracelet. It's beautiful. Mm. I love it. And this is one of their most successful lines. It's called the Biography Collection. You can get lots of different versions of them. Um, they've got a lovely write up. I didn't. I, I, I didn't think it was worth me sharing it um, with you guys at home. But they, they've got a write up on the whole uh, history of a friendship bracelet, which is what they sort of how they market these as like uh, as versions of friendship bracelets. But I mean, look at that red agate, and this one's your onyx. Could you make that? Is my In point. Five minutes. Yeah, it's really <laughs> not hard jewellery to make, no, is it? No. And if you couldn't, then we Mark can definitely teach you. These are, you know, best part of £150, these bracelets. And oh, it is geez. one of their most successful uh, jewellery collections. This is different. This is Cartier. Wow. But I dropped that one in there just because it's ruby and they're rondelles. <laughs> and I just thought, well, you know, might, might as well show it. Well, like the fact that it goes into two into three, that's clever. Yeah. <clears throat> It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. But again, they're not calibrated stones. They are um, ruby, uh, ruby rondelles. So, yeah, this is, you know, my point is your pips, your faceted coins, your rounds, your rondelles, your non-faceted rondelles are absolutely everywhere. Um, I found this one as well, which I thought was really pretty. And again, these are techniques that I was deliberately targeting that we could do as yes, jewellery makers. Yes, yeah. um, so this is called Scattered Row. It's a sapphire beaded bracelet, delicate sapphire beaded bracelet, dainty um, and is entirely hand beaded um, with shaded blue sapphire beads pinned to gold vermeil curb chain. It's beautiful. It's a bubble necklace, yeah. bubble bracelet, isn't it's, well, Yeah, In we effect. would call that the yeah. bubble. Yes, it's yeah. so pretty. Well, um, well, you can do a version, you can be inspired by any of those pieces. In fact, they're not difficult techniques. They're not difficult mm. pieces to make, no, are no, they? No, no, not at all. Each and every single one of those were hundreds of pounds. And we've bought bracelets like this to air, haven't we? Yep. And the double row with the chain and, yep. the, and the link. We've done that as well. Mm. I'm excited to see <laughs> the revival of your faceted coins, but there are only three. Oh, my word. Look at this. I know. I've seen my favourite strand. Which one's yours? The one on the end. Just love it. 
They're all amazing, aren't they? I'm wow. going to show you my favourite. Look at this. Because we don't see sapphire of this size very often. Look at that. Look. I mean, these are considerably larger than that sapphire bracelet that we just showed you. Are they fissure filled? No. These are completely and utterly natural. You have that wonderful, rich cashmere blue that we all aspire wow, to. I'm not going to sit here and tell you they're the most I clean. They're not. But sapphire, as with your emeralds and your rubies, we should expect there to be the odd characteristics, if you like, the odd, odd fingerprint of Mother Nature, natural in their colour, but they should be able to maintain that beautiful saturation. Lesser quality would lose that wonderful yeah. cobalt blue. Um, it would be almost borderline midnight stroke black. You have that beautiful ethereal glow. We haven't seen faceted coins in a very, very, very long time. So I'm trying to remember now, how many do, have we got on the return today? 70. Gosh. Out of curiosity, Mark, mm -hmm. what kind of price point would you expect a sapphire strand like this to be? I would go for jewelry maker price or high street price. <coughs> Just go both. Okay. So... Jewelry make oh gosh, this is this is difficult. Are you gonna beat that? I'll go eighty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah, I I would have said about the for same. For us. And then high street, well you wouldn't you wouldn't get a strand like that, would you? You'd get them in earrings or yeah. something. So let, let's say one eight nine, one yeah. nine nine I'm in a suite of jewellery maybe. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I was yeah. gonna say about eighty, yeah. ninety pounds for something like this. How about if I told you they're we're a million miles away? They aren't gonna be anywhere near three figures no way near it's not natural uh, it's sorry it's not treated this is 100 percent natural which you would expect to pay a higher price point for oh it's right that was a good guess no we're just starting there oh no really <laughs> just opening just gonna go start somewhere oh, we? you stole my thunder then sorry mark i thought it was a good guess i, I play mean, guess the price when i'm at home and i'm normally pretty spot on yeah but well, you've worked here for what 12 years mm. yeah so to be fair, you would yeah. normally be right. However, yeah. this is so wrong, it's nobody, you, okay. you, you're never going to guess it. Um, we've got 70 available. For all of you September babies out there that are looking for amazing sapphire to include in their beautiful jewellery, imagine these dotted, because there's a graduation there as well. Imagine these dotted in between some lovely pearls. There's not nearly enough people on the web and the phone lines for this, though, Ross. I don't think people realise just how spectacular this deal is going to be. Imagine these in amongst pearls. And if you separate oh, them yeah. with something like pearls, they're gonna bright encourage, they're gonna brighten that blue mm. even more, aren't they? Because they're shading one another, if you like, from uh, from the light. We're gonna do this in two price crashes. And we are gonna bring, I'm gonna say a proper Rossism. The next price point is not where we are closing. What? And that's not the end. It's so wrong, but so right. So oh. wrong, but oh so right. We need to see you there, though. Because that's this so has, uh, you know, we said earlier on in the day, uh, earlier on the show, that this might well be one of the best, the best price points we've ever done on Jadeite. Likewise on your Sapphire. Likewise. Imagine this with the, with the Jadeite. Put the two together. We're going lower than twenty nine ninety nine. Look at the carat weight here. Which, what's that? Just over a pound. Just over a pound per carat of natural blue sapphire. How about if we said we're going to go less than one pound? Twenty four ninety nine. The intensity of that blue, though, is it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and it's so important that we say that. You know, less. <coughs> if this was lesser quality. Uh, sapphire. It's Burmese as well, Russ. It's Burmese, yeah, <laughs> oh My goodness yeah. me. I've just clocked that. If this was lesser quality sapphire, that would still be a great deal. You know, uh, where it's a, a completely opaque, where you, lo uh, where you lose the ability to see that wonderful glow, that cobalt blue, but it's not any of those things. 20, 20 pounds, 19 pounds 99. That's like 80p, isn't it? 
ATP per carat, per carat of genuine Burmese natural sapphire. How amazing is that? But we only had 70 of them. The return of your beautiful faceted coins, I love it. There's a graduated graduation wow. in this as well, which is why I was thinking maybe in between something like your, I don't know, a Koi of Pearls or your South Sea or your Freshwater, whichever you choose. 1999, Victoria, Karen, Judith, well, and you, Maker, Kathy, Susan, Linda, uh, Maya, hi, how are you? Uh, nice to see you on the web in Powis. Hello to you, Linda, Mary, and Rhonda kind of Taft. Julie, Una, hello to you. Make sure you check out those baskets, everyone. Do you know what? Something that I should have mentioned earlier whilst you're all dialing through as well. We've got a bit of a special announcement, haven't we? A very special announcement. I'm trying to work it out. Um, Ross, have you got an approximate date? What's the date? Right now, we have September's birthstone on your screens. And the reason why I'm saying that is because lovely Ross is going to be a daddy. Aww. Yes, congratulations, Ross. This is just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful news. So, yes, you better get stocking up on your sapphires. Is he going to have a baby reveal, a gender reveal live on air? Are you, Ross? <coughs> yeah. Are you going to do that, Ross? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. so. Because you're going to find out, aren't you, whether it's a, a baby boy or a baby girl. So, yes, Ros is going to be a daddy. Which is just so lovely. So, so lovely. Bless you. And a September baby. Well, some might say that all the best babies are born in September, you know. That's because Christmas gets a bit... Um... Uh, my <laughs> mum and dad told me that. Oh, did they? <laughs> like, the, yeah. Yes, Christmas Eve. All right. <laughs> Family show, sorry. Um, again, well done. Loads of you have flown, uh, well have flown in for that one. Absolutely incredible. We've got two more strands. Hopefully, this is that tipping point of yeah. your um, faceted coins moving forward. Yeah. So, Ross, which one next? Let's do the ruby. I think this is going to be probably one of the fastest selling. We're going to save your favourite uh, okay. till last. But, oh, I don't know. It's hard to okay, choose. that depth of colour. It's that incredible richness. quality it's lovely, of colour. Yeah. No denying that this is Ruby. No, no, look at that. It's like the um, those captions we had in the in the little box at the beginning of the show, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the Burmese. Off. The Burmese, yeah. Look at that beautiful colour. I'm intrigued. Um, Ra, uh, sorry, Dan, can I borrow your phone again? <laughs> I've only just literally handed it back to you, but um, just because I think these are going to light up as soon as you put a single light source alongside them. Wow. How beautiful are they again same applies you've got to remember that effectively really your your, your sapphires and your rubies um are they're siblings aren't they the, yeah. the only difference yeah, yeah. is um ruby has more chromium in it that's what's transported it from a pink sapphire into a into a ruby effectively um but same applies wow. you know it can be quite heavily included it can be overly saturated and it loses its ability to have this wonderful um wonderful glow well that's not the case here because if i look if i just show you under a single light source you can see oh, that wow. wonderful warm ruby red that amazing glowing intensity I mean, you don't need a phone to do that. You can see that gorgeous quality, can't you? Um, how many do we have? 70. 70 available. And already people getting involved. For all you July babies out there. Ruby. Known to be one of the most, well, the most expensive, colourful gemstone mm, yes, um, on yeah. the planet. The king of gems, they refer to it as. We're going to do something crazy, says Ross. Again, it's natural. T you know, today, this Tuesday morning, you could say, I've bought myself some 20 carats of natural oh, sapphire no. and 20 carats <laughs> of natural ruby. <coughs> um, and I just paid 20 quid for each of, uh, each of those strands. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Just one on top of a pearl. You know, that classic Elizabeth Taylor. What? Sure, you just said there were more than one. Um, yeah, you did, yeah. Yeah, you did. You did say that, Mark. Uh, you were right. See, the way I feel, I th I've always thought 
even before jewelry maker, I always think rubies should be more expensive than sapphires. They just look richer and more expensive. And they are generally I always speaking think. more expensive. Yeah. Generally, yeah. they are. Yeah. You know, that's beautiful though. And the same colour all the way from one end to the other of the strand. Yeah, perfect, this is so it? reminding me of like Elizabeth Taylor's jewellery. Yeah, you know, I've got yeah. that kind of vibe about this. You could imagine it in a beautiful graduated necklace. You've got that book, haven't you? Mm. I thought so. Yeah, um, you know, she was a, a huge yeah. fan of, of, your, uh, of rubies and sapphires and diamonds and pretty much every single gemstone. She never bought a piece. Never bought, bought it for every herself. Every piece was bought for her. I mean, she was incredible, wasn't she? Absolutely yeah. beautiful woman. And the fact that we're bringing you 20 carats of natural ruby and going even lower than 20 pounds is just amazing, isn't it? So yeah, take inspiration. I don't think we're gonna have any left by the time well, we got there. Well, no, possibly not. 14.99. We used to bring nuggets for that price, didn't we? We used to bring, bring pearl, nug, not, not pearl, sorry, ruby nuggets or um, jasper nuggets or your appetite nuggets at 14.99. Wait a second, so you've just got hold of the oh, sapphire and natural sapphire, natural ruby. Lovely Una's gone from one to three strands. I don't blame you. For well 35 done, pounds for, the, yeah. for 40 carats of those two big five gemstones. Una... Sorry, 45 carats, I beg your pardon. That's right, because they're natural it's sapphire. Always got eight. Victoria, eight. Wow. Linda's got two. Una's got three. Jane, Gloria, hello to you. Tracy, Susan, Suzanne, another Susan. Joyce, Maker, Valerie's multi bought as well. Amazing. Uh, Mary, Deborah, Sharon, Neil, and Linda. I can't keep up with you all. Well done, everybody. What a deal. And the return of your beautiful, faceted. Look, look, look. Okay, I'm not making. A direct comparison because obviously this is Cartier you would expect Cartier to have the best quality rubies in the world absolutely but it's you know it's not a million miles off is it you can see that it's got that really intense pigeon blood can we yeah. show that that really intense pigeon blood red and granted they've got some amazing clarity to them heaven knows what the price of that piece would actually yeah. be yeah, but you could take inspiration from this piece, is my point, and work with a strand like this, couldn't you? Absolutely. It's not unachievable. That's gorgeous. It's not an unachievable price tag either, $14.99. Amazing. I think it's an Easter egg price, isn't it? Yeah. I had to buy supplies for Willow to make an Easter bonnet for her school competition, and I spent more than that. Is it? On craft. Did she win? No. Well, oh. she hasn't said, so um, I don't think so. Right. I don't think so. It was very cute, though. They all came out wearing their Easter bonnets of school, picking them up. You know, you send your child into school and they're all lovely and pristine and, you know, then they come out and they're all bedraggled and their hair's everywhere and they've got the backpack on and this, they're just like these half-broken oh. Easter bonnets. Oh. But spent more than that just on a little bit of craft supplies. Um, amazing. Okay. Uh, the finale. Right, then. Why are you so excited about this, Mark? Love this gemstone. It is beautiful. So much. I love the purples. I like the reds. I like the lavender tones all on one strand. I like those sort of russets. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've always loved this gemstone. Me too. And you've got the Jedi yeah. reds in this yes. as well. We're looking yeah. at natural yeah. spinel. Look at that. If you could pop onto the GIA website, they refer to the pure... Oh, seriously, I'm going to take this off my wrist for a second. They refer to the... Oh, I spilt coffee on that. You'll forgive me, won't you? Um, look, they talk about the purity of colour with Spinel. Um, on the GIA website, oh, they mention that the rarest colour of Spinel oh. is your red and your cobalt blue. You have red on this strand. You've got some of the beautiful soft mauves, purples, blues, greens. Um, it is one of those gemstones that is, is, is becoming further and further and further recognised. I mean, it's been steeped in history for many years, but um, it's become one of those hugely collectible gemstones, particularly in rare shades like this. But uh, when I say purity, sapphires, many other gemstones, for example, they have pleochroism. Spinel isn't pleochroic. It's mined alongside sapphires and rubies, though, by the way. Um, but you're not going to see secondary colours. This is a gemstone that shares the same crystal structure as your diamonds. So the colour is the colour. 
Yeah, it's pure. Amazing. How many do we have of this strand? 130. Wow. Plus this is Burmese. So wait a second, all of these... All of them are, yeah. ...could have... Fought... Were they all Burmese? No, the, the ruby was Indian. Right, right. But wait, these two could have been mined alongside one another because they discovered alongside one another. This is the gemstone that brings you, I love Spinel wow. like you, Mark. Yeah. Um, it's the gemstone that brings you one of the most amazing color palettes in existence. You heard earlier on, uh, not earlier on, sorry, Pillar and Stone yesterday, I was talking about Pillar and Stone and went, because they know they can't replace the suppliers of their jadeite, they're saying they're di diversifying. They could diversify in any gem, couldn't they? They chose, They've chose tourmaline them. and spinel. Tourmaline, yeah. And I get it, tourmaline and spinel, with the rainbows of colours that it actually offers you. Even here at £49.99, pence, an amazing deal. So going back to sort of the Ashley Clark bracelets, how achievable are each and every single one of these designs? It's using what? What look like fire polish, don't That's they? That's what I thought, yes. Yeah. Fire polish and some sterling silver. Moving on to the next one, you've got the lovely, almost full bracelets there. Yeah. This is their biography collection, £145. Could you recreate that? I think this is the perfect strand for you to be able to do that with. Um, we have a quantity of 132, and I think our Ross has something up his sleeve. Oh. Oh, that'll be the thing now, won't it? Oh, Ross oh, is my doing word. daddy deal. <laughs> love it. Oh. Love it, love it, love it. Pitter patter. How exciting! £14.99, and pence, but we are not even stopping there. Is that right, Ross? Oh, goodness Ooh. me, I panicked for a second then. For a, you know when you say something yeah, out loud, I thought, you're oh, like, no. oh no, oh no, oh no. No, yeah, Ross has got something up his sleeve, believe me. Uh, Victoria, Valerie, well done to you, Susan and Brian, Karen, Kathy, Fiona, Judith, Mary, Jackie, West Midlands, the return of your faceted coins. Did anyone else see that lovely, vibrant Jedi yeah. red just there? Sue in Edinburgh, Susan in Yorkshire, Jacqueline in Tennessee, Hiya Joan, Victoria, Brenda, Lorraine. I had 130 opportunities and the clock is ticking, meaning we're going even lower. I reckon, I reckon you know. If you know, you know. I think you can probably predict what Ross is going to do. Should he? No, absolutely not. It's Spinel. It's a, a rare, beautiful, sought-after gemstone written about uh, um, by the GIA. You can pop along to their yeah. website and read that. A gemstone steeped in history. Another birthstone. Uh, another birthstone. Another yeah. birthstone, absolutely, yeah. August. Yeah. Yeah. Not just in our imperial crown. It's a gemstone that features in uh, globally in, in multiple, uh, multiple state jewellery and, uh, and royalty adorned. All that considered, we'll still go under £10, shall we? If you were an interior designer and you looked at this, this strand and used it as a colour palette, imagine the rooms that you could produce with soft furnishings oh, and wallpaper and just incorporate all of those colours because they're just perfect, rich together, don't they? And they're, they're just, all natural, yeah, they're all lovely. completely Absolutely natural. Lovely. Just, it's so exciting, isn't it? Diane, West Midlands, Deborah, congratulations. Richard, hello to you. Uh, uh, Daniel, nice to see you. Hello, Isla Man. Kent, I can't keep up with you. We had 132 opportunities. When did this become a thing, you know, that we bring gemstones like I know. natural ruby, natural sapphire, natural Burmese spinel, and we brought them to you at, what was it? What did we, what did we do this trio for, collectively? 35, 45 pounds you can get for all three of those strands. 45 pounds. And they're all natural, natural, zero enhancement whatsoever. How amazing is that? 
How amazing. And as soon as I heard about the faceted coins, the return of it, it's like, oh, Ashley Clark bracelets, you know, the, you know, the biography bracelets. They're so popular. It's one of their most successful really? lines. Right. Um, maybe in history, I don't know, but it, it, it gets a lot of press recognition. It gets a lot of celebrities uh, wearing their beautiful pieces. It's lovely for things like your charms. Um, I'd incorporate it alongside, I think, your masterclass. Absolutely. Mark. It'd be beautiful yeah. with that. Loads of multi-buyers, though, so do make sure you check out. Julie, if you want that six, I would check out soon rather than later. Likewise, Anonymous Maker. Uh, good luck to you, Julie in Bromsgrove, just up the road. Uh, Candy in London, Janice in Manchester, Joanne in Staffordshire. Zena, you've just got your two, amazing. Daniel, you've just got four. Well done, Julian Tinyway has got four. I'm not surprised, because you all recognize how amazing this deal is. How often do we bring natural Burmese spinel? It's beautiful. Not often. No. It's got the most, this prettiest palette. Um, stay where you are. Now, so again, Roland can't believe, Schnitzel. I can't believe what you've just had added to that display there. I know. That is just crazy. Mm. I want all of those, every single one. Well, oh, I tell you what. God, look at this. I know. Roland Schlussel said what? He's going to have to diversify from jadeite to spinel and tourmaline. Oh, my word. I understand why he chooses those two gemstones. On this strand, that's obscene. Um, on this strand, you've got black tourmaline. You've got your aquas. You've got your earthy tones. That's my favourite, the earth is. Yeah, love they're lovely. The earthy tones. Yeah. You've got your purples, your pinks, your greens. You've got almost Paraiba-esque here. Yeah. A lot of it as well. Yeah. Normally you only get one or two normally in that colour. And it's mirrored, isn't it? Mirror oh, on yes. braid, mirror on braid. Look. So you could literally restrand this. Just as it is. I'm going to go back to the vase. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Hang on. It? Yes. Hang on. Perfect. Why well, can't I'm all fingers and thumbs? That's what perfect. What do you reckon? Yeah. It matches the Prayba tone, doesn't it? I'm not holding it very well. One sec. How beautiful uh, would that be? Just literally, what, knotted on? Yeah, Mark yeah. said knot on? Yeah, yeah. Away you go. Yeah. Okay, announcement. How many do we have? A hundred available. Tourmaline, believed historically to have fallen through a rainbow. That's how oh. it adopted so many colours. It is gemologically one of the most, I, I don't know, complicated. That's the word to use, isn't it? It is one of the world's most complicated gemstones. There are over 50 different chemicals present within any different uh, any given color and they have to occur under the right intensities pressures look we're going back to all the geology aren't we um to produce this amazing stone all that being said should we then make a price promise <laughs> of under 10 pounds no that how many crazy 100 available we are bringing you the palettes of tourmaline even including the likes of you've got colorless tourmaline you've got jet black tourmaline you've got your earthy tones you've got your beautiful mauves you've got the greens you've got your rubellite pinks and then you've got very parade i'm not saying they are parade but parade esque blues nine pounds and 99 pence and if you wanted to recreate one of those kind of ashley clark inspired pieces even without any additions of space of yeah, ease. Yeah. Look how lovely that is. Look how lovely. Just using some of your elastic. That's all you need. Jenny, Karen, well and you, Joan, Valerie, congratulations, Kim, Susan. It's so busy today. Um, yay, they're back. At your last, faceted coins, they are back. I'll yeah. oh, bless you. These definitely are these definitely are the little pips, aren't they? This week, yeah. yeah. And they were one of the biggest cuts, weren't they? they one were. of those yeah, popular that's cuts. Right. Yeah, yeah. We used to put them They're on things like your um, 0.4 elastic a lot, didn't they? look they? really nice if you rosary link with them as well. Ah, I think, I think you need the, the space around them just to enhance the colour. Yeah. And that is a, sort of a mirror image piece, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's one definitely. of those that you could yeah, just yeah. restrand as is. We had a hundred of them. Tourmaline. Just gemologically absolutely fascinating. I could not write the... Uh, uh, um, the chemical was, composition um, of this gem. Do you remember lovely Vicky Carr? I do. I did a show with her all about gemstone, about birthstones, and we were talking about tourmaline, and she produced a piece of A4, and in the middle of this sheet of A4 was the letter C. Yeah. And she said that's the chemical, chem the 
chemical name for, for diamond. Composition of diamond, yeah. And then she brought up one, and there were letters from one side across to the other. Two, yep. three, and a half. And she said that's the chemical makeup for tourmaline. And they all differ. Yeah. Incredible. Every single yeah. colour differs. So the, the, the pink will be different to the green. Yeah. The green will be different to the black. It's just a fascinating stone. And here we are. Ten pound, please. Happy days. You've oh. just got one of the most amazing gemstones ever. I was oh, going to say, can Mark. I choose the next one? Yeah, I knew you'd love yeah, this. This is beautiful. This. And, and They're huge. As being well. honest, I'm not normally a fluorite person, but this is stunning. <laughs> That's not very many. No, there's only 50. Look at these. I hope you see it up at the neckline. Yeah, the clarity yeah, of these that's... are unbelievable. And you would make sure that they position and lay against the decolletage perfectly. You've got zebra stripes there, look. The quality of this, because tourmaline can be quite sleepy, can't mm. it? It can be quite that's a nice hazy. Term. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah it can yeah. be quite sleepy. You know when you wake up and you're a bit blurry eyed? Mm. It can be a little bit like that. But not this strand. Not this strand at all. I'm going to drop it down to the back of my wrist so you can actually see that clarity even better that. because the quality is absolutely That's amazing. Beautiful. You've got some yellows here, look, here and here. Oh, some it's yellows. stunning. I tell you what. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that. Now, we have 50 available. That's look, got incredible clarity, hasn't it? Some of the best clarity yes, I've seen in fluorite. Right right. As I said, I'm not normally a fluorite person, but yet this strand, oh, it's... Look at those stripes. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. This? Where's he going with this? And they're not small. Oh, look. The largest size faceted coins we've got on the show. What was that, Adam? You said if there's any more left. He says if there's any more left at this price point, I'll eat my hat. Oh. Fair enough. I don't know where it's going to. You know more than me, Adam. You've got lemon fluorite here, like a lemon yellow. Yeah, that is amazing. That's obscene. That is amazing. Should we go from end to end? Because you can see yeah. that clarity. It's those stripes in the purple I really love. Look at that quality. Again, another colorful gemstone. <laughs> Regarded as the most colourful mineral in existence, but again, it has this sleepiness, doesn't it? It has a level of opacity um, to it ordinarily, not the case in this strand. It's, I'd go as far as saying probably one of the best strands of fluoride, it's and it's natural. Yeah. 12.99. Is Adam going to be eating a hat? I think he will. I don't know. I think they're going to sell out. Mm. I think he might be all right. How many did we have, though? Oh, if they do, if they don't sell out. Ah, right. How oh, that makes sense then. <laughs> I, think, I think you will be eating quite a large hat. <laughs> yeah. No, he won't be eating no. his hat no. because they are looking likely mm. they're going to sell out. How many do we have though, Ross? Oh, no, no, 19. Your hat's safe. Your hat is completely safe. Well, it's beautiful. Again, it's pristine clarity. There's no, there's no haziness behind it, which is still lovely when, you know, when it does have that um, appearance. But look at that. Got eye clean clarity. Wow. Plus, as Mark said, you've got the lovely yeah. zebra bands, wonderful uh, um, sort of palette of your, um, of your fluorite. Make sure you do check out, though, at 12.99. They are flying, so some of you will probably miss out on this opportunity, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. Remember, there is always the wish list opportunity. So um, if you wish list it, um, then if, and it is a big if, any fall into well, stock, then they will, uh, our call centre will give you a call. There's a, um, there's, a, there's a type of fluorite that's mined in Germany mm -hmm. that gives off a noxious smell when it's mined. So its nickname is Stinky Floss. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to get some on the show. Can we get amazing. Stinky Floss? Can we get, try and get some Stinky Floss? Does it stay stinky? No, no, no. It's just when it's being mined. Just when it's being mined. Yeah. We must try and get some. Yeah. That fluorite. sounds like a really cute nickname. Yeah. <laughs> stinky floss. Stinky yeah. floss. Um, amazing. Okay, what should we move on to? Oh, I'm holding Ooh, these all together. Look. <laughs> Here we go. Stinky look floss. Oh, What's my. the clear colour? Clearish. What is that one? I'm going to say labradorite. 
No, really? Labradorite, iolite, and wow, they peridot. they look beautiful together, don't they? Yeah, that's, I couldn't oh, yeah. separate them. No, I thought no, these no. are one of, oh my word. This is why we absolutely love your faceted coins. Oh, look at that, fluorite. These are the little pips, um, as you labradorite, were saying. Labradorite, yeah. Yeah, there's the labradorite. We're bringing that. We're bringing you the eyelight. Right now, it's all about your beautiful, wow. natural peridot. And amazing gems. They've all, they're, all gemstones are amazing. I think we've discussed that quite a lot today. But this is a gemstone that has travelled 55 miles to the Earth's surface. Incredible, isn't it? It is incredible. When you think of it like that. Discovered uh, on Mars. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, is, you, you would say zircon's the oldest gemstone of our planet, which it is. This is the oldest gemstone of the solar system. Mm, yes. It's been yeah, found in yeah. remnants of our solar system. It's getting just fascinating. This beautiful uh, chartreuse that. green, again, is not treated, is not irradiated in any way, sh uh, shape or form. It is all Mother Nature produced. Um, hugely, hugely distinctive. Oh, no. Do we have many? 54, so not as many as we'd like, probably. But again, the return of your faceted coins, that stacker style inspiration, yeah. which is I still absolutely everywhere. Yet. If you pop them onto memory wire and did, did a single rows of memory wire, not having them mixed up, just have pop them on like that would just be incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah, beautiful. So easy wear as well. And it works with your sliders, your, yeah, ma uh, your yeah. masterclass. It's coming up in a matter of minutes. We will bring you the Labradorite and the Eyelight as well. Just make sure you're ready um, to check them out. We have just over 50 available. £9.99 pence only for natural Peridot. Um, we haven't had it in a very, very, very no, long time. No. The simple little... Si well, we had the perfect hour at 9 mm. o'clock, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, with the seed beads, with the memory wire. So yeah. you're galvanised. Yeah. Away you go. Put them onto elastic, job done. Just over 50 of these wow. were available. Um, well over half the stock's gone. Joy, Kathy, hello to you, Tracy, Penny, Zena, uh, West Midlands, Melanie, Rita, J Daniel, Eunice, Sharon, Carol, Joan, uh, Cheshire, you're there as well. Pretty much everybody. Again, that speaks volumes, doesn't yeah. it? When 99.9% .9 of our audience have already checked out, not wanting to miss out on this opportunity. We'll bring you the Labradorite and we'll bring you the Iolite. Um, before we bring you, uh, we dive into your masterclass, which is just going to be the best. Absolutely world exclusive opportunity coming up with Mark's masterclass and super duper affordable as well. Mm. Shall we do the Iolite? So that's, they just work together, don't they? They're amazing. <coughs> um, there's been a certain price point, hasn't there? Do you remember we had that strand of chips right at the... Well, it was a show opener, wasn't it? For £2. Do you remember? I do. Mix the two together. You weren't faceted. Seeds, yeah. Nuggets. Imagine getting the rarity that is Iolite. The explosion of colour in terms of its pleochrosum that Iolite Where is Iolite it from, Iolite? Where do we tend you to find get it in a few from? different locations. Madagascan. This is Madagascar. You wow. can get Indian uh, Iolite. Find, right. find a few places, but places around the world. Under... Ten pounds, but it's not abundant. Is my point? No. I don't no. think I like will ever, and I mean this with the greatest respect. It's not going to be the next big blue gemstone, and the reason for that is it's just simply not enough of it mm. available. Um, likewise with the kyanite, there's not enough of it available. But it's so it's such a shame because it's so beautiful. It has for me, it's got a more mature blue. Lovely. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a deep a vintage. Blue, yeah, it? yeah. It's it's like a deep, wonderful. <laughs> Um, indigo blue, but then with flashes of sort of pinks and and, and uh, multiple shades um, due to its uh, amazing dominant pleochrosum. Again, make sure you check out your baskets. Did we have? Did you say we had fifty of these as well? Yeah, um, they are back in stock. That beautiful, beautiful faceted coin that we know and love. They haven't been on our screens for wow. ages. It's like a London blue without having to wait. It's true. Without yeah. the treat, that's that's a great description. Yeah, yeah. A London blue without the treatment. Yeah. That's yeah. that's a great. It's ridiculous though, because normally I your natural know. gemstones yeah. are more expen uh, are more expensive crazy, than it? the treated. London blue topaz tend to be more expensive than your eye light. Yeah. It's crazy. And they're not clear no, either. No. Well done, everybody. Um, congratulations. We've still got this beautiful, beautiful labradorite, which is going to sell out in a half. Completely. Heartbeat. You can tell a mile off. It's so beautiful. If, if you got hold of the oh. aqua jadeite earlier on, uh, so much so, yes. I'm going to yes. separate this. How lovely yeah. would it be? Look at this strand. How lovely would this be with your aqua jadeite? Oh, my goodness me. 
That's incredible, isn't it? Oh. Look. It's like welcoming back an old friend. It is. I've not had Labradorite for ages. Good luck, no. everybody. <laughs> How many? Oh, I wish I had more. I'm so sorry. I wish I had more. This reignited my love for Labradorite when I was doing the, the masterclass because I found just that yeah. in my stash look. And it just... That aurora you just, borealis. You just have to find one, one stone and it just blows your mind. This is the only gemstone still that Andrew knows the name of. Yeah. I can see why, because yeah. it's once seen, never forgotten. Yeah. That's we get these beautiful displays, tiny microscopic platelets, perfectly aligned, trap the light and bring you that aurora borealis spectacle completely naturally. Mm. You can get very dark labradorite, so it's almost borderline black. Yes, yeah. And you can get this almost beautiful, soft, silver body oh, colour. In 17 seconds, we are taking this under £10. There we go. Under £10 only. Like, you, that's perfectly described, yeah. Mark. It's like yeah. an old friend to a skin jewellery yeah. maker. How pretty that is. We used to have it featured quite a lot on shows. Yeah. And we hardly see it anymore, do we? We used to have it pretty yeah. much, you know, like, I That's don't know, right. multiple within an yeah, hour, didn't absolutely. we? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gorgeous. Nine ninety nine. <laughs> 9 99 And, yeah, you know, it's one of those that you kind of... It's, it's, I don't know if Astley Clark... I should imagine they probably have got one with, uh, um, with Labradorite. But it's one of those that is... Always popular. Mm. It is yeah. always, always. Not everybody knows Labradorite. No, no. Well, I'd, I'd never heard of it or seen it before joining no, the No, I don't think I had either. No, no. Um, beautiful. Nine ninety nine. Um, there you all are. Are you going crazy? I think you were right when you said well. they're going to sell out. I think yeah. you're right. Fifty wasn't uh, wasn't ever going to be enough. No, so, no. Um, but yes, thank goodness that we have the return uh, return of your faceted coins. They are beautiful, even if you do the most simple designs like I've shown you, or you incorporate them into your amazing um, intricate designs that. Mark shows you, um, but not too long to wait now. The time has finally arrived well for the launch of your masterclass components. Now we have got some other coins. They are incredibly limited. So what we're gonna do is what we call ghost load them. So we'll put the graphics onto your screens. Oh. Um, and then you can have a little look on the website. We'll drop it to that price point as well. But oh. yes, the masterclass, it is happening. I'm so excited about this, Mark. We've got um, a world exclusive opportunity. Now you think about it, some people have got allergies to precious metals, haven't they? Um, or your base metals, for example. Well, this is an opportunity for you to be able to wear your beautiful jewellery as well. We are launching today for the very first time. There is nowhere else in the world that does this. Um, they are exclusive to us. Gemstone, uh, gemstone sliders with the mechanism mm. inside. Um, plus, Mark, we've got your beautiful charms we've got as well. the charms and the cords. And the cords. Yes. And they're all coming separately, so you can actually pick and choose your and I think, I think, hand on heart, these, this is the lowest price of Masterclass. That you've ever done? I've ever done. 100%. I totally agree with yeah. you. Um, don't go anywhere. Mark and I will turn after this. Hi all, Alison Terry here, just giving you the heads up of what's coming up this Thursday. We've only got a universal bench top work holder. This will do any shapes, sizes, we've got all sorts of things we can use it for. Don't miss it, it's an incredible tool. Don't miss out, please don't miss out. We've also got, you've all seen the, the ring holders, I've never seen a bangle one. We've only got some in the show, don't miss us this Thursday. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour.
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me this weekend where we are proud to present to you guys a debut of the Sakura Agate. This material is gaining popularity in the Far East, Japan, and of course China. Uh, a lot of the big players are working with it. It's coming out of a small mine in East Africa, and there are already rumors that it's played out. We've managed to get you guys the quad A grade material, and you're not gonna wanna miss these opportunities. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. I just think looking at these, I think, where have they been all our lives? Where have they been? Yeah. Why have we never come up with this idea it's before? It's incredible, isn't it? It's genius. Mm. It's I think, absolutely genius. I think it's been genius. a long time in the making and organising, because I just think it's, it's quite an expensive way of, of producing beads. I guess. And I think there's been quite a lot of wastage along the way. I guess. Because they are huge drill holes. I think they're about six mil across, something like that. But even before the silicone's added, so... I'm pushing them forward so that yeah. everyone can see yeah. this and yeah. this. We have never done this before, Mark. No, um, and mm. let me just remind myself the quantities. There's a hundred of each. Is that right? Yes. We've had metal beads with silicon implants. Yeah. Is that am I allowed to say silicon implants? <laughs> but they sort of are, aren't they? You know what I mean. Yeah. The silicon. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what they is. are, aren't yeah. they? Sil silicon grabbers. That's no, no better. No. <laughs> <laughs> no better. No. Yes. Um, Oh. With the silicon, but never with a gemstone before. Never. Never and the fact, I think maybe that turning point was when we did the introduce the gemstone toggles that you Could launched. Yes, yeah, yeah. And then it was like, okay, why aren't we doing gems? Because as soon it was, it's just genius. Because not everybody can wear metal against their nope, skin. Absolutely. My mum, for example, she she could never wear metal. It always oh, gave her, yeah, right. used to her skin literally used to quite break down as soon as you wow. put something on it. Um, around the wrist anyway.
Let's do it. Let me just, if I flip those forward for a second, because these oh, components yeah. are all coming individually, and I'll flip them back in a second. But pr Mark, we will make a promise. Do you want to make it? No, you no, no, I don't want anything to do with that. <laughs> Each of these gemstone sliders with the silicon. And the two dongles. And the dongles. We're going to make a price promise of under £10. Mookite, labradorite, amethyst, amazonite, sandstone, rose quartz, tiger's eye, fluorite. Every single one of those gemstones are going under £10. For your gemstone slider, which is an actual slider, mm -hmm. and the two complementary rounds and mark you're going to show us how to use these aren't you it's, well, so shop it's ahead really because good. obviously there's lots of different components isn't there hmm. mark which one do you want to start with oh let's go um tiger's eye tiger's eye Beautiful. there it is yeah. it is absolutely gorgeous oh my goodness there's a hundred of each of them look at that quality sh of chatoyancy you know it's going under 10 pounds yeah i mean what a genius idea by the way they are completely exclusive to us there's nothing like this um or, or that yeah they, they haven't supplied anywhere else in the world we don't believe there's anything like this elsewhere um, so jewellery maker exclusive, how exciting is that? And what you're going to love all the more, even if you did find something similar, I bet they're not going to be at the same kind of price point that, but, that but we're about to introduce. Well, they're all on the web Mark's going to bring then. Yeah. But you should be like, don't, don't include me on this. Everything's available. So rather than bringing you kits, I've noticed of the last sort of week or so, um, we've been bringing you components. And I don't know why i don't know if that's something moving forward that we're going to do but it works doesn't it because you can kind of cherry pick across the hour so get hold of your gemstone slider stroke dongles yes and we'll then call them that. there must be a technical term for them and then the cords the charms are coming up as well yep. there's a hundred of each gemstone so i would recommend shopping ahead the call screens have gone crazy never done anything like this before you know they're under £10. Let's do that first off. Because we're not stopping here either. Mm -hmm. We're not stopping at £9.99. And Ross, what you just suggested, does that go across the board? Are you gonna are you gonna match them? They're all under ten pounds, by the way. Across the board, shop ahead. How amazing is that? But we're not stopping there. There's a hundred of these. We've got um, in terms of the selection, how many is there in total? Seven. Seven mm. different gemstones introducing for the first time these yep. amazing gemstones. All family favourites as well. We've not gone. Yeah. We've not gone. Um, wacky. Wacky. Or no. out there. No. You know, imagine if you're doing like, I mean, they'd be really nice to make like an adjustable lariat you can style do a lariat, as well. You can do necklaces, you can do everything. Have them at the yep, front. We're just giving you the components. Oh, really? Six ninety nine, six pounds and ninety nine pence. Yeah, I think they'd be really yeah. lovely in like a um, sort of long line, longer line That's lariat lovely. style necklace. Yeah. Because it'd almost be a shame if you were thinking about a necklace to wear them at the back. Mm. You know, I'd want Absolutely. them almost on view. Yeah. They are completely and utterly skyrocketing out of the vault. We've never done anything like this before. We've done your slider, your traditional slider bracelet, of course, um, with your precious metal, but never with a gemstone. And I just <coughs> love that. Um, yeah, hello, Joe, saying uh, this gem set slider suite um, are going to be so. yeah. um, a new craze. Absolutely, no doubt about this. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I totally agree. Text in if you agree with yeah. Joe. I think so. Yeah. I think so, Joe. And um, all the bracelets that I've made, I've had the two, uh, the two um, braids going parallel to each other in the same direction, but there's nothing stopping you putting them opposite. Opposite, yeah. Depending on how you want your the It gives sliders. a completely different look, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, depends how you want it to sit. But I, I just went, I, love, I like that, because I thought that gemstone slider would sit flat on the wrist. I really mm. love that. Sold out, joking. tiger's eye. Not surprised. Okay, Which next, one next. Rose quartz. Rose quartz. 
I love the rose quartz. I didn't know they'd been put on pre-order. Yeah. <laughs> Might have been a bad idea. Um, but, you know, well, otherwise it means we're delaying yeah. the masterclass, yeah. isn't it? So we put them all on pre-order. The, there's a hundred. You know we're going under ten pounds. Oh, look at all these. Oh, my word. Multi-buyers. Gosh. Yeah, I love the choice of the cord that you've put alongside them as well. Yeah. We've got the sterling silver, um, some really lovely connectors that if you wanted to yeah. recreate Mark's beautiful mm. bracelets. Which so you can do different ways. You can do the beaded versions as we've yeah. got on this i tell you stand. what, I'll turn that one around because we've done that one now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we've got lots of different sterling yeah. silver um, connectors like this. That's a good idea. Can we show it, that? Turning it round, yeah. There you go. No, that's all right. Yeah. Just like this. Yeah. So there's different ones. We've got hearts, stars. Um, we've got oh, a beautiful little butterfly. Yeah. And then we've got yeah. your lovely, um, lovely tiger there. Um, tiger, leopard, not sure. Um, but beautiful. All those are coming up as well. Six pounds and 99 pence. I love the rose yeah. quartz. I think it's super pretty. And out of, out of the seven, I think three of them were suitable for, well, they, they're all suitable for men, but um, I think probably four of them for Father's Day as well. Maybe yeah, you know, lovely. Slider bracelet. I think that's lovely. Really nice. I think Tom would wear these, would he? Definitely. 100% yeah. he would. <coughs> I think even more so, definitely more so than a traditional slider bracelet. Yeah, he yeah. might look at a slider bracelet and think it's a baby a bit feminine for mm, him, yeah. but these he definitely yeah, would. Yeah. You know, I'm looking at that one with the tiger's eye. Absolutely, he'd be love. Yeah, he'd love yeah. that. It's cool, isn't it? And I think it's, uh, like I said, it's, a, it's it, giving opportunities. Maybe you do have allergies to certain precious metals. You haven't mm. got to worry about with that with this. Um, you've still got that strength and confidence in the slider yeah. mechanism as well. Um, look, I mean, I don't know which one I'm, I'm showing you here, but yeah. you can see there's a really lovely, strong, beautiful grip to the slider bracelet. You can see it there. Lovely. So we'll hold yeah. it nice and secure yeah. in place. Six ninety nine. There was a hundred of each of these. They've sold out as well. So let's flip that one right. round. Amazing. Next, Mark. Mukite. Mukite. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Beautiful. And then you've got those. Yeah, and they're completely different, which I love. I love the, um, they're, they're not the same. They're all different colors. You get the red, you get the brown, and you get the white. Well, look at that one. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? But it's just the, um, I, was, I was told to stress to the viewers how difficult it is, once you've made that donut rondelle shape, to actually get that huge drill hole, the stress that it must put on the beads when yep. drilling, to have yep. something, I think it's six mil across. And then the, the drill holes in the large beads are one and a half mil, something like that. So you can okay. use any sorts of cords that you like. But you can see the silica, can't you, running through the centre, and that's what yeah. holds the slider bracelet into in. place, or, or necklace, yeah. whichever it yeah. might be. Yeah. Um, yeah, adoring this. Oh, look. <laughs> Six pounds and 99 pence only. Genius! Yeah. And, of course, this will work with your silver if you wanted to incorporate Absolutely. it with a silver chain yeah. or something right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and this will, work, this will work with your thicker chains as well. Yeah. Leather? Leather would be amazing. You want mill leather. Yeah. Do Why not? Yeah. Why not? It's got, I think it's going to open up so many possibilities, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. And I agree with Joe. Oh, I'm chuffed. I, I, I bet loads of people are in agreement with Joe. Yeah. Um, text in if you share her, her sentiment and you think this is going to be one of the, the next biggest craze. Do Sold out. Loom bands. <laughs> loom bands. I do. Those? Yeah. Where are they now? Where are they now? Let's do... Which one next? Flip that one round. Oh, fluorite. Hang on. Fluor... I love the fluorite. Yeah. As I said earlier on, I'm not normally a fluorite. Where's the fluorite? Oh, over there. I'm not normally a fluorite person, but... They're gorgeous. I'm definitely yeah. all about the fluorite in these. Lovely. So pretty, Mark. Um, here we are. I'll, go. I'll bring this. That's this one just here. You've got your lovely pastel palettes. Oh, sorry, that one there. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? And I've mixed two colours. Stunning, stunning, stunning. There's a hundred. You know what to do. Totally natural. If you got that strand earlier on, I think that'd be a lovely yeah, combination, it would. wouldn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, you could do a, do a necklace version if you want to. How can we do that for six minutes? I just don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh, look at those. Aren't they so even cool? the rounds have got a bigger drill yes. hole as well, so yeah, you can use your, your cords. thicker cords. Yeah. So wow. I've used on all of them. I've used two thicknesses of the 0.5 Eslon, and mm. there's still space. So I reckon it's 1.2, 1.3 mil oh, okay. drill hole. 
Okay. And if you need the cords, which again, we haven't seen those for a long time. No, no, no. These are important, especially for these. I Have they? Yeah. So you can choose your colourways, um, so choose your cords um, also. They're available on the website. Just be warned that each and every single one of these um, global exclusives, they've not been anywhere else. These are exclusive no. to Jewellery Maker. I love that. I love something that's exclusive, I know. limited. Yeah. It makes it all the more special, doesn't it? Totally. Yeah. Well, they are special as well, aren't they? And it's, it shows you how, how incredible our team are as well, you know, how innovative they are in terms of actually what they're, you know, mm. what, what they're coming up with. Um, yeah, it's lovely. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Six pounds and 99 pence only. Can I just say something? This is another deal of the day for me. Mm. Imagine that was the gemstones. Yeah. You could do the precious. Yeah. You know, that'd be amazing, wouldn't it? A kunzite, but, or even have these, but faceted. Oh. It would be even better, wouldn't they? Oh, that would be yeah, lovely. Amazing. Um, is that yeah. on the verge of selling out too? <sighs> Literally, um, single amethyst. figures. Amethyst next. Yeah. So I'm s flipping them round as and when they sell out. Uh, so that one sold out, that one sold out. Now onto yeah. the amethyst. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, almost no, sold out yeah. already on pre-order. Oh, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Your rich, your royal, your regal amethyst. This is incredible. Genius idea, absolutely genius. Just when you think the slider bracelet couldn't get any more innovative, <laughs> we do this. Sold out, okay, flip it round. Wow. And as I flip it round, just take a look at this. The reason why I'm doing it is so that you can see these lovely sterling silver components oh, yes. that are coming up as yeah. well. You can pre-order and shop ahead <laughs> on those. Which one next, Mark? Labradorite. Let's do the Labradorite. How quickly do you think this is going to sell out if it hasn't already? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, on to Labradorite. Yeah. On the end. There we go. How beautiful. So Always one, a firm favourite. So with this one, I've not used the charm. I've used gemstones from my, that I happen to have in my stash, including, I'm going to show it off again because I love this stone so much. There Look, at Look at that. Look at that. It's just... Yeah, gorgeous. Absolutely oh. beautiful. 6 99 only. The phone lines are crazy. The web is crazy all around the world getting involved. People getting fours, twos, threes. I'm not surprised at all. Well done. It's about oh to sell out. God. Let's flip it over. Faster sellouts as well. Um, so and we've done all those three, haven't we? My favorite I've left till last. Two more. Oh yes. Now, the, so let's do the sandstone next because I've not made with that because I'm demoing with that. Goldstone. 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 Yeah. Yes, Goldstone, yeah. Um, so yeah, I will change yeah. that. It is yeah. Goldstone. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's a man-made gem. I don't think you got these, did you? Mm? Did you get I these? I did, but I'm going to demo with them. Oh, I see. You're demoing. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're quite nice. limited, so they, I don't get um, double kits for demoing, so okay. I had to decide which one I wanted to demo with. And okay. I love this. That night sky, look. Vincent some Van Gogh, isn't it? Gorgeous. Beautiful. These, it's a man-made stone uh, that brings you these beautiful, glittering, starry platelets, mm. if you yeah. like, that, yeah. re that are reminiscent of the starry sky. Amazing. Um, this is more limited than the other. Is that right? I've got one more. You're, this is your penultimate in your gemstone slider. So, general question, I think we can tell by this call, uh, the call screens. At the end of the day, that's the gauge we need, doesn't it? At the end of the day, that's all our team re uh, 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 sort of will, uh, will need. In terms of a notification, you want more of these, quite yeah. clearly. And I love yeah. your idea of get, getting the faceted ones as amazing. well. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh. You went insane. I was a bit, I was a bit um, shallow with this one because I had to use the star for me. Because it is Cause, the star. Cause it, of all, because you know Amazonite's my number one gemstone at the moment, so I, so I used the star. <laughs> I don't think that's shallow. I don't think so. You're giving it all the credit that it deserves. Oh, yeah. Oh, my word. These <coughs> have to be some of the fastest selling kits components, whichever way you want to look at it that we've ever done. Because um, look, you've got four rows of names. 
Four full rows of names. Um, yeah, you can see how busy it is. I would. It is pointless adding these to your basket if you don't check out. Because guess what? Every single one of these new launches has sold out. Wow. Every single Amazing. one. We will be bringing you... We will you... definitely. I, I'm, I'm seeing Peridot in this. Oh. That would just be so beautiful. Wouldn't yeah, it? We'll get We'll get an, an evening wear selection as well. Turquoise. That would be lovely. Black Spinel <gasps> would wow. be really nice. There's so many different gems. That, pearls. I wonder mm. if that's possible. I might be pushing mm. the boundaries somewhat It's just there. a drill hole, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Malachite. Oh, you'd love that. Oh, you? I love it. Yeah. yeah. What's that? Wow. Can do Malachite. Is okay. that Wayne? Is that our way? Hello, Wayne. Tiptoed into the gallery, didn't he? <laughs> You're right, Wayne. We were talking. We were. We were uh, talking about you stomping around last Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> um, excited about these. Now, just so you know, these sterling silver charms are available on the website. As are, and I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll show you these now quickly. As oh, are the spools of cord, which is what Mark's going to be demonstrating. And as, you, as you can see, we've colour coordinated the cords. Perfect. Exactly. So you can get hold of these. We'll bring them live as and when Mark gives me that nod. Okay, doke. Take it away. So, of all of the, the bracelets, I did six using this technique, mm -hmm. which is your half hitch braid. So, this is the one I'm going to demo. I did a bit of an experiment, and I've also, which I'll talk through with you, I've done half cross macrame as well, okay? So you can really mix and match your macrame or your different designs. I've plaited the cords, but for me, this one here, which I'm going to demo, which is your half hitch braid, is the, is the strongest and the safest with all of your bracelets. So I'm gonna show you that one. So I'm gonna use one of the, um, the charms. This is, this is the love heart. So if you're using a charm, you have two lots of your cords to make your braids. If you're using gemstones through the centre, you take the two cords both through your gemstones and you, then you do your knotting. But I wanted to incorporate a couple of the charms. So this is, I'm going to use the turquoise because I'm using the, the gold stone sliders. So you'll need two pieces about five feet in length. So you do use a lot of cord. Okay, so I'll just take one of the lengths. I'm not going to use a full length, but I'm just going to show you. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to attach our cords to our charm. So I'm going to do a good old lark's head knot. Mark, we've just put yeah. that heart connector on your screens. Have you seen the price? <gasps> what? Oh, no. Right, OK. I'm not even looking. No, to so just keep an eye yeah. on the graphics. OK, so I've attached my heart to my, to my um, cords at the top. So this is, again, one of the macrame knots. I'm just gonna attach that with my T-pin. If you don't have a T-pin, you can use your bead all at home. So you have your two cords. So as I said, this is a macrame technique. This is called the half hitch. There's also a double half hitch, but in my opinion, it doesn't look as neat. So we're just going to go with the half hitch. So you've got two cords. If you've got a macrame board, Perfect. You're going to take your left hand cord, place it in the slot, and we're going to take the right hand cord, and we're going to make a letter B, as though you were going to do a square knot in your macrame, but the same cord we're going to take underneath and then up. Okay, so we're basically going, if I do it again with the other side, so we've done the first side, then we're going to replace that cord, we're going to pick up the left one, and we're going to do a letter D. So in effect, we're, we're doing a, a circle. We're going to go over, then under, and then over. Okay, so over, under, over, pull to the top. Then we're going to place that cord down. We're going to take the right cord. Okay, letter B. So we've gone over the central cord. We're going to go under, and then we're going to go over. And that is it. You're just going to repeat that. So do the left side, bring it to the top, then we place it down, we do the right hand side. Okay, and then we're going to replace it, do the left hand side. And if for any chance any something happens and your both of your cords come out from your board, the way to know how to do the next side, can you see the right hand cord is slightly lower? 
yeah. with your knotting. So that's the side you go back to. Okay. Now for the for my bracelets, I've done a hundred moves. So left, right, left, right, left, right, a hundred times, and that. What gives, left and right? No, so left will be move one. One right. Right will two. be move two. Okay. Three. So you do a hundred moves, and then you're left with between between seven inch, seven and eight inches of your braid. Mm. Okay. So you do one side of your heart and then you do the other side. So what you will have... We've just put the, the, the cord ah, that you're demonstrating okay. with. Yep. Oh, is it? Oh. The, oh, it's just sold out. Um, ah. Everything is selling out. So you just keep right. an eye on the graphics. <laughs> so what, you will, what you'll end up is this, okay? Oh, so, you've got, so you've got your charm and then you've got your braid at the top and your braid at the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our two ends. I don't need all those cords, so I'll just, oops, cut some of that away. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take all four of those cords and we're going to feed them through your slider. Okay, so as you can see, they go through quite easily. Yeah. So then when we pull, we can then slide them onto our braid, which mm -hmm. slides effortlessly. That's, but it's, it's, it's solid enough. It's not going to go near oh, what yes, you've got it on yeah, the wrist. Well, you've, you've been wearing it all morning, haven't you? Yeah. And then they, they slide. So once you've done that, is again, I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to just pop it to hold that star in place. I'm going to separate the two ends and then I'm going to take one set of two cords and feed on my gemstone. I mean, you get two gemstones with it with the enlarged holes, but you might have a gemstone in your stash that you want to yeah. use as well. So now we've got our gemstone on, push it right up to the braid and that's not going anywhere, that, that's nice and secure. And then all we're going to do is we're going to replace the cord and we're going to do our half hitch, but only five of them. Okay, so we're going to go do the right hand side. It doesn't matter which side you start. So right hand side, and then the left, replace, then the right. Nice and tight. And then the left, so that's four, and then five. Like so, and then we'll do it quickly do the same with the other side. So just pop that to one side. And we're going to take our two cords, pop them on your gemstone. Like so. If you find that your cords get a bit frayed, just cut at an angle. Be able to get those through. like so, push that up to the end, and then we're going to do our five knots. Okay, so one, two. You can see how quickly you get into the rhythm. So each brace, it probably took me about 25 minutes. So that's not too bad, is it? No. And it's one of these knots that you can just repeat so you don't need to concentrate. You can do it in front of the TV or have some music on or something. No, we spoke about knitting this morning, Not knitting, didn't we? we did, yeah. It definitely has that, yeah. that vibe about it. So that's your five knots, nice and tight. And then right at the end, if you just take each of your sets and just pull nice and tight to make sure that last knot isn't going to come undone, pull nice and tight. And then all I'm going to do then is take this off. And then I'm going to hold on to that and I'm going to cut the cords. And you've seen me do this with macrame before. So I'm just going to cut the ends, leaving a little tuft. And then you don't have to do this. That's, you can pop a little bit of glue on if you like. But I'm just going to use a, my lighter. I'm just going to melt the ends, give it a little squidge. So, so all now all the fibers are melted together and that last hole isn't going to come undone. Do the same with our second set. So we're just going to go in and cut the tufts. Cut the tufts. And to go in and just <laughs> melt, give a little squidge so that's all ready to go. And then we're just going to slide that down and there ah. you have your braided slider bracelet. Oh, look how beautiful that is, Mark. Do you want to try it on? Yes. I love it. Might be a bit short. No, you should be able to get that on. I'll right. be okay. Yeah. Yeah, don't there we go. I'll just be gentle. Yeah. 
How amazing are these? Just stunning. And if you look at the website, you'll notice that they have all sold out. Um, pretty much the entire hour. How beautiful, Mark. I absolutely love them. I would never have thought about earlier when you mentioned that people, some people are allergic to wearing metal on the wrist. Yeah. So these, these, so these are lovely. Yeah, my mum used to put clear nail varnish on her watch. Oh, so, I was going to say, how does she wear a watch? But she, I mean, she's oh. fine. This fight is strange. She could, she yeah. couldn't wear earrings. She couldn't wear anything on the wrist. She could wear a necklace, right. um, and she could wear her wedding rings, but she couldn't wear anything on around the wrist strange. or in the Funny ears. That. Yeah, it used to have a flare up, but she used to put clear nail varnish on the back of everything so that she, you know it wouldn't Very actually uh, um, uh, sort of break out on her skins, if you like. But you don't have to worry about any of that with these. Um, so I know that each of these have sold out. The sterling silver. All sold out. Everything on this bracelet is sold out. Wow. Okay. Well, even the cord. Okay. So if you wanted to make a necklace, all you would do is you just just take longer thread, and um, and just just do a lot more of the braid. So yeah. so, well, let's bring you this colour. This is described as orchid. It's the only cord that's wow. available. Can I use this with knotting? Yeah, absolutely. Pearl knotting. That's how I. That's how I. That's what I. This is my go-to thread for pearl knotting, so because there's a, there's a technique where you actually take two instead of doing one thread through your pearl, yeah. doing the knot with your bead all, you take two strands through and just tie a double knot, and then add the next pearl, double knot, next pearl, double knot. Amazing. So on this on this one here, can you see because it's the fluorite, I've mixed the purple with oh, the turquoise. Oh, that's pretty. So you can you can have a real play around. That's really pretty. Yeah. So with this one, all I've done is I've taken I've taken the threads through, and you see I've attached with the lark's head. So you've got your two threads running through. I've macrameed over the top with a separate piece of cord. I only did an inch and a half. Then I cut the threads off, and then can you see then I've I, again I've braided. Classic braiding. Classic, Beautiful. Classic, classic, classic plaiting. So even if, even if you just plait, you get the two cords. And that will work. Through. This will complement if you want colour match. This is going to complement the amethyst your and amethyst, your rose quartz. Even you could do and that with your, with your fluorite, your amazonite as yeah. well. Yeah. Love this. Yeah. Um, it's the only one of the cords that's available. So again, this is going to appeal not just for this masterclass, but for pearl knotters, pearl knotters. It's brilliant. It's my, as I said, it's my go-to cord if yeah. I'm pearl knotting. Beautiful. Um, how are we doing on the st uh, sterling silver component? So they all pretty much sold out. Yeah, so it's been a, um, a huge success this hour. I'm not surprised at all. So I think watch this space. I could already hear Wayne in the background saying, right, OK, I know Malachite's possible. Um, so he's going to have a little look yeah. at what gemstones we can actually bring you in your sliders. Yeah. Um, amazing. Imagine ruby. Imagine sapphire. It's just giving. Well, I, I'm, really pleased. I'm really pleased because this was sort of uh, an experiment to see if the viewers would take them under I their wing and they certainly have. So oh my goodness. Go well, you heard what Joe said as yeah. well, didn't you? I like your idea of pearl. That would be yeah. really nice. I might be pushing those boundaries a bit with that though, because it needs a pretty large hole in the centre, doesn't it? You never know. Never know. Fingers crossed. Amber. Lizzie. Amber would be Oh, lovely, Amber would it? be cool. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, I like that idea. Definitely things like your spinel, I think would be lovely. Beautiful. $4.99. <laughs> Excuse me, gets you your lovely orchid um, colour. We haven't seen Eslon in... Forever. No, no. Can't, I, I genuinely can't remember. No, no. Genuinely can't we remember. We bring it occasionally in a bundle where we probably only have 10 or 11, something yeah. like that, a very small limited quantity. But yeah. I think these have been brought in specifically to go with all of the colours of the Especially. Sliders. Well, we yeah. need to stock up on our Eslon, yeah, don't we? Because that is yeah, it's yeah, such yeah. a great product. Um, OK, moving on. Let's bring you the star. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll show it in the bracelet that Mark's just demonstrated. This is lovely, isn't it? It is 925 sterling silver. Oh, lays perfectly on the back of the Dark, wrist. Yeah. I probably would have just oiked over the point of that star. I'm sure you could probably you could. Can, you can manipulate that over. Yeah, the, I actually quite like out. it like that. Okay. I like it. I think it's lovely. You could add charms to it then as well, couldn't you? Could actually. Yeah. Three ninety nine. It's precious metal. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't it's not it? base metal. This is precious metal. Four How? Four. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the silversmiths will be getting involved on these as well because mm, yes, these are definitely yes. components that you could solder. Yep. Um, make sure you check out how many did we have? Oh. Gosh. We had 112, but they've sold out already. Wow. Let's do the Buzzy Bee. He's cute. He is really cute. 
Beautiful. Where is he? There he is. Oh, there he is. Ah. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful little bumblebee. How amazing is that? And again, alongside, um, alongside all of your lovely, colourful gemstones and your beautiful S long cords, the detail and the intricacy of that uh, uh, of the sterling silver connector. Four ninety nine. There's a big investment of sterling silver in this one. Um, so yeah, I guess our expectation should be that it's that What's little bit designer higher. Designer you always mention about um, uh, Alex Monroe. Bees. Alex Monroe. He does the bees. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Um, yeah, Alex Monroe, Lily Rose, lots of designers actually use it now. <coughs> um, amazing, the panther is already sold out. Already gone. It's lovely, I like the panther, especially with that colour cord. It's beautiful. Wow. Um, I really like that as well. And I, was, I made these downstairs to keep him company because he's not been well. Oh. He really liked this. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, this has definitely got that kind of Lion King vibe, it I has, think, especially yeah, with the colours yeah. and the choice of the gemstones. Yeah. Obviously, use the uh, uh, tiger's eye. Um, six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Beautiful detailing, and then the oxidisation on top of that as well. Sold out. Amazing. Oh. Um, we've got some additional um, beads amazing. if you wanted to add, like Mark has done. Um, what size? Six mil. Six mil and four mil. Well, I'll start with a four. Wow. Um, Amazing. So all of the, both of these strands, you can get two length, two strands of your Esalon through. So you can do your, so you can do your pearl knotted marla and then have your little tassel at the ball with this slider if you wanted to. Or... So wait, the 0.5 will go through yeah, the... Yeah, two pieces. Really? Yeah, so you can do that over the hand knot? Yeah. See, I love that technique. Mm. It's, it's so much so easier yeah. to do. Yeah. Two meters of beautiful mukite, amazing. And of course you can use your slider, your mukite slider if yeah. you've got that. Yep. I think that would work absolutely beautifully. Um, two meters again, you know it's natural. We've spoken about this gemstone already and lots of you already got involved with this beautiful stone. Um, you could do things like your kiss cross, you know, going back to the uh, nine o'clock uh, hour. I've never done them, I've never used mukite and kiss cross. Haven't you? But with this strand, you could do ombre, the whole necklace you could oh, do ombre. Nice. It would take a little bit of time at the beginning, but definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah, time sorting. Yeah, That's two meters for twenty four ninety nine. You know, a traditional strand of mukite once upon a time was literally, what, 38 centimetres? Mm, that's right, yeah. Um, and you've got two, two metres here today. Yeah, yeah. We do have the six millimetre size if that is your preference. But again, th I, I appreciate you saying about the drill mm. holes because I wouldn't have thought that um, the Eslon would have gone through a point yeah, four, but yeah, it does. Amazing. But amazing. it does. How many do we have available? Twenty-five, 25 available. Um, Jennifer, Jan, Maeve, new customer, Veronica, Linda, West Midlands, Sophia, hello to you. Make sure you check out, there's only 25, and as you can tell, if you look on the website, it is very busy today. Very, very, very busy. The six mils are coming up um, as well, so you haven't got too long to wait for um, for those. Uh, I mean, you've got at least two full Marla necklaces. At least. <laughs> at least. Yeah, absolutely. 127 centimetres. There's 30. Well, do you we know what I really loved? And I've only seen it once on the show is when we did a frosted mukite. Oh, I've that? not seen yeah, that. We, we had it once on the show. It was stunning. Absolutely beautiful. I love frosted. Mm. Maybe all of these frosted or the slider. Oh, that'd be nice. Frosted. I love frosted. I'd love a frosted hour if we could manage that. I know, it's a, I know it's quite an expensive process because yeah, it's actually yeah. more advanced, isn't it, than the polishing process. Mm. So, yeah, yeah. Um, wow, amazing. 1999, beautiful mukite. Um, already absolutely flying out the door. Again, don't leave it in your baskets. Make sure you check them out um, to guarantee your success. This is going it, it, to, this is the thing. What I've loved so much about today is each and every single hour has worked alongside mm, one another. Yes, you know, yes. um, you could use your mukite with our early bird this morning, which seems like a nanosecond mm. ago. Um, it would work beautifully with your sliders. It will work amazingly with Mark, your nine o'clock mm. kits yes, as well. Yes, yep. 1999, good luck. Wow. Good luck, everybody. Mary and Jerry, hello to you. Uh, West Midlands, Kim, Linda, Paula. Um, ooh. Look at those donuts. Do you want to do the donuts yeah. first? 
Because that... They tie really well with that, yeah. Can I borrow that bracelet a yeah, second? Yeah. That'd be amazing. These are just gems I found in my stash that I used. Oh, Mark, that's so pretty. Let's scooch that slider down so we can really appreciate how beautiful that launch is. Perfect. Oh, oh look, wow. like little rose court tigers. How beautiful are these? You just have one, couldn't you? Yeah, just one. That's all you need. Because it's replicating that yeah. as well, isn't it? And I'll probably put maybe 11 OC bead that we had earlier in the centre of the donut. Nice. Just to finish it off. Oh, this is the perfect oh, combination yeah. alongside. 14 99 <laughs> Okay, well, that makes zero sense because, you know, if you're actually doing the high goo or the donut shape multiple times over, plus you've got the added sort of stress, I suppose, of creating a drill hole horizontally as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, you would expect Don't it to be a higher that. price point than what's on your screens right now, but they go perfectly, <coughs> don't they, with the launch of the Rose Quartz um, slider. I, yeah, we've got to come up with another, another mm. <laughs> in, not implant. Yeah, silicone. Insert? Insert, that's probably what I meant, actually. Yeah, <laughs> not implant. Insert. Gemstone with silicone implants. <laughs> no, we can't say that. Definitely not that. Um, but beautiful to go alongside. Did we have quantity? 40 oh, no. okay half the stock's already gone um yeah how inspiring they're really beautiful aren't they love that and i would use the rose quartz with things like your amazonite as well Absolutely. the floral right i think yeah, they'd be yeah. beautiful labradorite yeah. um all of the above we've got as well i'm going to show you a little sneaky peek coming up next the color is so rich that's one of the darkest rose quartz i've seen i think look at it it's like a kunzite pink it is actually look at that that's beautiful what, what time of the year do yeah. um, does the Japanese blossom come out? What cherry trees? As in, yes. Sort of now. Really. Is it now? Oh, yeah, because yeah. it's that moment, isn't it, yeah, in the year yeah. when you just know, ah, oh, yes. I thought about you actually when I was on the show on Sunday with Carol. We had a jadeite um, carving of a peony. Oh. And I know you like peonies. Yeah. yeah, they're in my wedding bouquet. Yeah. Peony yeah, flowers. I they were. Yeah, really beautiful. Yeah. Um, and this is a peony pink, it's isn't lovely. it? It's lovely. Perfect peony pink. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So, hang on. What's the length of this strand? 125 <laughs> centimetres. Goodness me. I'm holding um, Mark's amazing bracelet alongside it. So, you know, you could do little sections, couldn't you? You can make those multiple times over. Um, likewise, though, earlier on, Mark, we were referencing the, um, not just the kiss cross. What was the other one? Oh, chenille. Chenille. But what was yeah. the other one? that has six mil rounds in. There was another one. Was there? Yeah. What, seed beading technique yeah. using six mils? And they almost jut out a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry, I've put you on the spot now, yeah. haven't I? Sorry. We featured it today, have we? Yeah, you showed me one of it. It's a really colourful necklace. Oh, um, got. Russian spiral. There we go. There we Thank go. you. Yeah. Russian spiral. Could I do the Russian spiral with these? Yeah. There yeah. You go. I wouldn't go any bigger than a six mil. Okay. Because it would get really heavy and quite cumbersome to wear. But right. six mils, six mil or four mil would be lovely. Perfect. Yeah. Um, we had quantity of. 36, but again, so much of the items that we've brought you today, <coughs> um, particularly um, in this hour as well, um, has been sell out. So amazing. It's been a super duper busy show. Make sure you do check them out. Well done, Muriel, London, Susan, Linda, Zena, Ali, hello to you. Uh, Greater London, another London, Susan, Nicolette, Essex. I can't keep up with you all. Pauline, um, again, make sure you do check out to guarantee success. Now, I've got a couple of other strands to bring you. Oh. Things like Labrador amethyst so again what we're going to do is ghost load them so we'll bring the webs uh, the, the graphics up and if you look on the website just had an idea have you yeah so kiss cross section yeah five inches long yeah over the top of the wrist thread your cords through with your slider underneath oh, lovely. So you, could have, you could have a kiss cross <gasps> slider bracelets that would be beautiful mm. all your six mils all your four mils that'd be amazing you know, on the relaunch, Mark, that's mm. what you need to do. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. That'll be like, we could do that as the kits. That'd be lovely. So it? maybe do, how do you feel about this? Maybe do the, 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 the relaunch with the new gemstones yep. with a strand of six mil. Yeah, a metre length. Oh. That'd be perfect. That would be beautiful. We'll work on that. Um, okay, now we've got six millimetre stones. Um, oh. Six and four in type A yellow jade. 
there to your right? Yeah, they're yellow jade. Like Full-length strand. I've yeah. never seen it in a full-length. No, they're before. usually much shorter, aren't they? Twenty centimeters. Usually. Much, much shorter. That yellow is one of my favourite strands it's in gorgeous. jewelry maker history. It is absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, oh. bearing in mind this is completely natural. You, you know. There will be slight variations between each of the stones. That's what you want about this gemstone. Oh, you no. want it. If it was literally identical, then there should be a red flag, really, in my eyes. Um, but uh, so basically, we're talking about if you imagine that color wheel, which I reference all the time, yellow comes under sort of the red bracket because um, it's yes. at the top of the boulder where it's actually oxidized. Um, but this is really beautiful. It's actually a greenish yellow, mm. which, I, which I love. The last time I bought it to air, it reminded me. Do you remember a long time ago we did coral fossil jasper? Yeah. With those little sprays of, of, of coral. Yes, in the, I yeah. do. And yeah. It reminded me of the background color of that. It's unusual, isn't yeah. it? It's a really it's unusual stunning. saturation. Again, using uh, used very uh, sort of uh, sporadically, I suppose, mm. if at all, in uh, the likes of um, your pillar and stone or your um, mason and K. I would encourage, and I know I've said this before, but I would encourage you giving them a follow on Instagram or social media because you actually really do appreciate um, how much of an indulgence mm. of these yeah. rare treasures that we all have. But there's less than 20 available. And even <coughs> here, it's not unrealistic. We're going to go straight down. I've got your four mils coming up as well with the most unbelievable colours also. As I said, this is, this is one of my all-time favourite strands ever in the 12 beautiful. years I've been here. Oh, you're joking. Oh, I would love for someone to buy me this as a, as, a, as a late birthday present or an early Christmas present or... It I, is. I don't have a big birthday for another nine years. So oh, treat yourself. Be a long way off. Treat yeah, yourself. It is beautiful. You do deserve it. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at look yeah. at how amazing yeah. the quality of those colours are. Um, okay, our finale. <sighs> if that was your favourite, this is mine. I love That's four lovely. meals, as you all know. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah. We normally would expect it to be a strand of this length, I would say about 20 mm. centimetres. Yeah. That's what confused me, because I thought that can't be jade, I, full length strands like that. 38 centimetres, I know. Wow. This colour is insane. It's yellow, almost red. Does it's that like, make sense? And there's a hint of butterscotch amber. Isn't yeah, it's beautiful. Well. Again, that's why I mentioned earlier on that yellow comes under the sort of umbrella of red jadeite. This is totally and utterly mm. natural. It's not dyed, impregnated or filled, all mother nature's doing. Um, but this is the warmest yellow, if that makes any sense to you all, um, that I've seen. Kind of orangey, I yeah, guess, yeah. Um, in its appearance. It's natural and I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. But we are talking about, you know, your honey, your butterscotches, your reds, you know, this is a gemstone that collectors and connoisseurs would aspire to own mm. and they would happily pay four figure prices lights on your screen. That's not unrealistic. That's the reality of it. We are ex the exception to the rule. I, even when we bought this parcel, I'm very well aware that we probably would have only bought a handful of them. The finale auction of what has been a wonderful Tuesday morning should we do something huge to close out this, uh, As a this show? As a thank you, you. absolutely. Us. How many have I got then, Roscoe? 17 of these remain within our vault. Oh. And, yeah, if you're by individual, 17 of you will get it. Oh, goodness me. Oh, my word. 99, 99. Again, be aware that this is a much longer strand than we normally bring you in the right. yellow jade. Um, yeah, you need to check out ASAP um, to guarantee your success. It's that warm, borderline orange, isn't it? Yeah, it's like it's a beautiful. Satsuma orange yeah. colour, and it's all completely natural. Linda's got two, Melanie, well done to you. Margaret, <coughs> you've got yours. Uh, Hertfordshire, Mervat, Judith, I can see you on the phone lines, lovely. If you just stay where you are, our call centre will get you. Um, Maker, Pauline, good luck. If you want those quantities, you need to check them out. They're not hanging around. Um, if you are told that you've been unsuccessful, then do add it to your wish list. Um, it, it's a fantastic service that our call centre actually offer. Um, if you um, if you miss out and it sells out and say for whatever reason something falls back into stock, our call centre will give you a call. 
Um, absolutely amazing. Can we look at that screen? Can we at the bottom one? Yes. I what the the see, web? Yeah, I just want to see all the. Have all a little the, look. All the little. All, all the, the little things. sold out, sold out, sold out. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hang on a minute. Oh, look, Ready? Look, look. We're running out of time, Mark. But yeah, let's keep in mind <laughs> this. There they all are. You've oh. loved the masterclass. There's literally single figure yeah. quantities of the cord. Oh. Um, Mark, Bless fabulous. You. I hope you get well soon, Thank my you. lovely. Thank when you. you very back? Much. Not till Good Friday. Oh, yes, you're yes, going so to right. uh, have a few days off. That's going to be lovely. Well, you deserve it. We love our Mark, don't we? I'm back with you on Friday with gorgeous Hannah and Dave. You have a wonderful mm -hmm. afternoon. Hi, all. Alison Terry here. Just giving you the head.